knuckles and we're at pumpkin hill you ready i ain't gonna let it get to me i'm just gonna creep down in pumpkin hill i got to find my lost peace i know that it's here i can sense it in my feet the great emerald's power allows me to feel i can't see a thing but it's around somewhere i'm gonna hold my head because i have no fear this probably seems crazy crazy a graveyard theory our ghosts try to approach me and got leery ask him a question and he vanished in a second i'm walking through valleys crying pumpkins in the alley didn't seem happy but they sure tried to get me had to back him up with a fist metal crackle i'm hearing someone saying you a chicken don't be scared it had to be the wind because nobody wasn't there i searched and i searched as i climbed up the wall and then i started to fly i went in deeper let it get to me i'm just gonna creep down pumpkin hell i got to find my lost peace i know that it's here i sense it in my feet the great emerald's power allows me to feel i can't see a thing but it's around somewhere i gotta hold my head i have no fear it probably seems crazy crazy a graveyard theory a ghost try to approach me he got there
Oh! Oh, what's happening? Mm. Oh! 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 Hi! Oh, welcome! Oh, that's a stream! It's a perfectly on time stream. How you doing? Welcome. It's Ghost Trick Phantom Detective on the Nintendo DS? What? I've never played this game before. I know nothing about it. Hi! I'm excited. I spent an hour sitting here twiddling my thumbs because everything was broken. Hi! Hope you're doing well. Welcome. Ah! How's the trial on Sunday? It was absolutely fine. Thank you for asking. I got home safe and sound. It was great. Oh, chat is not wide, unsubbed. <laughs> so here's the thing. I did zero research for this. Nice. I got a billion recommendations to stream this, and I appreciate it. Uh, but I didn't look into the game at all. I didn't go, is this going to be a good fit for stream? I, I didn't do the things I normally do. I don't even know wh how the gameplay looks or what it is. So uh, we're, I, I figured we'd start in tower mode, and I can switch to the side-by-side -side view, highlight top or bottom screen. As it makes sense, unless you're like, no, you'll want this one, in case people know. Um, I apparently it's, apparently it's good. It's poopy ghost time. Yeah. Yeah. Zero research, dumb stream moments confirmed. Absolutely. Gameplay is fun. I'm excited. I'm excited that you're all excited. Yeah, I, I absolutely spoiler free. I know nothing about it other than there's a ghost. Uh, but I'm back. Thank you. Thank you for the hype train. It's Halloween. I wasn't going to wait for October. Uh, Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. It's a genuinely super fun game. Hope you enjoy. I appreciate it. I I heard of it back in the day, and it just sounded like it's kind of neat. But um, that ghost trick game mode. I, I <laughs> so whenever whenever I go whenever I start stream, uh, we have a, a bot, uh, uh, lovingly rendered by uh, uh, Mithra, um, uh, that posts whenever I go live. Oh, Sonic Adventure 2. We can talk, we can scream about Idris Elba for a minute too before I start, but um, there's a bot that goes live and I, I like to post after it to be like, hey, here's what I'm doing. There's a bot to notify you, but also I'm here. Um, and uh, and I saw that people were reacting with an emoji on, on Discord that is just the box art for a ghost trick. It was just a picture of this without the reflection. Thank you. And I was just like, what the hell? There's apparently a server with this as an emote, just a picture of the box art for Ghost Trick. And I was like, all right, apparently it's from a, uh, a, a draw pile berry cord server that some people had made. And I was like, great, <laughs> I love it. Um, anyway, play the completion on stream. I, if I enjoy it, I 100% will finish it. But it depends on how the next couple hours go, I guess. But um, I definitely intend to see it through if I'm like, yeah, this seems neat. Well, I'm here in Butt Rock because we're listening to Sonic. The, okay, fun fact: the um, the uh, the game itself has almost no sound. Like, like there you go. Like it's on and it's working, but there's no music on the title screen. So, eh, we'll just listen to Sonic until we're ready to start. It's spooky. Yeah, it's weird. I don't know. Thank you for the hype train. Thank you, everyone. I'm hyped because um, Aegis Elba is Knuckles. Um, in case you missed the news, uh, a Paramount announced not only the Sonic 2 movie isn't out yet, but they're like Sonic 3 movie confirmed in development, which is great. Hopefully the second one's good. Um, they also announced that they're making a Paramount Plus show about Knuckles starring Idris Elba as Knuckles. And, uh, I was not ready to hear that news. So I, I tweeted about, uh, well, Oldsta was screaming about it, and I replied to her, and then I retweeted my own tweet because I'm self-centered like that. Uh, you know, you know the gif from the office of Idris Elba saying, I'm aware of the effect that I have on women? I was like, this, but replace women with Paramount Plus subscription numbers because there's probably a lot of people like me that are like, I don't want Paramount Plus. I got like 50 subscription services already. Man. And you see that, so and you're like, back oh. In the mind. Gotta pick a swing and from side to side, side side to side. This, this is a it's grueling one. Hope to find some diamonds tonight, night, night. night. Thank you for the I mean, Yes, my wallet is open. I'm 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 heading to Paramount Plus with open arms, and a, a, and, a and a picture of Idris Elba that's not autographed by him. It's got a signature as part of the print. Um, yeah, no, I I I, I I'm very curious to see where things go. <laughs> It's gonna be weird, no matter what. Uh, so, uh, we'll see. 
The VA for Sonic Boom is in Knuckles. I mean, so the Sonic Boom has a weirdly good voice cast. I won't lie. I think it's the writing that is most surprising from what I've seen. I haven't watched a single episode. Just, it seems good. Um, but I don't know, man. Like, I'm, I'm usually one of the first people to be like, it's a bummer when traditional Hollywood celebrities are casted in, in voice acting roles. Um, there's so many talented voice actors out there, and it's like, you're, you're squandering the opportunity to tell the better version of the story by putting a name on the poster. But, there are exceptions. <laughs> and eat yourself with knuckles. This is one of the, it's like the polar opposite of Chris Pratt as Mario. It's like the flip side of the same coin of like, you got a random celebrity to do a character that's like, what? But the Chris Pratt as Mario, I'm like, I, the more I think about it, the more upset I get. Whereas each sub, I'm like, the more I think about it, the happier I get. It's, it's, it's so weird how that works. But we'll see. Anyway, uh, I do want to play this game. So I just wanted to share what I was yelling about on Twitter. Um, also, Idris Elba talk. Yeah, we can do both. Um, both in the Olympics. Oh my god, Chris Pratt and Idris Elba at the Mario and Sonic Olympics. Oh, man. That's weird. I don't like that. Ugh. Why are the spoilers thoughts commands gone? Did they get spammed too much? Uh, no. I only have them around for a game that I want them around. So. Oh no. Oh no, spooky. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, spooky. Oh, you might want to fix that. Uh, yeah, I like Ben Schwartz as Sonic. I do miss Julia though, but yeah, he's good. Um, the Smash for somebody. Oh god. Anyway, uh, 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 yeah, no. If 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 people are like spoiling stuff, then I can bring back those commands. But yeah, might want to have a no spoiler talk for this one. Okay, if this is a heavily spoilerable game, then yeah, zip it. I don't want to hear it. Oh, thank you. Enjoy your Arceus. A pain's like Chipped and Dale movie. Um, I, all I saw was the poster and the blurb about the game. Uh, the game, the the movie. Um, I find it uncanny. Actually, let me let me see if I can pull it up. Uh, the poster is um, a choice. Um, Chip and Dale movie poster. Um, story of the game with lots of spoiler bits. Okay, gotcha. Then yeah, definitely don't. If people are spoiling stuff, I will tap the sign. Um, there's a a Chip and Dale thing that's happening. And this is the poster for it. And like, oh my God, the song is going way too hard for me right now. Um, that's fine. Uh, uh, it's like, okay, whatever. I personally, I don't have Disney Plus. I don't care. I have, I watched Rescue Rangers as a kid, but I have no great fondness for Chip and Dale as characters. I don't care. I'm not the, the target demographic for this. Uh, that said, poster seems fine. Sure, red and blue, whatever. Um, you zoom in though, and um, uh, 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 you can you rapidly notice, like, oh, wait, hold on. Something's going on here. Um, uh, one of them seems to be traditional hand-drawn animation, the other one is CG, and holy crap, does the one on the left look better. It's on purpose. Oh, clearly it's on purpose. Yeah, no, I'm not saying it's an error. I'm just like, wow, is the CG one rough <laughs> in comparison? There's a trailer? Oh, I don't want to watch the trailer. I don't want to watch it. Hey, my boy, what happened to Dale? <laughs> just... Uh, he's got a bad case of the DreamWorks face on top of it, and it's just, ah, uh, ugh. Blech. It's fun. It's clear in error. He looks rough. He's had a, a rough couple of decades out of the spotlight. He's like, oh, we're doing the, 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 the CG Kingdom Hearts movie, right? No. No. I don't know. It's just, it's, it's striking that, like, seeing them side by side, though, it's like, wow, the one on the left makes me happy. <laughs> it's... It's very meta. Well, I, apparently the movie's about piracy. <laughs> like, media piracy. I, I have no idea what it's about. It sounds wild. All I know is I saw the poster, I read a blurb, and was like, I just, I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Roger Rabbit 2, but instead of, yeah, I don't know. Uh, uh, let me bring back the, the thing. Anyway, I've suffered the trailer enough. Yeah, I don't want to look at it. Um, Someone brought it up, so I wanted to acknowledge it. Uh... A goofy movie board game? How would that even work? Okay, I guess that is a road trip, so sure. Nah. Not sure if you watch John Mulaney anymore. It didn't be the Mario movie plot. Oh, God. Anyway, um, let me get caught up on stuff because, damn it. I, 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 the stream is late enough as it is, so we want to get as much video gaming in before I get tired and have to stop streaming in like three hours. Um, 
Holy heck, thank you. That was a hell of a hype train. Um, uh, real quick, in between streams. Non-Fungus resub for 19 months. Calviberry gifted Invisible Guy a sub. Coyote Boy with a year. And Kelly SG10 with 44 months. Those weren't super between those was like when I was supposed to stream. I'm partially late off of my own fault and partially late because I guess Cloudflare and Streamlabs exploded. At some point, I plan to shift away from Streamlabs and go back to OBS where I first started streaming. I used OBS. Um, that you'll know when it happens because the chat will probably look different, alerts will probably look different. There's a lot of things I use that are Streamlabs, but I'm, I'm probably going to be moving back to OBS. In the future, TM. Not necessarily like tomorrow. Like, it'll be a bit, but... Got a lot of stuff to look into. Anyway, just giving you a heads up. Um, also, I might tweak the overlay a little bit. I don't know. I like the layout of it, but maybe tweaking the shade of gray <laughs> to something. I don't know. We'll see. I, I, I do like mixing things up on occasion, but not for the sake of it. Only if I feel like it's better. Um, tomorrow, it's happening. Used to that thought. Oh, yeah. I mean, I start when I started streaming, I would use OBS. So I'm very fam familiar with it. The audacity. How many shades? Two shades of gray. Move to exploit. Uh, yeah. I'll move to Twitch Studio, or whatever it's called. Uh, words here, thanks for 37 months. Onsta Jam. Tom, 50 months! 50 months in Pumpkin Hill. Big Nuck. ASDF251, four months. Thank you for the good, good content. Well, that is kind of say, in advance of what Raise we'll see. Raise a glass to the Nintendo. Oh. The Nintendo 64. Telling the story of its body. It had four megabytes of RAM. the expansion pack. Thank you very much. Why am I moving? You don't mind me asking. It's a whole thing, and I don't intend to get into all of it right now, but um, uh, Streamlabs has just been kind of under fire for a while for pretty legitimate reasons. Um, I've been using Streamlabs for a long time, and I have no particular hard feelings or anything, but I think it's just time for me to kind of mix it up. Uh, on screen, right? Well, it should be in the chat. I don't really like doing, like, big labels on top of the... I guess I have room next to the thing, but it's fine. Yeah, if you want to look into it, I'm sure you can do a Google and, and find out. It's it's not something I care to get into too much on stream. Um, just, like, they kind of just did some weird... Made some weird decisions, and they kind of doubled down on being weird about it. And it's just kind of like, eh, I just left a bad taste in my mouth. Anyway, uh, no such thing as sleep. Thanks for nine months. Nine months here. Ooh, woo. Thank you. Enjoy your ruby key and your baby. Valorant is here. 41 months. I wasn't here. 29 months. Mr. Sensei, 18 months. A very mildly cursed skeleton key, baby, and a new key. Hopefully I don't mix them up. They're very, very similar, so good luck. Uh, Project RF, thanks for gifting a sub to Knuckles the Gamer. Frisky Dingus, thanks for a year and a half as well. That makes me legal now. Legal to have a very mildly cursed skeleton key, uh, which I hope you enjoy. Um, I'm going to see about re-enabling that spoiler command before I forget again. Uh, where is it? Nah. But There you go. Uh... Yeah, no, I have to update it because the text currently references Melgrasod 2. So let me tweak it real quick. Um, uh, 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 <clears throat> uh, okay, maybe that's fine. Um, You'll make missiles, missile sad. I guess I'll know what that means soon. I'll just, I'm gonna make it short. Uh, don't spoil anything. Uh, yeah, there you go. Um, and let me check this real quick. Uh, uh, yeah, I can turn that back on. That's just fine as is. Ba -ba -da -ba 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 -ba. If you spoil this game, I will legit cry. Same. Don't do it. Um, and that's fine. I can have spoilers on a timer. There. Every uh, every seven minutes, it'll pop up in the chat saying, "Don't spoil." Uh, so be good. Uh, so there you go. There's there's your, your your spoilers. No spoilers. Don't do anything. Uh, Dave Kayser, thanks for 32 months. Snow Beetle with a gifted sub to Riley Hisbert for nine months. Von Alias, thanks for the Prime sub. Welcome. Thank you for the Prime. Enjoy the emotes. Welcome. Also, uh, we have follower emotes. So if you smash the follow button, obliterate it into dust, break that PNG, uh, you'll get Barbu, which is probably fitting for a ghost-based video game. Uh, it's free! The cost of a follow button, which is free and or the cost of your soul if you don't like following people. Uh, Jaeger Mage, thanks for 69 bits. Never heard of this game, but chat's hype. Dr. House Party, thanks for 34, 34 months. 
Try it. Time to trick all the ghosts. MacMC, thanks for the hammy. Bits for the hype train. Arkaz, thank you for five months. Love this game. Hope you enjoy it. I'm excited to check it out. Uh, Weatherboy John, thanks for 10 months. What? Barry's playing my second favorite game on the DS behind Ace Attorney. So here for this time for Ghost Puzzles. Small Powell be it for five gifted subs with five gifted subs to Dapper Comedy, Odysseus Odyssey, Cosmic Blunder, Wuggles, and Agrippus Grimoire. Thank you. Big and Friends Gaming, thanks for six months. I found this key outside. I think someone dropped it. Well, it's golden, so it's yours now. That's how it works. That's the golden rule. Milky Pork with 200 bits. Hype. Chewed. Toaster Posey, thanks for 100 bits. Congratulations to Onsta and Knuckles in that order. Uh, congratulations to Onsta is in order. Um, it's it's uh, I'm very, I'm very happy for us as a civilization. I'm also very happy for Onsta. Uh, Short Mexicano, thanks for 22 months. Welcome back. Thank you. Big and Friends Gaming with a hammy for the Nooks. Trom Warrior, thanks for 50 bits. Might actually get Paramount Plus now. Is there anything else other than Star Trek on there? Oh, uh, there's like one or two South Park specials that I heard are pretty decent. Other than that, I have no idea. Yet another national holiday to my calendar. Oh, God. Yeah. There's a good dog in the bathroom. He's already good. Yeah, yeah, he's a good little pup. Uh, well, but Jaeger Mage, thank you for bits. Sonic and Mario movies, what's next? Crash Bandicoot movie voiced by Zach Braff. Well, that just happened. Now it's going to exist. Thank you. Uh, Corvillon, thanks for seven months. Barry Pumbus, here's my Scroombus. Please refrain from showing me your Scroombus. I'm all right, but thank you. Bouncy Creeper, thanks for 47 months. Agent 47. Then Chop, gifted a sub to Garmore for 11 months. Jaeger Mage with a hammy. Proverbial gun to your head. Which game franchise would you want to see adapted to film for better or worse? Oh. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. A Metal Gear movie has been in the works slash is in the works with Oscar Isaac attached as Snake. I want to see that movie. I don't think it'll capture what makes the game so uniquely weird. I feel like it'll just become kind of generic, but... If that movie ends up actually happening, I would like to see it. I would pay money to watch a Metal Gear movie with Oscar Isaac as Snake, which is... The Bioshock movie's in works again, like, I, I see, okay, the Bioshock movie was in the works, uh, like a decade ago, right? And, uh, the studio did not want to give it a hard R rating, that's part of why it, it fell apart. A Bioshock movie needs to have a hard R rating. It, it, it is a very brutal world. Rapture is messed up, and you can't shy away from that if you're telling a Bioshock story. So, who do I want is Otacon? I have no idea. Is that even possible? I mean, it is possible, but I don't know how you would do it. No idea. If it was adapted to an operetta, yeah, yeah. You get Yoko Taro on the horn, see what weird idea he has to, to make a, a, a single performance, uh, Shakespeare in the Park style, interactive theater, and then like that's it, and you're done. Anyway, uh, let's start the video game. Well, the the, the director for um, the Mel Gear movie, as as far as I recall, Spooky, um, is I'm blanking on his name. He did the recent King Kong movie. He's, his face is in Death Stranding because he became friends with Kojima. He is a fan of the games. So that's why I'm like, we'll see if that movie still is happening. We'll see. Mega Man. Mega Man could be fun. Mega Man could be a dumb romp. I'd be down. But yeah. Anyway. Yeah, R-rated horror. Absolutely. I feel like there's a lot of potential to a Bioshock movie. Some stuff would not cleanly adapt to a movie, but most of it really would if it was done well. So Netflix Minecraft Story Mode. Yeah. Every single guard, you have to pick for lethal or stealth. Every single thing. Pick which one you want. Uh, anyway, yeah, excuse me. Jetron, thanks for eight months. I'm here to watch Barry play a game he spent a significant amount of time and money on, but knows next to nothing about, and I am frankly deeply excited. Thank you. Me too. R3DFX, thanks for seven months. Free sub. Thanks for that prime. Dad Lover 27 converted their prime sub to a tier one sub. Thank you, Dad Lover 27. I appreciate it. I hope you continue enjoying those emotes. Spooky. Kitty says hi. I'm going to let her walk on my keyboard now to type her own message. And then some Fs at the end. Thank you, Kitten. Thank you, Spooky. Blue Scoots is getting a movie, too, on Paramount Plus. It's on all three hosts. Well, that's something. Hello. Anyway, um, also, I'm copping alerts, but I would be remiss if I didn't think the people who are the reason why this is happening. Um, Ghost Trick was recommended 
that I stream by Pixel Ken J, Master Time Thief, Azenna Owl, Quincy Maru, Tumby Enjoyer, Frivolous Insults, Ox, Gonzor, Snow Beetle, Kitta, and Christmas 4477. So thank all of you for uh, when I said, hey, I have, a, I have a captured DS now. Shouts to Jake Doodle. And then all of you wonderful people went play Ghost Trick, like instantly. So I'm going to do that now. Anyway, how about we look at Ghost Trick, new game. That's just all of chat. Basically, chat surrogate saying do it. Chapter 1, 7.02 p.m. Bum bum. Is it all on the bottom screen? Should I swap to bottom screen being the focus? Must have been unconscious for a while. My head feels fuzzy, kind of like I'm swimming through darkness. Wah! When I came to, there was a woman standing there. A woman I don't know. At least, I don't think I know her. Oh, that DS base, though. Wah! And then there was a man with a gun. I don't know him either. Well, probably not anyway. I don't know if we're gore. Oh, that animation. The 3D models? Now, I'm not the kind of guy who can just stand back and watch a poor woman get shot, but I have just one little problem. I'm already dead myself. Oh, we're off to a great start. This has got to be me, no question about that. After all, do you see any other dead bodies lying around here? Faced out, ass up. That's the way I like to start a video game. Oh, good. So long, sister. I feel bad for her, sure. But what can I do? I'm dead. But just as I was thinking this... This is no time to be lolling around dead? You're the only one who can save ya! Okay. Whoa! What the? The whole world just changed on me. Welcome to the ghost world, the land of the dead. What? It looks like I put on a virtual boy. What is this place? Who are you? A voice in my head. No time for introductions now. You have to save her. I know you can do it. All you have to do is use your ghost powers. Huh? Me? Save her? How? Take a look at your corpse. I'd rather not. Do you see that blue flame? That's your soul. And do you see that bright white spot near your boy? That's a core. A core? Looks just like a railway crossing gate to me. Look, the best way to understand is to just try it. First of all, try touching your soul. Touch. Touch. I don't... I don't want... I don't want to... It's gonna feel weird. Uh, touch. Ah! Uh, oh. With your fingers still on it, slide your soul across to connect it with the core. It, uh. Congratulations, you've touched your soul. Your soul's now possessed the crossing gate. So what, I, I, now I'm a crossing gate? You've been reborn, congrats. And then it goes back to normal. And he just sits there. Focus on touch screen? All right, we can have wide chat. Wow. Chat can be wide now, how's that? Beep beep boop boop pop up. Chat can be wide. Chat can be wide as a treat. <laughs> as a treat. You've been good, chat. You deserve to be a little bit wide. What? I'm a crossing gate. Ahem. Now then, use the crossing gate to save the woman. But but how? In a moment. Wow. Arcoon, thanks for six months. Welcome back. Enjoy your golden key. In a moment, time will start to flow normally again. That will be your chance. Listen, when the man pulls the trigger, the woman dies, right? So before that happens, you have to use your powers to stop it. Wait a second, I still don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> you'll see, you'll see. <laughs> I'm gonna give you explicit tutorial information and then mysteriously wink and nod. Mm -hmm. Now then, time will start to flow again. Bah! Tr trick him. Now is your chance. Touch the trick button. The C is red because it's ominous. Uh, trick. Oh! Oh my god, this animation! Hold it! <laughs> that didn't work. Oh. I've never played this game before. Well played. What happened? That was one of your powers at work. A ghost trick. You mean I made that crossing gate move? I did this? That's right. You manipulated that object with the power of the dead. A ghost trick. And all you have to do is perform, to perform a trick like that is touch the trick button. 
Now the woman's fate has changed, albeit just a little. In fact, maybe things are worse off than before we did anything. Yeah, she still kind of has a gun pointed at her. Yes, hmm, that's not good, is it? So let me know how the volume is. But at least now you're starting to figure out how to use your powers. It's good. So I enter the ghost world with ghost, possess an object, and then perform a trick with it, eh? Could be a little louder, like a smidge. Do other people agree with Afterglow? Well, now you're getting it. Let's move on to the next step. Try possessing a different core. Let me be the guitar. Whoa, strum. A guitar then, is it? A hem. Just a bit. Okay, I'll s a smidge. Smidge. There you go. It's, that's a smidge. It's, that's an extra decibel, because chat's been good. Um, did Phoenix Wright's composer do the score? I don't know. I, I don't know. I mean, it's Capcom, and it was Ace Attorney People, so possibly, probably. No, no, no. Use your ghost tricks. I don't, I don't know why I expected there to be credits on the back of the box. Uh, a guitar. What do you want from me? I would prefer that giant wrecking ball. That would solve the problem real quick, I bet. But I guess I can't reach cores that are too far away. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, gotta do that little... That little Luke thunk. I guess we'll see what you can do with that guitar. Remember when games came in boxes? No. Let's set time in motion again and find out. Me. That's me. Beat the game around the credits. That's the only way to find out. So long, sister. Touch the trick button. Who's there? Ah, uh, I died again? I died a second time as a guitar. That's got to be some of the slowest running away I've ever seen. Looks like I'm going to have to come up with something more. Um, what core is close enough to possess from here? I guess all there is, is me. Can we do a ghost fart? No time to be picky, I've got a woman to save. I like your attitude, it's admirable truly, but... But what? If I can manipulate objects, then I ought to be able to manipulate my own corpse, right? Well, tell you what, why don't you just try it and see? Go ahead and possess your corpse. Now I'm concerned. Uh, oh, it does a little wiggle. Uh, 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 okay. Now we set time in motion. Go ahead and try the trick button. Nothing's happening. Exactly. Sad but true, I'm afraid. You can only manipulate non-living things. Corpses, even if they aren't alive anymore, aren't really just ordinary things. You gotta be kidding. That's a very good face. You gotta be kidding. I love this art. What about the woman? What's happening to her? Let's take a look, shall we? If you want to take a look around, you can slide the screen. Slide the screen? It's easy. Give it a try. How you doing? Well, sister, this is it. A disappointed Pog face? Pog, but also sad. This is it. Uh, the two things are looking pretty dim right now. My eyesight and your future! Oh. Oh. Well, oh. 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 I love how they're using 3D models, but they're so low res, it, like, looks like custom animation. I mean, you know what I mean, like, hand-drawn, like, pixel art. Out of my way! No! It's completely 2D? I don't believe you. I do not believe you if it's, the, if it's 2D. Is it actually 2D? No, it's definitely 3D. You can't fool me. Can I possess the phone? The, the backgrounds are 2D, but the models have to be 3D. 2D rotoscoped? That's so much animation. It's done. I'm on my way. Also, the dialogue goes by very quick. At least I died looking cool. Well, at least this pose is cooler. In the end, it looks like her fate remains unchanged. What good are these ghost tricks of mine? But just as I was thinking this...
Hello there. How are you feeling? Yeah, I've never played this game before. It's Pixar. We made each of the 3D models by hand and hand animated to them. This gave me an element of quirk, quickness, weirdness, and a bit of individual style when 3D render into the 2D sprites you've seen. What the hell? They're rotoscope 3D animations? How, how are they storing that many frames in the DS? That's wild. Oh, that's so much work. Oh my God. How the, how you feeling? Not very well, I imagine. A terrible tragedy what happened tonight. Ignoring me, are you? It's a little too early for you to be so stiff and cold, I'd say. So it was you. You were the voice in my head, right? Well, I wouldn't say voice exactly. The dead don't have voices, you see. Explorer 2D sprites. I think you're right, Ryan. Yeah. It seems like my thoughts were being beamed directly into your mind. That's another little trick ghosts can do. Looks like my ghost tricks didn't do much good. She still ended up just as dead as before. That's true, for now. For now? I still have more to teach you about the powers of the dead. Your ghost tricks. Uh-huh. Who are you, anyway? Before I answer that, I think we should save this young lady. Isn't it a shame to see such a pretty young woman lying here like a discarded piece of trash? Well, what can I do? She's already dead. Time for a more for more ghost lessons for you, my friend. First of all, I'll have you possess me. Possess you, eh? Once you've done that, I'll tell you about another one of your powers. Why am I so determined to save this woman? After all, it's not like I know her, but I guess I'll take the desk lamp up on his invitation anyway. My reason is twofold. Number one, I'm not the type to leave women lying around discarded like trash. And number two, I don't have anything else to lose at this point. I did spend a lot of money in this game on eBay, so I might as well see what happens. Trick time! That thought bubble you just touched, those are your thoughts. What you're saying to yourself in your head. My thoughts, eh? <laughs> huh, I'll try this thinking I've heard so much about. So, the dead don't have voices, and what we think is communicated directly to one another. So these thought bubbles are sort of a stand-in. I think I'm starting to get it. I think so, too. Just remember to always keep an eye out for thought bubbles. Good idea. I just might get some important clues from them. Now then, in order to possess me, you first have to enter Ghost World. And the Ghost button is your ticket in. Best thing to do is try it. Ghost button, eh? Guess I'll give it a touch. Are, why are you thinking everything that I say right back at me? I'm just trying this thinking thing. I've never done it before. Whoa! Yeah. Oh, wow. My ghostly tendril is very short. Eh, car door! Where's the hook hand? Eh, boop. Traffic sign. Traffic cone. Eh, eh, eh. This is weird. By the way, if you take a look at the top screen, which is over there. Whoa, about it. Remind me of the Pooh Brain. I am of Clan Pooh Brain. What about it? It tells you what trick you can perform with the object you're currently possessing. The information is there for you to check out whenever you need. So, in the case of this folding cot, it looks like I can unfold it. And to perform a trick on the object you're possessing, you have to return to the land of the living. Okay. This time, the back button is your ticket out of the ghost world. Good luck. We're counting on you. Who's this we? Don't worry about it. Trick! This animation is so good! Eh. Eh, pull me back. Oh, yeah. That's funny. What is? Hmm. Mm hmm. My corpse and her corpse. There's definitely something different about the two. There's something emanating from my corpse. That's because you're special. What's that supposed to mean? Not everybody who dies gets special powers, you know. So those waves are because of my powers of the dead, eh? Anyway. <laughs> He's dancing! Congratulations, you passed. Well, you know, what prize do I get? A new power! What else? Another one? Now let's review. You can possess objects and manipulate them, right? 
Now, what do you suppose will happen if you possess a corpse? Nothing, because I already tried that, remember? Nothing happened at all. True. You don't have the ability to manipulate a corpse. However, there is something else you can do. Oh, yeah? What's that? Why don't you try it and see? Um, all right. Trick. I can't do any tricks as a lamp. Yeah, What's this? Can you hear me? Wait a minute, what's going on here? Hmm. It looks like she's unconscious, poor thing. Yeah, she's dead. Unconscious, but she's dead. Same. Also, this is my favorite piece of art in the game so far. <laughs> it's that face. Yes, but think back. Remember when you died? When you came to your senses, you had been unconscious too. Unconscious, eh? Come to think of it, the desk lamp is right. When I came to, I was already dead. Let's leave her like this for now. And while she's resting, we can save her life. Sure, you make it sound so easy. And it is easy. When you use your powers on a corpse, you can go back to the past, to a time four minutes before that person's death. You serious? Back through time? This is a ghost game and a time travel game? That's right, but there's a catch. <laughs> That's very good, Zinbutts. <laughs> it only works on new corpses. Corpses that have been dead for less than one day. <gasps> time iced, and she's still well within that limit. You might want to give it a try before it's too late. But this is crazy. None of this makes any sense. We're talking about the powers of the dead here. It doesn't have to make sense. Let's go. <laughs> okay. Can't argue with that. To the time four minutes before this woman was murdered. Wait a sec. I still don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> You'll see. Not with that again. Rewind. Oh, it's rewind time. Oh, man. Whoa! Look at that! Man, DS games were neat. And so now I'm going back in time to witness this woman's last four minutes alive. Not as fuzzy, distant memory. Not as a fuzzy, distant memory of the past, but as a very real, living present. Bah! 701, Zone D Way Center. Bah! Wake up! Are you okay? What happened to you? Oh no, he's dead. Who are you? Here's my business card right here, sister. My little golden friend. You did this. You killed him, didn't you? I could not be more lost. You haven't missed much. <laughs> We're all lost. Instead of playing who done it right now, you ought to be more concerned about your own fate. Who are you? Some sort of a hitman? What do you want with me? They said we had to rub out all the last traces of Temsic left in this country. Temsic? What in the world is that? Beats me, I just do what I'm told. All I know is you've got nowhere else to run to. Time to die, sister. As long as that bad boy Wrecking Ball stays right up there where it belongs. <laughs> what? <laughs> Alright. Time to give me all the money in the safe. As long as this precariously balanced piano hanging by a single rope above my head stays put. I did purposefully walk underneath it to increase the tension of the scenario. What, what a weird thing to- Look, all I want to know is who are you, and why don't you just step out from underneath it? You don't know me, and I don't know you. This is just business. There's no way that'll come into play. So long, sister. Ah! Oof! Hold it! Who's there? Wow! Hold it! A shotgun? Kind of a flashy weapon for a hitman, don't you think? Not flashy, just thorough. 
They call me nearsighted Jigo, and I never let my prey get away. Okay. Ever thought about just buying a pair of glasses? I was gonna say. Well, sister, this is it. Two things are looking pretty dim right now. My eyesight and your future. Maybe it's not the wrecking ball that'll save the day, but it's nearsightedness that we can exploit somehow? Seems like a very specific detail. And there you have it, the last four minutes of her life. No! It's kind of ironic when you think about it. A woman toyed with by fate and a man toyed with by a ghost. But she still died. Yes, you can change that with your ghost tricks. Just like you did four minutes ago. Possess and manipulate a ghost and then trick. And you can rewind these four minutes as many times as you'd like to. Now then, are you ready? That's neat. I don't have to worry about permanently screwing up. My eyes, that's real bad, and the eye doctor's always booked up. And also, I'm too busy and lazy to go. Let's do it. Nice. That's me. I'm all the way down here. This is four minutes ago, eh? Fine, I get that. What am I doing way down here? That's just how it works. Her corpse was your gateway into the past, after all. So naturally, your starting point is where her corpse was, not where she was for- whatever. And this is where she died. Okay, I get it now. That, his smiley face on the sunglasses is the really perfect face for like, okay, I get it now. Arrow doesn't get it. It's like perfect for that. Hop in, then. Trick time. What? Oh. Only four minutes left till she dies. You better try to get it over fast, as fast as you can. There's no time to lose. I don't get it. Who are you? So, like, everything that I possess and then go back into the real world progresses the plot a little bit. Yeah. Time is passing. The last seconds of her life are counting down. Looks like I better get up there fast. Have a look at the top screen. The top screen, eh? The sand on the top of that timer is how much time she has left. Get to her quickly before all the sand is gone. Eh. Up you go, then. Uh, ghost. Yeah, get in there. Get in there. Let's roll, baby. Oh, that makes sense. Ghost. Got the music. And yeah. Open the fridge. Of out hot cold the food. Oh! Click. Uh-oh. No, 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 no. Who are you? Some sort of a hitman? Made the rub all the last traces of Temsik. Temsik. Hmm. Okay. Hey, her time's running out. Close the fridge. That's only polite. Go. Go. Turn on the blender. Okay, that was a waste of time. Go. Yeah. For a fan time. Uh, to the to the flag and then we go up yeah yeah up we go yep okay sure this makes sense so long sister wait no <clears throat> just a few more steps hope I make it in time oh god yeah I know time is passing hold on I'm doing my best to a bike oh I died Oof. Now's your chance to change her fate. There isn't much time left. This is coming down to a battle of seconds. Pedal. I'm spinning. Wait, what was the thought? Who's having a thought? Time's almost up. You have to change your fate before the countdown reaches zero. Time doesn't pass while I'm in the ghost world. I better possess something fast. Pedaling doesn't do anything. Ring the bell. Died again as a bike. What's going on here? Nearsighted Jigo never misses as long as the target's within point blank range. Duh. It looks like you made it in time, just barely. She's still alive. And in that split second, hope was born. And a time paradox. 
Because now how could you go back in time unless she died and you could possess her to go back in time? Her fate was changed, albeit ever so slightly. Fate changed. Yeah, gotta be kidding me. The bridge is up. Time to pedal. Nah. Are you having a thought? Have a thought. You said her fate was changed, but it looks like she's still in the same predicament. I said her fate was changed ever so slightly. I guess I'm gonna have to take care of that guy once and for all. There isn't much time left depending on what you do. There's still the possibility of failure. I don't wanna think about failure now. No, of course not, but still. If you ever feel like you wanna start over, just press the, the, the hourglass button before time runs out. Although you never know, you might learn a thing or two when time runs out too. All right, I'll keep that in mind. Right now, I better go after those two. Let's pedal. Go. Yeah. Oh. The uh, well, ladder extend. Let's uh, lower the lever. Oh. Uh oh. Good. That seems good. What the? You hear something? Um, no, no. Ladder, go! Become long. Wrecking ball. Claw! Uh oh. What? Um, well, all right. That, that has the feel to save a lady's life. He got smooshed. It was just a prank. You mean a trick? A ghost trick. The danger's gone? It looks like the danger, Mr. Danger, in fact, rolled away somewhere. You used your powers to avert that woman's fate. I did all that, huh? I did this. You most certainly did. And I knew you could do it. Fate averted. I lost my life tonight and saved somebody else's life. Ghost trick. This game is wild. I'm seeing why people wanted me to stream this. Thank you. When I came back to the present, it was raining. Why you change your fixed points of time? I'm gonna disrespect the, the, the nature of time. I had saved the life of this stranger now sitting forlornly in the rain, even as the story of my life on this planet comes to an end. She sneezes. A stranger. That word strikes a chord, and a terrible truth begins to dawn on me. I can't recall a thing. Who am I? What is this place? And most important of all... Why do I look so cool? Why was I killed? If you're cold, she's cold. Your story isn't over yet. Who exactly are you anyway? Just call me Ray. As in Ray of Light in the Darkness, like from a lamp. Heh. <laughs> Ray, huh? So you aren't gonna tell me your real name, I take it? Ray's a real name? Dude. <laughs> Ah, a fake name. Call me Ray. That's not a real name. You haven't told me your name yet either, actually. I... He forgore. He forgore his name. Thank you, Pixel! Oh my god. Thank you. Ah, I can't remember. I guess the memories of the newly departed tend to get a, get a bit confused. Some of us get our memories back, others never do. If you ask me, does it really matter? After all, there's only one thing, one path left to the dead. And that is... To disappear. Disappear? When the sun rises in the morning, I'm afraid you're going to cease to exist. What? Tomorrow morning? Hmm. But wait a minute. These powers of the dead. Yes. I'd like to use them to save somebody else's life. And whose life might that be? Do you even have to ask? Mine, of course. I see. But think about it this way. If we could use ghost tricks to save ourselves, 
Wouldn't I have tried to save myself as well? I mean, look at me, I'm a desk lamp. He doesn't get it. Buy a desk lamp anyway. I'm not really sure myself, to be honest. But in any case, it seems we are unable to use our powers on our own corpses. You're kidding! You only exist in this world until tomorrow morning. I'm afraid that fact can't be changed. So there's really no escaping my own death? In the morning, I'm going to cease to exist. Apparently, there's nothing I can do to change that, but just the same. I still want to know. Wow, Hapa. I want to know my story, the lost story of my fate right up until the time of my death. And until I learn that... You won't be able to rest in peace, right? Yeah, like a ghost. Very well, I understand how you feel. You want to go and learn the truth about your death as well? You should. I will, but let's see. Sorry, Burp. Uh, how should I go about doing that, I wonder? I can't even imagine what the first step would be. The first step that's easy, you start with her. She sneezes again. The person who witnessed your death, she should have some important clues, don't you think? You're right, and not only that, she might even know who I am. Yes, I'd say there's a very good possibility of that. What was I doing here tonight in a place like this? That woman probably knows the answer. That's right, never forget that. She's the key to everything tonight. The key to everything? What do you mean? You'll know soon enough, when you regain your memory. When you forgotten. Yeah, I'm like a blank sheet of paper right now with a cool pair of sunglasses and a pointy hair. I should probably keep some kind of record of everything I learned tonight. That's a very good idea. Touch the book to view a record of what you learned and be sure to check it out every now and again. Memories aren't always the most reliable things after all. New info. All right then, I wish you good luck. Trick time. Uh, what happened here? Me, the mystery. Red-headed target. Ray of light. He's dancing. No, he's dancing. So I, that's when I searched ghost trick in discord, that, that gif of the lamp dancing is what popped up. And I was like, that looks like ghost trick from what little I've seen. It was perfectly synced to um, Pumpkin Hill. Do do ba do ba do ba do ba ba do ba do ba do ba do. I was like shocked. It was perfect. Anyway, um, Hunter in the dark. We did murder him. Phone book, junkyard. Uh, uh yeah, there was there was a thing. Hmm. No. Right. He's a sniper who carries the golden shotgun. Somebody apparently ordered him to kill a redheaded woman and me. He's gone out doing an unfortunate accident. Ray! Woman who's at the scene of my death. I don't know her name or anything else about her. She's already been killed once by my hitman. By the hitman. I saved her with the powers of the dead. I lost my life at a lonely spot on the outskirts of town. I'm trying to regain my lost memory and find out the truth by my death. My only lead is the redheaded woman who witnessed that death. Okay, good. Save. Yeah. Continue playing, yes. Sorry, I was vibing. He uses slugs. Nice. Um. Shimmy? Bicycles are often known to shimmy. Yep, that checks out. That's a shimmy. And now fall directly onto her. I better not let her out of my sight. And besides, I'm not the kind of guy who could just let a woman sit sneezing in the cold rain. I think I'll try to move closer. Don't do a sneeze. Pedal or open? Open umbrella. Oh. You're welcome. What a gentleman. You have no idea what kind of guy you are. What in the world just happened? The crane moved all by itself and then that big iron ball fell all by itself. It started raining all by itself and an umbrella came down all by itself. <gasps> oh my goodness! Don't tell me I have psychokinetic powers! I see both of our protagonists are uh, not the brightest. <laughs> and I am here for it. Now I'm gonna move that bike with the power of my mind. Uh, okay. They share a single brain cell. I have to possess the brain cell. 
and blow into the DS microphone to cool it down. It's getting a little bit warm. Cat? Oh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, ghosts? But seriously, what in the world just happened? Oh. Oh. Sorry. Hold on. Hold on. I jostled the USB. She opened up the thing and looked at it. I want to see that note. I wonder what I wrote in it. Hopefully, it's not just a shopping list or something. That wouldn't help. Should I check it out? Can I possess paper? Uh, and examine the note. Cable jiggle. Did I write this note? Maybe I should give it a read. So you don't remember writing it, eh? No, I don't remember writing it, but even more importantly... It was phone. Let me in. I didn't get a chance to read the note. Not to interrupt your train of thought, but... I wonder if you've realized where this telephone call is coming from. How would I know that? Think back. Before you helped her avert her fate, didn't a telephone call come in around that time too? Oh yeah! That was when that happened. Hey, werewolf. I've never played it before, but I'm already into it. It's done. I'm on my way. That telephone call! In other words, at this very moment on the other end of the telephone line is the culprit who ordered your murder. What? I'd recommend you possess the telephone. Once you've done that, I'll tell you about another one of your ghost tricks. Ghosts can listen to phones? Yeah. And then I saw him. Right there on the other end of the line, I saw the face of the man who ordered me dead. Is it done? Speak up, man. Did you get her? Who is this? Uh... Yes, a thousand pardons, my dear lady. I must have dialed the wrong number. <laughs> Dr. Blubotnik? That's him, eh? The man who stole my life. That's right. So what do you think? Would you like to go see him? You better believe I would. Then you would do well to listen to me. We ghosts exist by possessing inanimate objects. However, there's one way we can move from place to place over great distances. And that would be... The dead can jump from point A to point B by moving over phone lines. Say what? I've done all I can do to help you. You'll have to do the rest yourself. You're not coming with me. I'm afraid not. My powers have grown weak. I've already used up most of my remaining strength just to get here tonight. But I had to come to ask for your help. My help? Many mysterious things will happen in this town tonight. I'm trusting in you to get to the bottom of them and find out the truth. You're the only one who can do it. I want you to use your powers of the dead to find this truth. Hmm. I'm grateful to you for everything you've done, but I can't promise I'll help. Wow, that's cold. His wolf face reminds me of All Might from MHA. That's what it was. I was trying to place it. Yeah, it does kind of give me All Might vibes. Tomorrow morning, I cease to exist. That doesn't give me a whole lot of time. I need to pursue my own mystery, find out the truth about myself. That's more than enough. Huh? If you succeed in doing that, you'll have done what I asked anyway. The two are one and the same. What? One the same. Hmm. This desk lamp knows a whole lot more than he's telling me. Now then, from that call a moment ago, you now have the culprit's telephone number. The rest is all up to you. I got a phone number. Well, well, it's very staticky. Quest from lamp NPC. Well, that's why most quests have like a little lightning bolt. Uh, uh, not lightning bolt. A little uh, light bulb, you know? Click on a light bulb. He's got something to tell you. He's dancing. Um, yeah, no, that's that's weird. Um, all right, let's go. 
Zoom. Ghost phone. This is a neat game. And so the story of the search for myself begins. A story that will last one night only. Tomorrow morning I will cease to exist. And I'm surprisingly okay with this fact. I have to find the answers before the sun comes up. Why was I killed? And what exactly is going to happen in this town tonight? Yeah, I would save. I would love that. Yes. Thank you. Chapter 2, 7.31 p.m. Who am I? Why was I killed? The one who is sure to know the answers to these questions is the man who ordered my murder. At the other end of the phone line is the very man who had me killed. Our meeting, it's all so sudden. I'm not sure I'm really prepared for what's to come. Do I have notifications off right now? Uh, no? Are things broken? Mm, yes, if I read in this file- if what I read in this file is true, this woman could be a bedeviling bit of trouble for us. She needs to be erased. Tonight. Catch you later, DigiHarps. Thanks for stopping by. Confound that nearsighted Jigo. His skills are as feeble as his eyesight. Not to worry, sir. I have already taken the ne next step, sir. What? Who is? What is? tap a tap a tap No. <laughs> oh. There she is. Mm, yes, but I say, the last thing I ever expected was to talk to the target herself. Even if it was only over the telephone. These animations are incredible. <laughs> I must admit, my good man, it put me in quite the tizzy there for a moment. <laughs> what is this place? These oddly luxurious furnishings, this oddly refined music, and that odd little machine. I've never seen a room like this before. But one thing's for sure, these people are assassins. And what's more, that red-headed woman is another of their targets. That file the old man has. Maybe it'll give me some information on my redhead. New info. Uh, okay, I'm the phone. Um, ghost. What you got in there? What the? Yes, how much longer, my good man? We're charging up our backup power now, sir. The process should be complete in about 30 minutes, sir. Mm, yes, but confound that Jigo, I say. Every year his reliable range gets shorter and shorter. He'll get coal in his next pay envelope, confound it. Is he Santa? Or might I suggest glasses in his envelope instead, sir? Can I trick the examination? It seems this file contains information about that redhead. But I can't read it when it's closed! Great Scott! Did you see that? The file, I say! The file reared up and snapped at me, my good man! Nearly bit my head off! Not to worry, sir. I've already seen to it that the target, Miss Lynn, is no longer a threat, sir. Bah! That's not what I'm talking about, man. Lynn, eh? So that's her name, is it? But this file... It's like it's written in a foreign language! I can't read it at all! You forgore how to read. Might I suggest putting away the file and relaxing, sir? You forgore. Don't slap it. Don't slap it! What the... Oh my... <laughs> This is so over the top. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. Smack. Wow. <laughs> this is my favorite game of all time. Well. Well, that clinches it. I'm finishing this on stream. Oh my god. Oh my god, the table. And the phone just falling into a fucking bucket. I- oh my god. Ah! Ugh! The table has turned. We got him! Oh my god. Uh, you have a very important job ahead of you tonight, sir! Get the grapes. Eat the grapes. Darn. This is a pickle. The phone and I got put neatly- The phone and I got put away neatly. And the only thing I've learned is the name Lin. This sure is a weird room. I traveled through the phone line to get here, but where exactly is here? 
And who exactly are these people? And also, what the hell? Is anything? Um... Yep. Operate the projector, sure. These animations are, like, hitting that, like, LucasArts point-and-click adventure scratch itch of just, like, extremely elaborate one-off animations. It's, it's really good. <laughs> and everyone chats like, yeah! Are you trying to give me a case of the vapors? Egad, man! My apologies, sir, but I did not touch it, sir. It's the whole game. I- it's wild. It appears the equipment is still malfunctioning, sir. Bah! Granted, technology is certainly a convenient thing, but our use of it is just plain off, confounded. Yes, in any case, I don't wish to see the face of our current target, my good man. As you wish, sir. In that case, might I suggest this, sir? Don't slap it. Don't- Oh, God. That's... Yes, Sissel. If all goes well with our deal tonight, we will have the power to change the world, sir. Yes, it's a very important night indeed, my good man. We can't afford to make mistakes. And that is why we can't afford to trust that Sissel. No, we must be very careful. Sissel. That must be my name. Now that I hear it, it does sound familiar. A deal, eh? What could that be all about? Just what exactly was I up to, I wonder? Kapow! We're completely prepared for tonight, sir! <clears throat> yes, now all we have to do is pluck the fruit of success. <laughs> One thing's clear, these villains seem to know me. And another thing, there seems to be some kind of connection between me and this Lin. Why else would our names both come up here like this? Do it again. Where is your head, man? I told you I don't wish to see this face. My apologies, sir. It appears to be another malfunction, sir. Get it fixed, man, unless you want to see me malfunction. Certainly, sir. And kapow. Hey, Bubbles. How you doing? These guys murdered me and now they're targeting the redhead. What kind of connection do we have with each other? The soundtrack is a bop, which makes it even more weird that uh, the tile screen doesn't have any music. Spinning this painting around makes this old man's head spin. That's about it. I got to find the right timing and get beyond this projector. What I need tonight is a way to flip the situation around. I gotta flip it. Lamp. Eh. 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 Yeah. Uh. So, flip it and then... Yeah. Yeah. Did I... Oh, wait. If I stay in the painting... Where'd I go? I told you I don't see his face. My apologies, sir. Where'd I go? Where am I? Hold on. Hold on. Stop it. Don't slap it. Wait. 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 Let me ghost. Damn it. Yeah, okay. Yeah, right. I say this room is giving me the heebie-jeebies, my good man. What with that painting spinning around and the like, it's enough to give the man the jitters. My apologies, sir. The room was just recently co was completed recently, sir. We're still trying to iron out the kinks, sir. Yes, I just hope that's all it is. I mean, egad, man, how am I supposed to relax and enjoy my grapes? I am down at the bottom now. Hooray. Fruit. Um. Operate the panel. There goes the fruit. It's a miserable state of affairs when I can't even be startled by a telephone that doesn't even ring. Egad! It's even more pathetic to be startled by the same phone twice. Bah! The problem must be solved, sir. The Miss Lynn problem, sir. What? Lynn? Yes. You did mention taking the next step a moment ago, didn't you, my good man? 
Yes, sir. I sent one step ahead Tango to her apartment, sir. That telephone call must be him reporting in, sir. What a hell of a name for an assassin. Very good, very good. Len's in danger again. I gotta get to that phone. Yeah, who? This is one step ahead, Tango. I'm at the target's apartment now. And out with it, man. Have you taken care of her? No, she isn't back yet. What? It only stands to reason. If the target got here first, they wouldn't call me one step ahead, now would they? I don't get it. But in any case, man, once you've taken care of her, then you'll promote me to the head of the Hitman division? Ah, no, man. Now you're even getting one step ahead of me. We can discuss my new salary later. Great Scott, now you're even getting one step ahead of your last one step ahead. I'll get back to my job now, sir. Confound it, you're even hanging up one step ahead. It's good at what he does, damn it. Um. Lynn's apartment, then? What'd he say, sir? He asked me to raise his salary. What will you do, sir? Maybe I'll give him some of nearsighted Chingo's pay. Lynn, I can't lose her. She's my only lead if I ever hope to solve the mystery of me. To the apartment. I mean, we could see if she's still at the junkyard. Maybe she's still there. I'm like, hey, uh, don't... Don't go to your apartment. That'd be bad. Don't do it. Confound it. The rain passes through me as it makes its way to the ground. I wonder if that red-headed woman is still here. Oh, she is. Neat. That's cool, there's like a whole scene. After that telephone call, she reported the whole incident to the police. This junkyard is such an out-of-the-way place, it'll take them a while to get here. Until they arrive, though, it looks like she's watching over your body. A sense of duty, eh? It's a wonder she isn't scared of ghosts in this spooky place. The ghosts are already here! <laughs> Cut that out. She'll think I'm haunting the place. In any case, just leave this place to me. You go out and pursue your mystery. Neat! I'm really glad. I thought there'd just be nothing here. But god dang it. They're going all out. To the apartment. Let's go. Zoom. Tricky, 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 tricky. Oh. <laughs> this animation is amazing. The telephone line guided me to Lynn's apartment. Fortunately, Lynn isn't here yet, but unfortunately, the hitman is. Also, there's a dog. What the dog doing? And there are a couple of other unfortunate little developments waiting for me, it seems. Huh. Looks like there's an unlucky little lady here tonight. And an even unluckier little doggy. No! <laughs> the poor brave little warrior. He must have been trying to defend his mistress. If Lynn came home now, we can avert his fate, chat. We can avert his fate! I have to do something about this situation, and fast. Pull me back! Pull me back! Let me go back! Umbrella. Um. Open door. What? Arf? Where am I? And more to the point, who am I? Who am I? Are you talking to me? Of course! Do you see anybody else around here? If I remember right, the dead don't have voices, their thoughts reach the other person directly. I guess that explains why this dog is talking to me right now. This is your mistress's apartment, and you are... Presumably the little doggy who died here. Died? So I'm dead, huh? Let's see, the dead lose their memories, they even forget what they look like. And so that's what this blue flame shape is all about. Oh! There's no time to lose! Miss Camila! My Miss Camila's in trouble! You mean you remember? You know who you are? That's... That's right, I'm Missile. Nice to meet you. Missile? I'm a Pomeranian. Well, I guess now I know it's possible for the dead to regain their memories. Thanks to this little doggy. Miss Camila! Miss Camila! 
My Miss Camille is in trouble, and I vowed to devote my life to protecting her. But I died before I could rescue her. How could I let her down like this? So you're more worried. Well, 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 what's this? You're more worried about your mistress's safety than your own death, eh? I like your moxie, little doggy. Looks like it's time to go back to four minutes before this little guy's death. Time to save this, his life. New info. Before I rewind time, let me get caught up on alerts. Oh my god. This this does mean that if I fail and run out of time, we're gonna have to watch that scene. So I'm gonna do my best to do it in one go. Uh, uh. Uh, uh. Thank you. It's rewind time. Uh, stretch time. Ah, we believe in you. Thank you. I will do my best. Oh my god. Arkun, thanks for six months. Yee! Barium Fox, thanks for the prime sub. Sephora T, 17 months. Just finished my Hiragana slash Katakana, of course, and now I'm just starting to learn kanji. Pray for my brain not to explode. Good luck. It's a lot. Three bees in the trench coat, thanks for 28 months. And Knuckles. Smash my thing for the 100 bits. I was feeling really tired after workout, and I remembered you were streaming, and that somewhat revitalized me. I like seeing you. Bar love. Well, thanks for tuning in. I appreciate it. Yeah. If I fail, I kill the dog. No, it was the assassin. I just, I do it my best. Uh, Pixel Ken J, thanks for a year. G goes dead, but we have EMF level reading two and ghost orbs, no fingerprints, and we get something on dots or the spirit box. It might be a yokai. Might be. Thank you, Pixel. Also, I if I, I closed the window already, but I believe you're one of the people that recommended I stream this. So thank you. If it wasn't you, forgot I said anything. Uh, Kurosawa, thanks for seven months. Possess those objects. The deranged optician, thanks for 37 months. Uh, very tired bird, 22 months. I'm sad I'm gonna have to catch this on the VOD. This is one of my favorite games. I'm very excited to see what you think. So far, I'm very much into this. I love Rube Goldberg puzzle contraptions. I love the, the structure of like, you gotta do this at this time. Uh, I mean, it's part of what I love about the Hitman games is that it creates this kind of clockwork mechanism where you're sort of doing this thing at this place, so then later these people meet up here, and they can take advantage of this opportunity. Like, I love that kind of thing. Obviously, this is more scripted and structured than Hitman, which is a little more organic with those scripted elements on top. Um, obviously, it's still very heavily scripted, but uh, this is like a point-and-click adventure of that concept, and I adore it. It's so neat. And it doesn't... It's just the fact that the animation is astounding. It's like the bonus on top. It's so good. Oh, this is on the Apple Store? Yeah, the, I think some of the latent games as well. I think Capcom was making a push to port a bunch of old DS games onto uh, smartphones. I wonder how playable they are, but it's kind of neat. The animation is so good. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba, reverse Hitman. Oh, the Ace Attorney is also on iOS? Yeah. It's an HD too. Yeah, it's, uh, the Professor Layton as well. I think it has, uh, like, they remastered the, the, the anime cutscenes and stuff. Fully animated ones. First chapter is free. The Ghost Trick version of Steamed Hams? I think I did, but I didn't fully get it because I was unfamiliar with Ghost Trick. I saw a lot of Steamed Hams variants that I was like, I don't know what I'm looking at, but it is Steamed Hams, so I am liking this. Uh, Fusion Xylarian, thanks for five months. James Chimney, 23 months. Avert quickly. Smash Matt, thank you for 83 bits. Missile didn't deserve this fate. No. Here's the thing, though. Here's the thing, though. If we save Missile, will he still be able to talk to us with his ghost thoughts? I want him to be alive. But I also enjoy having human conversations with him. Perk Princess Song Time, The Ballad of Missile. The answer is spoilers. Well, yeah, it's <laughs> only one way to find out. <laughs> yeah, it's time to save the dog. Venus Varnas with a dollar due. Thank you. Coco Riki, thanks for 100 bits. We're going to get Barry's dog saved count up to one. You have a lot of faith in me. Quincy Mario, thanks for four months. I'm so excited for this. This game rocks and you rock. I'm stoked for the killer combo. Well, I appreciate it. Thank you. Um... You, I imagine no. Uh, well, we have to save him anyway. We have to save him because he's a good pup. Ballad for Missile. So there someone to talk to? I mean, it's not what I'm saying, but it's what I'm thinking. So th so that, that also sounds bad, but I assure you, I'm just going to scoop back here. <clears throat> I'm far away. Um, this this song this song is called um, uh, uh, the Ballad of Missile. Who's a good pup?
Based off the director's dog, and there's also a dog named Missile and Ace Attorney. Oh my god. Um. 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 This is a story about a dog named Missile and the day that he died. I found him alone and it made me cry. And then I found the. Wait. <laughs> this isn't working out the way I wanted it to. Um. Uh. This is the song of a boy named Missile. He ran along with a thistle. Wait, I need a there, sad chord. Uh, this is a D minor, it's a very sad chord. Uh, then maybe an F major to give us some hope. We have to save that pup named Missile. The assassin, or else rhymes with thistle. Um, the D minor's for dog. Um... I don't know anything about this. <laughs> yeah, I just met a uh, missile. I'm gonna save you. Uh, you know that I'm gonna find you. You're a ghosty pup. You're real good, and you did. You know that I wanna save you, missile. You got a good bark, yeah. You're gonna be fine, yeah. I'm gonna go four minutes back in time. Yeah, it's rewind time. It's rewind time. Yeah. You gotta... <laughs> I just met you, but I miss you. Oh, missile. I just met you, but I miss you. I'm gonna go back in time and prevent whatever happened to you. I think my name is Sissel. And so I'm gonna say Sissel and Missile. Oh, is that a thing? Is that, Sissel, is that a thing? Wait, hold on. Is that actually, wait, hold on, wait. Now I want to find out. Anyway, that's the Ballad of the Missile. We're going to find out what, what happened to that good pup. Ah! Okay, there we go. Uh, rewind! Oh yeah! Mark S. Brownlee, let's go! We got to save a pup. Ah! Hey, Yagamich, thank you. Four minutes! Maison de Amida. Let's see. First of all, I'd better see what I can find out about your death, little guy. <laughs> Mark asked proudly. Excuse me, but Where exactly are we? He came with us! You followed me? A creature that doesn't move? Cecile. I followed you. You brought me with you. One or the other? Hmm, it looks like the dead can move around together. This is the land of four minutes before your death. Really? We're really here? So that means you're gonna save Miss Camilla, doesn't it? Aren't you even surprised? I mean, we just traveled through time and- Not especially! I mean, Miss Camilla can walk around on two legs, but I can't do that! So if she can do that, then it's not so strange that you can walk backwards through time! Oh, <laughs> missile! So that's the way your mind works, I guess. That's reasonable enough. Come on! Let's get started! Is that bark the same stock bark sound effect from uh, Ocarina of Time? Sounds identical. First, we watch your last four minutes unfold. Then, we use what we learned to save Camilla. Just like when I saved Lynn at the junkyard. And Nintendogs. If we watch closely, we ought to be able to get a few leads. Keep your eyes open. Of course! Leave it to me to sniff out a few clues. It's gonna s Whoa. What happened? Yippee! Found the remote. Oh, oh, he's barking. Oh, it's definitely the same one from the Zeldas. Oh. Shut that mud up. Yeah, he's a Ninetales. No, Missile, you're not supposed to bark. The lady next door is crabbier than ever tonight. Is it Christmas? If it barks again, I'll knock this wall down. You don't want to knock her. You don't want her to knock the wall down, do you, boy? Uh, why do you like to bark so much anyway? Cause he's good. His name's Missile. Missiles aren't quiet. You sure are cute, but just don't get us killed, okay? Darn, I really wanted to watch TV too. A class gentrify. <laughs> hey, Todd. I know. I'll listen to music. That's quiet. Everyone in this game is not very bright, and I love it. Oh, headphones. She is bright. Okay. Oops, oops. 
No. Oh, that was close. But now she's not going to hear the assassin. I'm in the mood for donuts tonight. Good thing I have a wheelie tray full of donuts. I'm envious of this girl's life. Uh-oh. That's going to missile, isn't it? Never mind, it's rat. Uh-oh. I'll knock this wall down. <laughs> this is just chaos. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, Missile's happy. No! I don't really like it when jobs outside the original scope crop up. I have to put it down as a separate charge, and accounting never likes that. You monster. I guess it can't be helped. Sorry, kid. Uh, I'm sure it's not going to be graphic, but if you need to not look at this, I understand. Okay, it faded to white. It's still very, very sad. That's the whole dramatic story what happened four minutes before you died. Look at that. I'm dead. I'm kind of shocked to tell the truth. Okay, let's get started on saving her. Let's see. How are we going to do this? Seems to me the easiest way would be for you to take a big, big bite out of that man's leg. Oh, but I don't think I could do that. Whenever somebody I don't know comes around, all I want to say to them is, Welcome! Missile! <laughs> I can't help it. Okay, then I guess the only thing we can do is get the little lady to help herself somehow. Oh, I don't think she could do that. Did you notice they're putting those red things on her head? Oh, you mean the headphones? Whenever she puts those red things on, that's it! I, call, I can call her name until my throat is sore, but she never hears me. To be perfectly honest, I hate those red things! You're right. With those headphones on, our little lady doesn't even hear the sound of the intruder's gun. It's very loud headphones. Maybe that's our first lead. Now we know we have to do something about that. Back to the past. Trick. Trick. -y. Noise canceling headphones cannot silence gunshots, but you know, maybe they're that good. Open the door. Uh, extend the umbrella. Found the remote. So close. You almost knocked those red things down. Think you're onto something there. If we drop them in the fish tank, Camilla won't be able to use them anymore. But if we drop them in the fish tank, Miss Camilla will get a scolding from Miss Lynn. All I have to do is pretend it was your fault. That's the way of the honorable warrior. Okay, but you've obviously never seen Miss Lynn when she gets mad. Uh, do it again. Hmm. There's gotta be something else that we can do. Shut that mud up. This only very briefly opens it. Huh. Bark, bark, bark. Um. Hmm. Oh, when she wheels over the thing. Maybe that's something I can do. You know what? I'm not all done, do you, boy? Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> what do I gotta do? This isn't good. Miss Camilla's gonna put those red things on her head. I know, once she gets them on, it's all over. She won't be able to hear a thing. What can I do? Um, yeah, whoops. Ow, why is it acting up all of a sudden? I don't really like getting smacked by doors, especially in my own house. It's like the door is a bad dog, buying the hand that feeds it. Although with missile, it's more nibbling at the tip of my nose than my hand. Oh, he's a good pup. No, she didn't, stop. Do it again, do it again. Oh no, uh. Do it. Do it now. Do it. No! I did it. Darn. How'd I manage to do that? I'm very proud of you playing a contextual logic puzzle game on stream, but I wish you the best. Thank you, Todd. <laughs> well, early game, it's always great because it's easy. It's when I get later in these puzzle games, I'm like, oh no. Oh god. 
Why you put the headphones over top of water for this to happen? Lynn just bought me those headphones too. How about if we tell her you did it, Missile? Yeah, he loves that. Darn, now I can't even listen to music either. I think the gods are playing tricks on me tonight. God tricks. Forgive me, Miss Camilla, I'm only doing it to save you. So what? Now you think you're one of the gods, eh? No, never mind that. The more important thing is we managed to change the situation. That's true. At least now we can use the little lady's ears to help us. More time. Hmm. But now what? Donuts. Uh, it's a 2DS. Yeah. The question is, what do we do now? Unless we do something more, the outcome will still be the same. If only I had big, strong teeth and an aggressive spirit. Doesn't seem like we can stop the Hitman from coming in, so in that case, I have an idea. Why don't we hide Miss Camilla? Hide, huh? That sounds like just the kind of idea a little dog you would come up with. Are you making fun of me? But where could a little lady hide in this room? I think I might have just the place, but there's just one little problem. How to get Miss Camilla in there, right? Exactly. If we could possess Camilla herself, the answer would be easy. But I can't do that, so I guess the only way to do it is to lead her there. Lead her with donuts. Let's see what I can come up with. I'll be here watching, cheering you on. Um. Move the cart. Zoom. Ghost. Where the donuts go? Don't wheel it back. Don't wheel it back. Oh, she just moved over here. Oh my god, look at all these things I can do now. Uh, play with the ornament. Shut that mud up. <laughs> it just chaos. <came> I love it. <laughs> Wait, what happened? If you bark like that, how can anybody enjoy the pretty melody? And your poor mistress has to get up and quiet you down every time. Yes, I'm truly embarrassed by my own behavior. Look at that. One of the ornaments fell off the tree. I'm not just saying things like that. I graduated from playing with balls a long time ago. You should try graduating from needless barking, too. Sorry, that's one thing I could just never give up. He's doing his best. Um, let's toss out a donut. Yeah. There you go. Mouse time. Uh, I can't reach that. I thought maybe I could use the donut to get closer. Uh, do this. No, that's back the way it came. No. Go back. The spinning thing. I can't get up there, though. Man, so if you bark like that, you make the lady next door start howling. If you keep this up, that wall is going to come down on our heads before we know it. But you'll protect me if anything bad happens, right, Missile? <laughs> of course I will. That's quite a big promise for a little fellow. Poor little guy's up against some formidable opponents. The man in black and the woman in purple. Hmm. Uh, what are you thinking about? I know time's running out. Why do you always give your mistress so much trouble? I'm truly embarrassed. Okay. When that little guy starts squeaking, it gets me all in an uproar. And when I bark, Miss Camilla always comes over and gives me a nice hug. We might be able to take advantage of that piece of information. How? Wherever the donut falls, the rat shows up to check it out. And then you go to bark at the rat. And then our little lady comes to you to quiet you down. That's just the way things work, I'm afraid. So in other words, the donut can be the bait that will lead the little lady to where we want her. Hmm, yeah, but how do I do anything? I don't understand how that helps me. Give me a donut. Do I only have one chance at the donut? I can't make another donut fall. What do we do now? Without that donut, the squeaky guy won't come and I won't bark. Looks like only one donut will fall. But the donut's the only bait that will lead the little lady where we want her. Maybe I should rethink my plan of attack. Oh. Uh... Oh, it spins around. Okay. Next time, uh, ask me if I'd like a hint uh, before you let me know what I can do. Ran, thank you. That is very clever, though. Faster. 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 Go fast. 
Mm, turn the latch. What's that? Something just fell, and quite dramatically, too. Sorry, I never played this. Gotcha. Well, then, uh... Yeah, just still keep it vague if you're like, oh, I have an idea. It was a wooden box, kind of heavy. I wonder what it was doing there. I'm just glad I didn't fall on Miss Camilla's head. Me too. We don't need to add to the number of ghosts around here. That would be great, though. The more times you mess up, there's just more and more ghosts. Eh. Can't reach. Uh... Oh, God. Oh, boy. Eh. Why can't I reach it now? Uh, this way. Rock the painting. Mmm, underwhelming. Uh... Nah. No, I'm running out of time. Yeah. Uh, huh. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I'm concerned that I can't get back or do anything else. No. No. Uh. Just, just keep rocking the painting. Maybe eventually it'll do something. Can you stop? Oh, I can't slow it down. And that will make it lower. I did for gore. Boy, this sure is the first level. That's not a tutorial. <laughs> and I'm already struggling. Um. Hmm. Get her over here and she'll notice the thing. Shut that butt up. Notice the package. Notice the box. What are you barking about anyway? Well, just look at it. It's all sparkly and glittery and it turns around and around. Besides, it plays that exciting music. What else can I do but bark? Tell me this then, exactly what are you thinking when you bark like that? Well, let's see. That time there, if I had to put my feelings into words, I'd say they were... Welcome! I guess that about sums it up. It's the kind of feeling I'll never quite understand. <laughs> oh, he's good. Um... Um... Hmm... She's not noticing the package. Notice the package! Oh, God. Oh, no. Uh, anything I can do over here? Don't mind me. I'm just over here now. Oh. Oh, no, I messed it up. What'd I do wrong? Wait! Wait, I have a thing I can try. Hold on, hold on. I have a thing I can try, but I'm just kind of dumb. Which is, wait. Now that it's going slow, it's lower, which means maybe I can reach a thing further down. Nope. Wait. Yep. Lamp to open the thing. Okay. You sent that thing flying. I like to tidy up by shoving ice doors under the sofa. Eh. How come you're looking at me when you say that? Wait a minute. Under the sofa, eh? That might be a spot the hitman wouldn't look. Come to think of it. Miss Camilla climbs under the sofa all the time, trying to catch me. You're a naughty little doggy, aren't you? So my new plan is to hide the little lady under the sofa. Only problem now is how do I lead her under there? Okay, okay, okay. All right, well. Oh my God, Reaster, that is the perfect emote. It, it literally is missile. It's literally missile. It's called missile and it is missile. That's great. Um, uh, okay, I think I'm gonna reset. Because I don't want to see what happens when I run out of time. But, uh, I got to get the donut over here like I had it before, but then I got to flip it over and then, uh, uh, get the rat under there and maybe it'll work. Uh, go! Uh, I guess we're going to the clock again and see how we pick up goes. For after Fate, oh, nice! There's, like, a checkpoint. So I don't have to do the, the headphones again. I appreciate that. Only sadness if I run out of time. Get those donuts. Still not sure what's up with the package. I'm gonna leave it, because maybe that's a thing. Um, okay, so... Zoom. So first I need... Oh, I need the package to get the ball off the thing. Right. where my donuts go? There you go. I gotta wait. I gotta wait. Don't do the donut yet. 
and then spin faster. Fast. I was so excited watching it go fast, I didn't even notice that it was higher up. So I'm very observant. Okay, do that. Pow. Drops. The th oh, and then I need to do the, uh, the, um... The, 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 the star. That's what knocks it off. Right? What? What's that for, Code Man? Thank you. There you go. Actually, I'm not sure if I need the ball there. I guess the ball just taught me where it will go. Um, so now, uh, donut. And then quickly, before the rat approaches. No, the rat is too fast. The rat is way too fast. Oh no. How am I to get there in time? Uh, <clears throat> Sorry, rat. It was fun, though. He liked it. Missile, no! Hey, get under there. What are you doing under here, you silly boy? My little missile. You're always doing the cutest things. Like eating donuts underneath the, uh... The couch. Better stay quiet, missile. Nobody's here, eh? My prey is bound to come home sometime. Might as well make myself comfortable in the meanwhile. We saved Missile. Ooh. There! Our little lady's fate has been averted. It has? The poor thing is still curled up in a ball and shaking with fear. Well, yeah, that's true. But that's not so bad in the scheme of things. I'd say she's just fine. And look, you're not dead. Oh, you're right. We did it. We did it, didn't we? We did it! Well, to be precise, you're the one who did it. Huh? Me? I? Saved Miss Camilla? Yep. You're the one who, who led her under the sofa, right? You protected your mistress. I can attest to that. Oh. Oh, thank you. Can I ask a question? Sure, what is it? What exactly are those strange powers of yours? You mean my ghost tricks? Apparently they're the power to manipulate inanimate objects. If they're ghost tricks, then can I do them too? I'm dead too, after all. I, I guess that's how it goes, right? I've been staring at those donuts as hard as I could for a long time now. But they won't budge for me. Why do you suppose that is? I don't really know. I guess you just don't have that power. Well, I have one thing to say to that. That's not fair. Sorry, but I guess not everybody who dies gets the, gets the powers of the dead. What's gonna happen to me now? Nothing, really. Your death has been erased. You'll just go back to being a happy little doggy, living your everyday life. I guess that means goodbye. But we'll meet again sometime, right? Yeah, maybe, if you die again. What did you did for me tonight? I'll never forget it! Well, I guess we better be getting back to the present. Time to see what happens next in our quote-unquote story. We saved them. And now a new present is born. The little lady is still curled up in a ball and shaking with fear. And the little doggy is wagging his tail happily. So what am I going to do now? I think I'll watch for a while and see what happens. What's the worst that could happen? Yeah, that's the end of the, of the game. The end of the missile arc. No pun intended. What? Still at the junkyard. All right, got it. I'm on my way. I guess my prey likes to play hide and seek. She hasn't had enough of that junkyard yet, apparently. I can't let nearsighted Jigo beat me on this one. I better hurry. Stay one step ahead. Good. Good work. He does everything with his gun. What was that all about? You saved me, didn't you, Missile? I just know you did. 
Maybe I shouldn't answer it. I like that everyone in this universe has an old rotary phone. Lynn! I gotta get over there. A call from Lynn, eh? It sounds serious. I wonder what they're saying. I better go possess that phone and listen in. Ghost time. Eh. There's that little doggy all curled up on the floor, dreaming away the life we worked so hard to get back for him. That's fine, but what's up with that core? The dead can't possess living creatures. That's one of the rules Mr. Desklamp taught me. So what would a living and breathing doggy be doing with a core? Better try possessing him and see. Uh... Oh, okay. It's you! It's you! It's, um... Come to think of I never did ask your name. I guess it's good we ran to each other again, then. This is a good chance for us to reintroduce ourselves to each other. You mean you forgot my name already? After everything we shared together, the drama, that tearful goodbye? I miss all. But you know, it's strange. I wonder why you remember me now that you're alive again. Do you remember your time being dead? Of course, all of it. Okay, let me get this straight. The memory of being dead doesn't disappear, and the dead I meet in the ghost world develop a core when they return to the land of the living. And then if I then possess that core, I can talk to that person. It looks that way, yes. Okay, well, how you doing? That's Camila. It never fails. What never fails? Every time she gets on that black hello, she talks and talks and forgets all about me. No matter how much I run around and show off, she never even glances at me. So that was you showing off, eh? Well, I would like to hear what the ladies are talking about. So would I. I want to give him my name. I'm going to introduce myself. That's Camilla. Yeah, okay, well, fine. Missile doesn't need to know our name. Do 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 ba do boop 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 and uh wheel it get out of the way beep beep come through Gar Thank you for the hammy I appreciate it Yes someone did mention that missile is based on a real dog. The writer designer had a palm named Missile with the same big personality. Yeah, apparently there's a dog named Missile in one of the Ace Attorney games, or several of them or something. It's very good. Thank you very much for the hammy. Lady and the Tramp. Oh, that's what they call it. Yeah. It's really cute. Inept Hitman Jenkins or IBS Joe. I mean, at this rate, I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, Put me in the phone. Dick Gumshoes, dog. Oh! Uh, Camila! Thank goodness you're okay. Well, I don't know if I'm okay exactly. You won't believe what just happened. Listen to me! You gotta get out of there right now. What about dinner? I was thinking about spaghetti tonight. I won't be going back there for a while. You must be... You might be in great danger if you stay there, too. I already was in danger just a little while ago. Meet me at that restaurant, the Chicken Kitchen, on Dead End Drive. Dead End Drive? I don't know. It's pretty far. Just hurry, okay? And one more thing. Bring the music box. Yo, Rebecca Rooney. And Raiders, welcome. How y'all doing? Thanks for the raid. Jet. You gotta defend against the Raiders. There you go. Hello, welcome. We're playing Ghost Trick. This is the second level we just wrapped up. So you're just in time. We just started. We're hanging out. Playing a weird DS game. Uh, it's a hoot. Bring the music box with you. Music box. I love music boxes. Is this a present for me? I'm sorry, but it doesn't play. I can't even get the lid open. Then you can't very well call it a music box. Then can you? It's more like a box. Bring it, okay? It's kind of big and it's made of wood. Okay, I will. Where is it? Kind of hidden in that room you're in. Uh. Excuse me? Lynn! Not again. 
Get rid of the goddamn tub. There's not even any fish in it. What's it for? Now I dropped the phone in there too. How about if we tell her you did it, Missile? But I sure hope Lynn's all right. I better get going. I know right where Dead End Drive is. But I never saw any music box around here. Where am I supposed to find it? Do you know where it is, Missile? Help me look, okay? Yeah, all right. Yeah, okay. I guess the phone's dead now, too. What are the odds that that would happen? Looks like our little lady's a bit of a klutz. Next thing you know, she'll be dropping that poor little doggy in the tank. Anyway, something's happening to Lynn. I better help Camila find her treasure. I don't know if it's because I lost my memory or what, but I don't seem to remember what a music box is exactly. Is it the thing that fell from the ceiling? Yahoo. Zoom. And make it, make it do a noise again. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is it, the music box. Yippers. I'll leave the remote here, but don't you touch it, missile. If the TV comes on, you'll start barking. I'd hate to find you flat underneath that wall when I come home. I'm leaving now, missile. I have to go help Lynn. She's like a sister to me, you know. You be good while I'm away. No barking. How come you bark in affirmation when I say no barking? His tail is constantly moving. Still no peace for the little lady. And the redhead Lynn is facing a new crisis right now as well. He's just yelling welcome. He can't help it. Meanwhile, I'm in a bit of a pickle on my own. With the receiver at the bottom of the fish tank, I find myself still trapped in this apartment. Why don't you possess something in her pocket? Or the music box? Too bad I can't just curl up and go to sleep with my tail wagging too, because there's something I must do. The question is, how do I go about getting out of here? Safe. Yes. 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 Bow down. 8.04 p.m. Time's a ticking away. Best ending. We saved Missile. Once again, Lynn is in danger, and I think she knows it, too. I sincerely doubt she'll be coming back to this apartment tonight. She and I are connected to each other somehow. She's my only lead, and I can't lose her. I have to get to her, and fast. <laughs> With the telephone in this apartment being out of service, my only hope of escape is to find another phone. Or, I don't know, maybe the receiver is fritzed, but the phone itself is fine? So, it would still work? To travel via ghost? No, Mr. Desk Lamp here! The only friend I have to talk to is... That nice little doggy curled up there on the floor. Let's go say hi. Hey, buddy. A hundred and seventy percent excitement and energy. Oh, hello. What's up? I was wondering if you could help me. I'll certainly try. About the only thing I'm really good at, though, is barking. There isn't really much else. I think you might be right there. But I'm really, really good at barking. Miss Link comes chasing after me with a broom. The lady next door kicks the wall. I've got quite a bit of influence around these parts. Um. Well, we can get him barking. Are we helping? This is good, right? Oh, she's got a functioning phone. If you keep that racket up, I'll bring this whole dilapidated building down on you. Did you hear what I just heard? You mean the lady next door's angry howl? No, forget that. It was the sound of a telephone ringing coming from the apartment next door. I get it. You're thinking about borrowing her telephone, aren't you? But how are you going to do that without breaking the wall down? The lady next door is kindly offering to do it for us. Yes, but she's mostly hoping to crush me underneath it. Yeah, let's, let's turn that off. 
We need a little more racket, not less. I think I should turn this off. Besides, I want to see if that woman really keep her promise. Wait, really? What will become of me if I'm squashed into a Pomeranian pancake? Is there anything else to spur this little doggy on a bit more? I, I, my thought was I need to get up into the ceiling and that there'd be like a, a passageway to get into her apartment, not literally get her to break the door. Okay, well, break the wall down. Uh, get this going too. He can't decide what to bark at. <laughs> I will pound this wall open. Where did- where did Missile go? What? He went flying off like a missile. <laughs> what? I t What happened? I told you, didn't I? I told you I would knock the wall down on you. So this is what it feels like to have a wall knocked down on you, huh? It's more like she knocked you out through the wall, really. I'm still alive, aren't I? You are? But the TV and the star ornament aren't. He's fine, he's fine. He just, he just did a big old jump and a flip. I'll never bark again, not as long as I live. But wait a minute. It looks like all that commotion wasn't for naught, huh? Your barking made her create a path for me. It did? But the wall is still standing just like before. But there are paths only the dead can see. Those kinds of paths. What? Oh, he's fine. He's okay. What? I don't wonder. She has tons of stuff in her apartment. Why was that the only way to... Whatever. Hey, buddy. That felt good. I haven't barked like that in a long time. You certainly seem to be putting your heart into it. It's nice to really let loose once in a while. I'm a little tired now, though. I'm not as young as I used to be. I'm two already, after all. I wonder how old I am. Two years old. An old soul. Alright. Yeah, it's the same. Many years. Okay. Uh. Get me back over there. Wait. Eh. Yahoo. Pow. I made it. So you're leaving, huh? I guess so. You're going to save Miss Camilla and Miss Lynn? I have to follow my own mystery first and foremost. That means everything to me. But you will save them, right? If it helps me along my way, then yeah. I don't have any powers of the dead. I'm not even dead, actually. But I'm gonna find a way to go help Miss Camilla, too. Nice. We create our own paths. Right, Missile? That's right. I like how we're having a more fun farewell with Missile than we ever did with Ray. We're like, okay, bye, Lamp. Missile, this is where we part ways. No taking. See you around the next time. I'm leaving now. Guess this is our second goodbye. I'm, I mean, obviously Missile's more important. It's just amazing that the devs agreed. It is, isn't it? My name is... Sissel, finally. If we ever meet again, that's what you can call me. Sissel, huh? Got it. You know what, Sissel? I'm gonna create my own path, just like you said. Is he going out? Is he leaving? What did... What did we do to... What happened to the dog... <laughs> He's gonna escape, and he's gonna get himself killed again. Tonight is that holiest of all nights, my deadline. All I need to get some inspiration from the muses is this bottle and some cheese. Here is to the boorish people next door. Cheers. New info. Are you all right, my darling angel? Have you taken your medicine like a good girl? Who's sneezing? Well, here I am in yet another strange room. What's with this oddly tense air of this place, anyway? 
Now where is that little treasure I'm looking for? It's so far. The telephone. Now if we can just borrow it. There isn't a conspicuous bottle of water beneath it, so we're safe. Even now, Lin's life is in danger. I have to use that phone, and fast. Can't very well make that woman bring it to me. I guess I'll have to find a way over there myself. Examine the dictionary. This thing's too heavy. I can't manipulate it. Maybe that woman built up her destructive power by hefting this puppy. It's more like a weapon than a book. Mm. A windmill. Give it a spin. Oh, Mr. Prime Minister, you mustn't. I'm a married woman. And I'm a married man, but we cannot resist this any longer. I'm ready to abdicate it all for you. Even if it means my ultimate ruination. Hmm. Ruination. Is that even a word? Change, Gromit. Yeah, ruination's a word. And that abdicate just doesn't look right somehow. This is gonna nag, me, nag at me until I'm sure. I better get to that dictionary. Yeah, 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 yeah. Use the dictionary. Where is that dictionary? Let's see. I know I put it in here somewhere. Now, where could it have gone to? Open. Open. I can't manipulate it. She can't- she- she gave up? She gave up. Ha- what? Oh, it is underneath, so... We gotta find a way to release it. Eh. Oh, maybe I should do a spin while she's over here. No, I mustn't. I mustn't allow myself to believe in your love, Mr. Prime Minister. Well, why won't you believe me? My love for you is true, I swear. And it's so strong it overwhelms me. I've always wondered, if you can be overwhelmed by something, can you just be just plain whelmed? It's gonna nag at me till I'm sure. You can be whelmed. Absolutely. I'm presently whelmed. And do a spin. Get her with a spin. She'll never expect it spinning of its own accord. Okay, well. Damn. How do I... Oh, I can just go up. Kapow. There is a rat up in the... In the loft. Should we release the rat? Should we poke the rat? Should we spin the rat? The rat did a flip. No, Mr. Prime Minister, we mustn't if the people ever find out. I don't care what they think. What do the plebeian masters understand anyway? Certainly not our love. What is this Prime Minister talking about? Never even heard the word plebeian before. Is she writing this or not? <laughs> what is she? What's he talking about? I don't know. Okay, well. I'd read the story. Where'd the rat go? Oh, God. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. The rat... Get back here. Rat. And then, uh, rat. Do a flip. Yeah. Yeah, did a flip. Oh, there it is. Creeper, a oh man. Huh. So we back in the mine. Got a pickaxe swinging from side to side. Side, side, side to side. Side. This task a grueling one. Side. Hope to find some diamonds, diamonds tonight, tonight, night, night, night. Thank you for the hammy. Maybe she's not even writing notes. That could be. I think she is a writer, but there you go. Wait, let me get in there. But it's strange. I know I left this dictionary on the shelf. It's as if some little angel were playing naughty tricks on me. There's a lot of words. Like a, an, and, and again. Also, uh-huh. See, uh-huh. Aardvark. Artichoke. Eh. All together. <laughs> Perhaps my darling angel. Missile. <gasps> Missile! Can we get Tumby added to the dictionary? Mama! 
Um, turn the knob on the lamp. That gutter. Turn the lights off. She brought this dictionary all the way over here to look something up. Hey, regardless, here it sits all alone. Either she forgot what she wanted to look up, or she forgot she even wanted to look anything up in the first place. Is your regardless really a word? <laughs> this game. Um. I guess go back in the. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Just wait. What is it, my darling angel? My head hurts, mama. You poor dear, no wonder, with a fever of 102. Here's to a night of fever hotter than the love of my prime minister. What? What? Cheers. It's almost time to go out for my lesson. Can I take the night off? I suppose that would be best. But wait a minute. I bet you're happy to have an excuse to get out of it, aren't you? She's got a fever of 102. Not especially if I ever do if if I ever don't want to go, I just don't go and pretend I did. I go play with Camila next door or something. Here is to the blunt honesty of my darling angel. Boy, she really doesn't want any excuse to cheers. Today's Papa's birthday. Oh, is it? Aren't we gonna celebrate together? Let's not talk about your father, dear. Now, Mom has to go back to work. I have a deadline tonight, after all. Mama, Why wait. do you bark like you're running out of time? Bork day and night Missile like you're running Archie. out of time. Every day you arf like you're running out of time. Keep on borfing in the meantime. Thank you, Trumpet. It's the Prime Minister's birthday. <laughs> I have one thing to say. Don't try and put me in the middle of you two, okay? Oh my god. Things got real. Whatever could you be talking about? I know what's going on, you know. You write novels and Papa wants you to stop. But it was very selfish of you to take me and leave the house. I want to go home. I gotta redo that hint with the stuck bark sound effect. Burp. Now, now, it's time for good little girls to go to sleep. Especially sick little girls. I hate you, Mama. Why'd you cheers to that? I hate this woman. Oh. These two are quite a pair. The father would have to be a pretty strong man to hold his own against them. Sounds like their family circumstances are pretty complicated. I wonder if I had a family. What if this is his family? Um. Oh my, the lamp is out. <laughs> oh, this game is good. <laughs> this is a good video game. Oh, my darling lady, to think that you were a spy all along. What are you going to do to me, Mr. Prime Minister? I will arrest you and make sure you receive a proper penalty. You are sentenced to be imprisoned in my cell of love and punished with my whip of passion. Oh, Mr. Prime Minister. Oh, my dear lady. Hmm. I'd hate to live in this Prime Minister's country. I guess she's done looking up the... Um... Eek. What is going on? I made a typo. Give me that. She gonna throw it? Yeah! Pow. Nice. Open the wastebasket. Wait, 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 There you go. Oh, that's excellent. Oh, I love that. That's sweet. Huge plays. Hello, is that you? How many times are you going to make me tell you? Tonight is that holiest of all nights, my deadline. Please, I'm begging you, change your mind and come home to me. I think you're the one who needs to change his mind. Is her husband actually a prime minister? Yeah, her posture is a, is a, is a time. Uh, please put yourself in my position. You can write your novel just as well from home. Until you change your mind, your daughter and I won't be coming home. Even if that means forever. Let me talk to Amelie then, at least. You can't talk to her. She's sick with a fever right now, and I won't have you giving her nightmares. I want to talk to Papa. Now I don't want to hear your voice anymore tonight. 
Please, wait a minute. Don't try to call again, I won't answer. I refuse to answer! Trace complete. I got a new number. Cheers. Now I finally have the telephone lines I need. I'm curious about this woman's husband, but I should go find my only lead first. That hitman who's after Lynn is sure to be heading to the junkyard right now. I better hurry. Should I should I go to the junkyard or should I see what's up in the troubled man's office? <laughs> There's a tiny bug flying around. Um But what if? But what if? Prime Minister man. You should do you. I kinda wanna see what's up. I mean, Lynn's got tons of time, right? She's fine. Yeah, it seems like they, they do kind of reward you for going to the wrong place. Are you alright, sir? I ordered all of you not to come near me! I beg your pardon, sir. I'm sorry I shouldn't have yelled at you like that. But I'd like to be left alone right now. You may go. Yes, sir. God, what a pose. Oh, boy. Another strange room and another strange person. I wish these telephone lines came with a nameplates or something. Sheesh. Trick, trick time. Am I, am I doing stuff? Wait. Oh. Oh, there he goes. It's a huge room. Um. Uh, yeah. Flap the flag. Hmm. Flap it more. Eh. Yeah. Yeah. I need a big breeze. No. Fine. Doesn't seem like there's much I can do here right now. Do a medicine bottle trick. Do a flip. Yeah. Let's get out of here. Can we help them as we're finding out the truth about ourselves? How's the dog doing? Line doesn't seem to be working. Oh, uh, no. I wanted to see if he was still running his head into the wall. Okay. This line doesn't seem to be working. Okay. Back to the junkyard. Yeah, we broke it a little bit, but... Still feel like it should still work even with a busted headset, but... Not much time has passed since I was here last, but the situation has changed. Oh. Is that Phoenix? Looks like they're examining my body. Wonder who they are. Lamp dance. Lamp dance. Beside them, a certain somebody else wriggles and bounces happily. I wonder who that person really is, too. Is there a lamp dance on BTTV? Welcome back. You weren't gone very long. What's going on here? The police are here to start the criminal investigation, you know, into your murder. My murder case, eh? Where is Lynn? Is she alright? So you found out her name already, did you? I'm impressed. There's no lamp dance. No. Eek! It's Larry Phoenix right in Max Payne. He'll never figure out. Sound like she was in some kind of immediate danger. Not to mention the fact that Hitman is after her again. Well, you don't have to worry about that kind of thing. She was just taken into custody a few minutes ago. Custody? You mean she was arrested? But why? I don't know. I'm just a desk lamp. Hmm. I better see what I can find out. Hmm. Eh. Yeah. Oh. It's Phoenix's dad. Um. Tulsa. Quite a thing, huh, this case? Yeah, one of our own. A murderer? Heads were all over this. And she's a rookie, too. I heard she was carrying out some crazy investigation. Rookies aren't given crazy assignments like that. Not even rookies like Lynn. A Tucson. Yeah, t Tucson's better. Yeah, but I heard she was special. Phoenix wrong. Tucson wrong. Best of both worlds. I heard she was special. 
She's got strong ties to Inspector Cabanella of the Special Investigation Unit. I plan on moving up the ladder on my own merits myself. Well, we detectives shouldn't be standing around gossiping. Never know who might be listening. Like me. Like m like me. <laughs> who is this yellow submarine looking motherfucker? What the hell is this deal? Oh god. Um this is spider watch me watching me pooping, watching me pooping, watching me pooping. He's on the wall and he's watching me pooping, watching me pooping, watching me pooping. Oh god, he's crawling here. It's that time he disappeared. Flush him down the toilet. The one no spider's watching me while I'm pooping. Don't call him Dr. Guigi. Hey, thank you for the hammy. Let me get caught up on alerts. We're in we're back in a like it's a the same area but new scene. Good opportunity for me to get caught up. Hey, thank you. I really appreciate it. Y'all, uh, uh, giving me things to read. Uh, Rebecca Rooney, thanks again for the raid. Wait, earlier than that, even. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Jaeger Mage with 100 bits. Gotta save a precious pup missile. He's afraid of vacuums, weather, Dyson, or Bissell. Ran Cossack with 100 bits. Head empty. Only love and loyalty, the best child. The Quasars, thanks for 42 months. Adoki to you. Captain Disco, 47 months. Frag and Chew, 9 months. Welcome. Save this waggy lad. Enjoy Ruby Key. Chrome Robo, 29 months. This is my favorite game. I'm so glad you're playing Goat's Trick. Yeah, Goat's Trick. Shiny Whooper, seven months. Ooh. Code Man, thanks for two gifted subs to Yummy Orange Slushy and Dash the Rabbit. Uh, Gur, thanks again for the hammy. Kurt DZ, 20 months. Ooh, it's a 20. Ooh. Ooh. That fish going, ooh. Smash Man, game for 10 minutes. Not sure if it's brought up, but the trailer for the Chippendale Rescue Rangers movie has been unfortunately occupying my thoughts all day. For those who haven't seen it, it's not at all what you expect it to be. We talked about it very briefly earlier. I haven't watched the trailer, but I saw the poster. That was more than enough for me. Uh, the Jaeger Mage. Give bits. Between this lady and Grapple Dog's poultry gilf, this stream's a gold mine for fans of refined vintages. Uh, uh, thank you, thank you, Jaeger Mage. Uh, Xandry, thanks for the 100 bits. Cheese, Gromit. Cheese. GMM cast, thank you for the 100 bits. Barry, I'm not feeling very whelmed right now. I hope you're feeling over or underwhelmed. Never whelmed, over or under. It's like you want to, you want to, in golf, you want to hit a birdie or a bogey. Never par, right? Right, that, that, that means you're a normie. You're playing at average. You want to be better or worse than average. Because then you're interesting. <laughs> thank you. Bagel Teeth, thank you for the hammy. This entire stream, I've been trying to think how to make a possess these nuts joke, but a head empty anyway. Here's a hammy. Uh, yeah, they put them all on the iOS, but not on Android, which is weird. Come on, Capcom. Come on, Capcom. Uh, possess these nuts. Um, if there's a level in a park where we have to lure a squirrel, then then that's when you can go possess these nuts. Uh, Jaeger Mage, you know what How appropriate this lady is a writer, because you could do Shakespeare... You could do Shakespeare off that balcony. She's got stuffed in that dress. Thank you, Jaeger Mage. Oh my god. <laughs> Trumpet Wings, thanks for the hammy. Birthday hammy. There's no stream tomorrow, so you get my annual birthday hammy today. It's always a fun time hanging out in this house. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoy your birthday tomorrow. Happy early birthday, everyone. Instead of thinking about what Jaeger Mage said, just wish Trumpet Wings a happy early birthday. Hope it's a good one. Xander, thank you for the hand. Uh, the 100 bits. I was going to say a fact, but when I double checked, I learned it was false. That's all right. S Red, thanks for 48 months. Four years. A key card is yours. Felix, thanks for the hand. Tonight is that of Holiest of Nights, a stream night. I hope you're enjoying one of my favorite games. Here's the wonderful rest of your night into chat. It was cute. Thank you. I did see it, Logic. We didn't talk about it. Uh, but yeah, it was exceptionally good. Very, very cool. Recommend people check out the Mother 3 tribute thing making the rounds right now. Moonwing, thanks for gifting a sub to Peter325. Welcome back. Thank you. Oh, my God. Uh, <clears throat> I have to just just uh, uh, breathe. A game like this has a lot of dialogue. And I'm reading it all. I didn't do any vocal warm-ups, so I'm just... Not, not that I normally do. Diction is done with the tip of the tongue and the teeth. You want to pull... What will become of Missile? Movie director or supermodel or general or prime minister? You got it, Flavier. Uh, movie director, supermodel, general, prime minister. Play Store only in Japan. Oh, that's weird. That is weird.
Mm-hmm. Yeah. Movie director. Supermodel. General. Prime. Minister. Make sure you vote in this poll chat. It's very important. This will come into play later in the game. Pup Minister. Happy Borth to all the Borths. All the Borth Borths. Is this game playable anything other than DS? It is on iOS and Play Store in Japan. And that may be it. All I know is when I was, everyone was like, play this. I was like, well, time to track down a copy of the DS game. And I did it. Shouts to eBay and also all of you for telling me to play this. I, I get it. I get the recommendation and I appreciate it. And oh my God, I'm loving this. Uh, Let's continue. What about the superhero? He already is a superhero. Uh, umbrella. Traffic cone. Oh my god, it's Kirby! Um, Mia. Door. Back to me? Bag. Where am I going? Um, doesn't seem to be much of anything I can do with any of these. Um, but I guess she went to, into police custody, so... I think we can safely assume the cause of death was the bullet he took in the chest. Oh, you think, Doc? You're a smart guy, huh? Big old reflector on your head? Make you look smart? Bring the stretcher. I'll look into the rest back at the lab. Would you mind waiting here for a bit, Doctor? Inspector Cabanella, Cabanella, head of the Special Investigation Unit, is on his way now. Special Investigation Unit? What do they want with a case like this? I don't know, but Cabanella's our top investigator. We don't want to get him all bent out of shape, or there'll be hell to pay. Hmm, I don't see what that has to do with me. I don't really get what Cabanella wants to come for, either. It's probably just a big lark for him, and it makes it things tougher on us. Hey, watch what you say behind his back. Never know who might be listening. Like me. Like me. <laughs> Again. Hmm? Oh. Oh. Um, nice. Oh my god, if the nice was timed with that land of the umbrella. Uh, thank you. Appreciate it. Hello. Um, I went from loving this man to uh, despising this man. B by the way, he says, Teenchen. Oh, the Teenchen of a crime scene. Yeah, nothing like it, baby. Oh my god, his moves. Oh my god, his walk cycle. <laughs> what is this game? Evening, boys. How's it looking? Inspector Cabanella, thank you for coming. Allow me to report, sir. Fine, fine, you just hold that thought. I'm gonna make a little phone call first. Good thing it's a wireless public payphone. So this is the head of the special investigation unit. He seems, uh, unique. New info has been added, indeed. Get me over there. Well, here he is for his big lark. Aren't you gonna confront him about it? I'm gonna make my report. Yeah, that's about what I figured. Here we go. Zoom. Deal me the deal. How's it going over there, baby? Going? How is it going, you ask? You'd like to know how it's going? I would say it's going well enough, about fair to average, if I had to say. Yes, it's going all right. Not the man I was hoping to talk to there, baby. Do me a favor and put that other nice man on the horn now, would you? That's a nice fellow. If it has anything to do with this park, I'm the one to talk to. I'm the guardian of this park. Yes. <laughs> Sorry about that, Inspector. Just got here. Well, glad to hear you made that. That other fellow just about threw me for a loop. Started blathering about being the guardian of the park or some such. Yes, uh, him. Sorry about that. Well, start doing your staking out thing, baby, and buzz me if anything comes up! Yes, sir.
Mm-hmm. Guess we're going to a park where we may have to lure a squirrel and make a D's Nuts reference. Now then, sir, if I may make my report, sir. Doc, you who? Oh, Doc. Talking to me? I need you to handle this case with your finest care and attention. Would you do that for me, Doc? Don't need you to tell me how to do my job. Any hoot. I'd like to see the suspect now, if I may. Lynn, sir, I asked her to... T uh, I asked her to let herself be taken into custody voluntarily, sir. She's being detained in the junkyard superintendent's office right now. Super's office, eh? Super! And where's that? Just beyond where you parked your bicycle, inspector. Yeah, over there. I'll go interview the suspect then. Yeah, nothing like it, baby! Carry on, boys. Good luck, sir. There he goes. Uh, I, 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 let's watch him go. Let's just watch him go. Can't go any higher up from being all the way down here. Woo! That Inspector Cabanelli sure has a strange air about him. You can say that again. I've never seen anybody use stairs the way he does. I hear he's dancing his way up the stairs of promotion that same airy way. And I hear Lynn is his personal favorite. What's the deal between those two? How should I know? Mm-hmm. Well, I still can't do anything. I think we can pretty safely assume this was the murder weapon. Oh no, that pistol. Yep, same model as the pistols you detectives carry around. You don't think it's Lynn's, do you? This is not good. If it's hers, it's all over. So Lynn's a detective and the murder weapon might be her pistol. What could it mean? Trick time. Okay, I'm glad that the prompt for a gun trick is examined. That's good. That's good. That could be a lot worse. So this is the weapon that took my life. A pistol, eh? My memory seems to be hazy on pistols. But I have seen them before, that's for sure. Let's see. This part right here is... Fool! If you want to fire the thing, aim it in your own direction. I didn't fire it. I'm the victim here. This is the act of somebody who's jealous of my abilities as a detective. Well, what are you glaring at me for? I'm hardly jealous of you. Guess that proves it's a real gun. <laughs> Bang? What was that? Is that what I think it was? Sound of a gun. He's doing like a, like a Osomatsu Yami Chi. The doctor. I got a bad feeling about this. Every time that phone rings, it's bad news. It's like that old riddle. Which came first, the ringing of the phone or the crime case? Yeah, if you say so. Chi. Well, let's do that trick again. Firing this gun is one thing, but killing a poor detective in the process is another. That's alright, if you kill one, you can just save <laughs> Thanks, Ray. I don't think I need to increase my workload right now. Better not fire it. <laughs> Ray is chat. Got it. Alright. Give gun the guy, show gun the guy, or use gun on guy? Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. I'm you from one minute in the future. Don't fire it. Oh, there you are. Do me a favor and have the doc come to the super's office, would you? He seems pretty busy at the moment, sir. Which one are you? The green one or the blue one? <laughs> uh, I, I, the, the green one, sir. Listen, Greeny, get the good doc over here this instant. Or I'll see to it you never wear a green suit again. 
Yes, sir. I'll set him right up, sir. He's serious. Okay. Super's office. Please, doctor, go to the superintendent's office immediately. If I must. Doop, doop, doop. I gotta listen for heartbeats as I go. Oh, he got there in a hurry. <laughs> they only give Cabanella a fancy hole situation. That telephone call is from the super's office in the maintenance building. And didn't the blue detective say that Lynn was being held in the junk drawer superintendent's office? You better get up there quickly. No time to be standing around here talking to a desk lamp. Says the one who's only capable of standing around. Oh ho. Oh ho. Oh ho. I wish I had a desk lamp emote. <laughs> What's going on? I'll see if, if before next stream I can whip something up. What's going on? Don't ask me, but something seems really, really wrong. That shot sounded like it was coming from somewhere around the maintenance building. Lamp time. Lamp time. Uh, yeah, let's go. Go to the, uh, the park. That's where we're supposed to go. <laughs> yeah, Pixel. Tell me to go one place, I'm gonna go the other place. <clears throat> it appears to be the entrance to a nearly deserted, dimly lit park. The voices of two young people drift over to me on the breeze. Oh, absolutely. Stop the park from being turned into a housing site. Protect the park, the rock of the gods. Sorry, but could you do that somewhere else? I'm a little busy right now, I don't have time to talk. I suppose you think I'm a man of dubious character, a questionable person. No, I, uh, but if an obj objective person were asked, they might think you were a little sus yourself. As to suspicious characters, wouldn't, shouldn't we take the time to converse with each other? Oh boy, all right, but just for a minute. There, I like your attitude. I like it very much. Let's relax and talk a while then. The night is young and so are we. Oh man. Hey game, how you doing? Is there anything I can grab near here? A leaflet. That's it. That's all I can do. Da -da. I can see through the van. Oh god. I feel bad for him. Me trying to leave the supermarket. God, the moves. Why is the animation in this game so good? Seriously. Uh, Super's office. Super. Super. Office. Super. Lynn Lurk and the animation scene. They are right. Yet another gunshot rings out in the lonely junkyard on the edge of town. The sound gives me the feeling a new death will be waiting on the other side of the line. Apparently, I'm not the only one the Reaper's interested in tonight. But as long as there's anything I can do about it, I don't plan on letting anybody else die. Chapter 4, 8.23 p.m. I'm sure nobody else will die in this game. Changing a person's fate is no easy task, especially when their fate is death. The scene at the other end of the line is pretty much what I expected, all except for one thing. No, Lynn! Hang in there, baby! How many times is she gonna keep dying? Looks like some piece of trash shot out- shot her from the top of the pile of garbage outside. Let me take a look at her, maybe there's something I- Sorry, can't allow that, pigeon man. I investigate and you superintend. You have your job and I have mine. Let's leave each other to our own profession, shall we? You gotta be one step ahead. Well, here's what I think. How much of a pro can you be if you let her get shot right in front of you? I. Anyway, have it your way, I'll stay out of your hair. Manic, if if you so choose. I would not say no to a lamp dance, but also you don't have to do a lamp dance. If you need reference, let me know. Mm, mm. Lamp is jamming. It's literally hailing? 
Oh my god, Clanker Gummy. Well, I don't hear any hail outside. I'm not extremely close to Fullerton, but that's wild. Hope you're doing all right, Clanker Gummy. Duck! What took you so long? Quit dragging your feet. Who are you to shout at me? Now let me have a look at the victim. I haven't even looked yet, but I can already tell you she's dead. Her second death of the night, actually. Man, people really want her dead, huh? Yep. What's happening over there? I was napping while this was going because chill vibes in thunder and hail. Oh my god. I've only seen hail a handful of times in LA. And every time it's just like... What? I don't think I've ever seen snow, but I've seen hail a handful of times. It's nuts. I missed the doctor trying to hear the door's heartbeat. <laughs> I I did. I did miss that. Oh, God. I was distracted. How about it, Doc? Can you save her? She's not breathing. No thoughts here. Head empty. Only 87 banana. Afraid I'm not a miracle worker. Only thing we can do now is curse the aim of the one who shot her. And curse that locksmith for printing a billion keys. Den trap. Thank you so much. That's a lot of... A lot of keys. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. I'll get to those in a bit. Next time I read alerts. But thank you so much. Lynn! How could I let this happen to you? Damn. Who are you and how did you get in here? I'm a locksmith and I'm a locksmith. Oh, Lynn. Lynn, Lynn, Lynn. I own a house that's been cursed by a key printing device. No, I think just like, you know, maybe maybe whoever owned this plot of land before was a was a locksmith. I don't know. <laughs> There's one talked about how the words for four and death sound the same in Japanese. That's why you go back in time four minutes before they died. Oh my God, Christmas! That's probably it, isn't it? Yeah, four is an unlucky number in in, in Japan because four sounds like death. That makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. I was gonna say, they go out of their way to be, like, specifically four minutes, but, like, it's not in... When you're playing through it, it's way more than four minutes, and when it plays out the full scene, it's way less than four minutes. So, same in China. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's neat. I like stuff like that. Uh, turn on the lamp. Hooray. That's just a little ghost trick from me to you. Swivel it around. Yeah. The light turns off when it swivels, naturally. Sup? There you go. Wait, if I examine the notebook with the light off, is it like, it's too dark in this well-lit room? <clears throat> What's up with this blinding pink notebook? Somebody stuck it behind the bookcase at a haphazard angle. Maybe that's the superintendent's way of tidying up. Oh. Well then, never mind. Um... Motor. Zip. Unconscious this time as well, eh? <clears throat> Where am I? She's coming too. What happened to me? Excuse me. Are you ignoring me? Oh, uh, sorry. I'm still not used to talking with dead people, you see. Dead? Way to break the news, buddy. So I'm dead, huh? Huh. Try as I might, I can't seem to remember who I am. She's starting to remind me of me. Who am I? Everybody seems to call you Lynn, if that's any help. Lynn, huh? Pretty cute name. And apparently you're a detective, too. Detective? You mean that super cool kind of cop that solves crimes and uphold upholds justice? Sounds like a pretty subjective description, but yes. That kind of detective. Hey, wait a minute. Are you starting to remember something? There's no time to lose. Something really unusual is going down in this town tonight. I certainly won't argue with the really unusual part. That's not your face, you know. Take another look, you're the dead one. Oh, right, of course. I'd be pr it'd be pretty heinous if I looked like this, I guess, wouldn't it? I don't know if heinous is the right word. There! Now this is more like it! 
<laughs> the same exact song starts up again. <laughs> Something really unusual is going on in this town tonight. Could have anything to do with my death, I wonder. Tell me, what is going on in this town tonight? Don't ask me. Huh? I can't remember a thing. I think it's probably because I'm dead. Yeah, everything's so confusing. Can't you do something? Hey, you're asking the wrong guy. But I've got some things to ask you about. Uh, you don't remember anything, but what do you remember? I'm looking for the answers. <laughs> Is that your ringtone? I'm looking for the answers to the questions. Who am I and why was I killed? Do you know anything about that? Do you know anything that might help me? The only thing I know right now is that my name is Sissel. Your name is Sissel, huh? I think so. It rings some kind of bell anyway. I think I was killed tonight while I was meeting with you. So you must at least know me, I think? I was meeting with you? Yes, in the junkyard outside. Hmm. Yeah, it's coming back to me. I remember now. I knew it. I knew you were the lead I needed. But I'm so sorry. I don't think I can help you. Why not? Because I don't know you. What do you mean? I thought you said you remembered me. No, I said I remembered something. I remembered the fact that I don't know you. No way. Oh. So I died, huh? Yes, apparently. I'm very sorry. How could this have happened? And after I just passed my test finally this year, my exciting career of catching the bad guys had just begun. And now look at me. Why did I have to go and die in an old junkyard like this? Poor kid, the shock is setting in. And so I told her everything that happened tonight, about ghost tricks, possessing and manipulating objects, and about going back four minutes before a person's death. She passed, all right. This actually isn't the first time you died tonight, you know. You were already shot and killed once before tonight. And you saved me? Uh... Okay. Uh... Sorry, I just got a message from Deer that apparently Nintendo tweeted out. Heed not the rabble ah! who scream. Hold Here's that my thought. grandson. The suspense that is in it's fact fine. not their grandson. Go on and jump. Take my grandson. They it's are a teenagers. It isn't possible. Don't let them <laughs> be your grandpa. Oh, yeah, looks like they're on the Thank you so much. Apparently, March next year, March 2023, Nintendo is shutting down the eShops for the Wii U and the 3DS. At least, they're shutting down the ability to make purchases. Maybe you can still download games you've already bought. So, that means I have until a year from now to buy as many games as possible on the Wii U and 3DS that I might ever want to stream. Thanks, Nintendo. So, we got another year. March 23. March 2023. Oh, you did a bit sure saying that. Gotcha. Didn't get to it. But, anyway. You got a year, so we got, we got time. But, at least we have plenty of heads up. It's not like they're like, oh, by the way, it's shutting down next week. So, it was inevitable, but still. Uh, anyway, uh, thank you so much, Denchop. Happy birthday! It's my birthday as the Hobbit decrees. I must give away gifts. That's how it works, right? I mean, yeah, I mean that, or just have like a fireworks show in your honor, with all the townsfolk hanging out and being grumpy. Thank you, Denchop. Hope it's a wonderful birthday. Happy birthday! Thank you. This doctor. Hi, Killy. <laughs> <laughs> hold on hold on hold on switchy shop shutting down 2024 yeah we decided to just not have anything there you go yep yep and pow a gunshot <laughs> uh, you can't add funds anymore those keep in mind oh yeah right it's oh yeah manic one sec um yeah how uh, is it a thing you can post like in the chat or send it to me directly? Let me know what you need, Manic. Also, that was crazy fast. Um, no, I mean, it sounds like you won't be able to not only add funds, but even if you have funds in your account, you won't be able to use those funds to buy anything. So, yeah. Thank you, Alex. Fun was had on the charity stream. Oh, hold on. Yeah. Uh, hydrate. Oh, yeah. Moves. Wait, wait, I gotta turn it up. Hold on. Uh, manic. Yeah, yeah, he's going. 
Lamp jam. Oh my god, I gotta make room. <laughs> I have full emotes. Wait, uh, uh, yeah, and then yeah, and then. Ooh. Yeah. Moves. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, oh, look at that. Mm. Mm. Oh, yeah. mm. I was like, mm. I was like trying to remember how to do this while we were playing. I'm like, how do you do the headstand Andy again? Luke. And this is how you do it. Thank you, this Andy. Is my, this is my, this is my taint. If anyone's mm -hmm. interested. Oh. oh. Thank you. Here you go. Thanks for that. Thank you for that. Mm -hmm. oh, 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 shit. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Come on, Todd. 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 God damn it! <laughs> yes. <laughs> you just couldn't let me just show off my taint, could you? That's no. That's what happens when you show off your walrus taint, Todd. That's what happens. That's, That's what, what you get, happens. Todd. That's what you get. It was a hoot. Anyway, yeah, that was the you got you got a behind the scenes of how the DS capture works. That it's it's just it's just Windows on my computer that I'm capturing. Uh, it's fine. Thank you, Manic. Yeah, let me add it. Uh, hold on. What are we- what are we getting rid of? We have to murder something. I need to go through and just clear out a whole bunch of BTTV emotes. Um... Uh, maybe Shovel, please? Here's the thing, if you want Shovel, please, you can go subscribe to Waz, because he has that as one of his emotes on Twitch. So there you go. Getting rid of that, adding Lamp Jam. Lamp Jam. It's lowercase lamp, uppercase jam. Like, like this. Yeah, G Gam does have the document. I know, I know. Yeah, like that. So let me know when it's live. It'll, it'll take like a minute. Uh, while we wait for that, uh, Manic, thanks for 69 bits. Hey, look, it's Jim Carrey. Yeah, no, seriously. <laughs> that, that character's wild. Lamb jam. I did say lamb jam. Well, that, it was upside down. Yeah, I might get rid of Popopola. There's a whole bunch. Well, Popopola, I think, is one that I uploaded. Um, so, because I pay BTTV monthly, everything's a subscription. Um, I have 100 slots I can upload myself, and 100 I can grab from other users. And both of them are at or near 100. So, I need to remove a bunch that I've uploaded, and I need to remove a bunch that I've shared. So, I'll probably go through the list and, and on stream be like, I'm gonna murder these. Unless you're like, no, that's my favorite. Enough people agree. So... There you go. Um, uh, McGroyer527, thanks for subbing. Welcome to the house. Enjoy the emotes. Enjoy your crayon scribbling of a key. And welcome again. Smash my thing with 100 bits. This guy is definitely 100% Jim Carrey trapped in a video game. Uh, and I see those 10 bits. Thank you, Smash Matt. That's so tweeted out about the purchasing stuff of Wii U in the eShop on the 3DS. Denchop, thanks for 10 gifted subs. To Remilo, Love of Chaos, Molly Noodles, Phoenix718. Ironclad Ninja, Retro Processor, T Quick 101, Tigris Volus, Kimi Kappa, and Zero J. And the Hammy. Happy birthday, Denchop. That is incredibly kind and considerate, and I don't understand the, the generosity. Thank you, go, little ghost boy. Spooky Skeleton Bits Hoon. Is Lamp Jam working? I'm legally obligated to keep Bar None forever. We'll see. We'll see about that. Um. Thank you, Hoon. Thank you, Denchop. Happy birthday. I don't understand it, but I appreciate it, and I thank you. Uh, let me refresh chat. Uh, why was there a Todd chant? Oh, we were yeah, we watched the clip from uh, Onsta's stream when you were like, check out my walrus taint, and we were upset. Look at that. Look at that lamp going. Look at that lamp go. Thank you, Manic. That was crazy fast. I appreciate it. Thank you. Lamp jam. Lamp jam. Uh, Smash Matt, thank you for the 10 bits. I reminded of this awkward zombie comic base in this game. Should we say that for when you finish this? If there's spoilers, definitely. Yeah. Tiny Cup was- it was funny. And you got your immediate comeuppance, which was great. So, I was a fan. Um, Lampy there for me. Yeah, it's not showing up on my chat on my screen, but it's showing up on the stream chat, so that works for me. Might just take a bit. Uh, anyway. You saved me. That's right, you don't remember? As it should be. Oh, God. It was, a, it was my hearty dad laugh. Oh my god, Sadie. <laughs> nice. Stuff we're gonna know by now? Uh, I mean, it's up to you. If you think it's safe for stream based off what we've seen, but... I don't want to risk it in case it's something I haven't gotten to yet. Yes! 
I think I do remember something like that happening. Vaguely. Yes, I did get shot by a blue man dressed in all black. I guess this means that even if a death is erased, the memory of it remains. Mm hmm. So I died twice already tonight. Wish I knew what to a what to say to her. Guess I'll just have to wait until she recovers a little. I bet that's some kind of record, don't you think? Yeah, you're probably right. <laughs> Looks like she pretty much recovered already. Also, I realized I turned the volume down on the DS a little bit. Wow, I died twice. That's a record. Two strangers. You don't know me, huh? Nope. Wish I did. Flashing your bitmap technology. Yeah, no, it, it looks great. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Also, hope you're doing well, man. Do you suppose we're just two strangers who happened to meet tonight? No way. I don't think it was any accident. Why in the world would I be way out here in the middle of nowhere for no reason? I was asked to come here tonight. Asked to come? By who? Lamb Jam. Is it, lam is it Lamb Chop? Doing like a rat jam? Can't you guess? Kind of guess where this is going? You're kidding. You mean... Bingo. By you. I asked you to come here, but why? That's what I was going to ask you. Why'd you ask me to come here tonight? Way out here in the middle of nowhere. You gotta be kidding me. It goes without saying that I don't remember. Everything's so confusing. Can't you do something? I'm so glad that neither of them have a single brain, brain cell between the two of them. Like, they don't have any thoughts, and now they are both amnesiacs on top of that, and they're just yelling at each other, and it's excellent. <laughs> Lynn. I'm not saying you owe me a favor- You owe me or anything, but I have a favor to ask. What is it? In the next four minutes, you'll probably come back to life. When you do, do you think you could try to find out about me before tomorrow morning? Who I am and why I was killed? I'm really sorry, but I can't make any promises. Why not? This is... <laughs> Remember when the lamp was like, hey, can you do something for me? And he was like, I don't think so. <laughs> Immediately the tables are turned. I don't remember very clearly right now, but I think I was investigating a case tonight. A case that is very, very important to me. Seeing if I come back to life. I don't think I'll have time to find out anything about you. I know that's a terrible thing to say to the person who saved my life once already. I'm really, really sorry. That's too bad. But I'm afraid I'm still gonna ask you. Ask me what? Ask you to save me. Even though I probably won't be able to help you. I know it's selfish of me. I really apologize. But I just can't die. Not yet. Not like this. I'm investigating something important tonight. I think maybe that might be the reason I was killed. But I still want to solve the case in spite of all that. Am I out of line? Didn't I tell you a minute ago you don't owe me? Huh? I'm certainly not going to treat your life like some kind of bargaining chip. I'll save you. What you do after that is up to you. Thank you. So you're ready to go back? Back to four minutes before you got shot? Oh uh, yeah! Rewind time! Mark ass Brownlee. Lynn's second death. I'm heading back in time now to rewrite her fate. Faced with those circumstances, she could have just lied and promised to help me, but she didn't. That's when I knew I could trust her. <laughs> Will Jam. Four minutes. 818. Minus building. Oh, God. I have a bad feeling about this. Yes, sir. Whoa. Detective, is everything okay? Oh, uh, is it a time heist if instead of taking, we're giving life back? It's like a anti- it's like a, a, a heistant? No, it's- Oh, uh, I was hungry, so I was trying to get something delivered. But, don't do that. We're stealing from death, that's true. Time heist from the Reaper. I'm sorry. Time paramedics? <laughs> You should leave jobs like that to me. Is chicken all right? One chicken dinner. Oh, that's okay. I'm not feeling very hungry anymore. I would like to go back to the station for a minute, though. You would? Uh, I'm afraid I can't let you do that. It's actually 8.18 for me right now. Am I in the game? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. The game is real. Inspector Cabanel is on his way. He'll be here any minute. 
Fortunately, it's only 618 for me. Oh, we did a spin. Evening patrol, man. Good evening, Inspector Commodore, sir. Nice work. Now do me a favor and take a little patrol around outside, would you? That's a nice fellow. Yes, sir. Yo, how's it going, baby? Inspector Cabanella, what are you doing here? I thought the special investigation unit had an important top secret assignment tonight. What does that matter at a time like this when my lens in crisis? I appreciate it, sir. I love this man's vibe, and I agree that he's sus. His pointedly forward bent knee. His knee is so pointed. Wait a minute. Did you just say crisis? Don't tell me I'm sus. Suspected of shooting that pointy-haired man in the red suit? I have never even met the guy before. Never, baby? Well, duh. Before tonight, I mean. He asked me to meet him here. He said he had important information about the big case I'm working on. He's the one who contacted me. I see, I see. But it's funny, isn't it? I took a look at the list of cases your station is handling right now. I didn't see you listed as involved in any big cases. Yeah, space dandy vibes. He's a dandy guy. In a junkyard. You know, I don't suspect you, baby. Just trying to clear things up. You're not the type to ever shoot anybody. Hey, who knows you better than me, baby? You know if anything ever happened to you... I'd never be able to look him in the eye again. Junkyard dandy. Inspector Cabanel, I'm gonna ask you a question. Yeah, and what's that? And I want you to answer honestly. Is it tonight? Is that when it's happening? I have no idea what you're talking about, baby. Get down! It seems to me that Baby is indeed under suspicion. By Inspector Cabanella? No, he's not like that. A uh, did. Just for the record, did you shoot me? Me? I would never do anything like that. Anyway, it looks like the hitman fired from outside. It'd be hard to prevent the bullet from coming in, though. In any case, let's just give it a try. Our four-minute game. Mm-hmm. Baby jam? No baby jam. You know what? I have an idea. The guy who shot me is outside, right? Looks that way, yeah. Instead of trying to stop the bullet once it gets in here, wouldn't it be more fun to go out and stop the guy who's shooting the bullet? Fun, she says, with eyes gleaming. Oh boy. You can use the telephone to move around, right? That's right, I know the telephone number to the junkyard payphone, too. I don't want to get shot again. You know what they say about three strikes and you're out. As long as you don't become a ball player, you'll probably be safe. But the telephone thing's a good idea. Maybe I'll give it a try. Oh. I have a bad feeling about this. Yes, sir. Oh, I probably should have looked at what she was looking at before the thing did. Detective. Uh, yeah, I was hungry. All my favorite ladies have gleaming eyes, gleaming with mischief, and time heists. Yeah, uh, restaurant? How much chicken do you have? Uh... Oh. What the... Where am I? What the... What the... What is, what is this? Ominous basement. Oh. That's okay. What is Pigeon Man doing in an ominous basement? Sir? Uh, I can't reach anything. There's some kind of weird contraption, and I don't know what's going on, and it's concerning to me. Yeah, I can't, like, look around and see what's down here. In ghost mode. Well, okay. Don't dilly-dally. Yeah, no, it's fine. I guess, maybe. Um, let's get back up out of you. Do-do-do-do. Move the ladder. Yeah. Hello. Examine with the microscope. What could this be? It looks like a giant nail clipper. You think so? Do you know what it is? Uh, why'd you have to ask me? Couldn't you see I was looking away evasively? Huh? 
It's one of those sciencey things that scientists use. Ordinary people like us don't have to know what it is. I don't remember what science is. I love how he's always confidently smiling. But it's apparently something Lynn doesn't like very much. Oh, man. All right. <laughs> These pictures are old. What do they have? Little fragments of rock? And the fragments are glowing. Do you know what these are? Sorry, but I've lost my memory. Probably not the best person to ask. He forgot. That's okay. I was only being polite. I didn't really think you'd know. Ouch. This lady's tongue can be sharp. I can hear what you're thinking, remember? I know. Good one. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Back we go. <clears throat> uh, whoop, whoop, whoop. Probably can't look at this anymore. What's up with this? That's mine. Isn't it adorable? He, he, he. Oh, it's hers. Why isn't your adorable notebook in your pocket? I panicked, okay? Don't you shove things in the bookcase when you panic? Who are you calling anyway? It was personal business. Uh-huh. Uh, let's knock him out with the lamp. Oh, come on. Knock him out with the lamp. Mm-hmm. Kano's on his way. I better use that phone. Okay, well. There he goes. I like how she's surprised and then he slowly turns and then gets surprised. It's just very well done. Nice work. Yep, that's a good fella. Lamp jam. Let me see if it'll work on my stream chat now. Show me the lamp jam. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, now it's lamp jam on my end. Oh, yeah, look at them go. Look at that sassy lamp. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Is there a way to skip through all the dialogue? Pushing buttons. Okay. Put me in the phone. And let's go outside. That's funny. What's the matter? This telephone doesn't seem to be working right now. Usually the phone line glows red, but it's dark right now. What? Apparently in this four minutes before death world, we can't just use the phone lines whenever we want. You're kidding, right? As long as the lines are closed like this, it looks like we can't go anywhere. But I want to stop that criminal. Okay, well, um, that's fine. We'll just, we'll just hit him with the lamp. Hiya. Near him. I think this would be more inconspicuous. Uh, how strange. Did you see Inspector Cabanella? I'd say it was pretty darn strange indeed. No, no. Blue lamp sucks. <laughs> Only red lamps in this chat. That's not what I mean. I'm talking about my notebook. Notebook? We lit it up for him, plain as day, but nothing. It's not like the inspector to not notice something. He's a weird guy, what can I say? That's all you're gonna focus on, isn't it? Huh. Huh. Uh, weird. Yeah, I'd never be able to look him in the eye. Uh, what's that up there? I can't reach it. Um, let's see how things are progressing downstairs. If there is indeed anything happening down here. No, he's just kind of snooping around in the dark. Okay. Then I'm just going to assume that that's not needed for this part of the puzzle. Um, what if we look over here? Oh, God. Oh, God. Death is imminent, song. What's that? Oh, God. Um, what if I block it with the lamp? Can I block it with the lamp? I want to freeze time right when it happens. And stop it. With the with the lamp. Possess the bullet and turn. Oh, never mind. Hmm. Hmm. Time's up. 
The hitman fired from outside in the junkyard. Probably the best thing to do is to go out there and stop him directly, but in the past, I can't just use the telephone lines whenever I want. I guess the only way is to get somebody to call the junkyard. Oh, I guess I better run the clock and see if I pick up any other clues. Hmm. So if someone calls the phone, I can jump. But I can't just use the phone as much as I want. Is what he's telling me. Well, um... What did we not try? I can try to... Yeah, oh, I can't reach. I can't reach your notebook with my little wiggly ghost appendage. Hmm. Yeah, crud. Um, what else is in this room? Yeah, it's just the way to the stairs and everything. Huh. There's not a lot for me to do in here. So what am I missing? Hmm. If only Missile were here, he would know what to do. We'd start barking at stuff. Maybe if we distract Lynn and then light up the notebook to look at it. Maybe he doesn't look at it while she's around or something. I don't know. Also, there's a guy on the phone right now, so that's also an option. Hello, the chicken kitchen. You want chicken? We got your chicken. One chicken dinner, please. Would you like an order of fried chicken with that? Oh, that's okay. Uh, yeah, you know what? Let's do a chicken delivery, and then we'll be outside the junkyard in the next three minutes. Right? Makes sense. Where would you like that delivered? They hung up? Uh, uh, chicken kitchen. Well, uh, what does it matter? A chicken order or two lost. If it were three orders, that would be a different story, though. Is his nose throbbing as he sings? Trick time. Uh, uh. Garçon? We just popped over here while we had the chance without much thought. And? Why are you being mean to Viz? I'm not being mean to Viz. I'm, I'm, I'm playing a, a game where you play as a ghost, so I might better understand Viz's struggles of not being able to go through telephone lines if it's four minutes in the past. How you doing, dear? The sound of the soul resonates in the nose. <laughs> This isn't where the hitman who's trying to kill me is. Clearly. We probably ought to hurry back. Yeah, but this is nice. Oh, God. Time is of the essence. Boy, howdy. They really Did they really make all this just to be like, yeah, you can go to the chicken kitchen? Oh, my God. Um. Yeah. Uh. Damn it. Back we go, I guess. I guess. Oh my god. Oh my, oh my, oh. Oh, oh, she's about to die. What the? This must be a place you go later. Huh. We got lamp jam today. Because it's from this game. We can't go back? Oh, you're right. So, we'll just, we'll just reset. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, we got you basted. We got you basted by the lure of going to the chicken kitchen. If that's a future level, that's amazing. Um, all right, let's get up ahead. Skip past the phone call of the restaurant. Um, ba 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 ba. Detective, everything's fine. Okay, you can hold the button to fast forward through that dialogue, not the animated parts. That makes sense. I was thinking like, like there's got to be a way to speed up this stuff. So not not the phone, but it's on the lamp. Pow! Hit him. 
But if I ghost trick... Oh. Um... What if I have him look at the thing? Wait. L look at the... Wait. Look at the... Look at the thing. Look at the thing. Turn on. Huh? That's Lynn's notebook. Hey, wait a minute. Yeah, 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 yeah. I thought she was practicing a dance move when I came in. Nope, that was definitely suspicious. No question. He's good at his job. I better report this. I wonder if I can make the call without her noticing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do it. Put me in. What's up? I've been watching Lynn just like you told me to, and I noticed something suspicious. You did? Inspector Cabanella was right. She was hiding her notebook when I came in. Her notebook, eh? Yes, sir. In a very suspicious manner, and in a very conspicuous place. <laughs> Anything else? Uh, let me see. It's pink and it's a notebook. Anything else? Let's see. Come to think of it, she was using the phone when I came in too, and referring to her notebook. Okay, someone will be over later. Don't let you- don't let on you noticed anything. Look at that! The phone line's glowing red! I bet it would work if we tried it now. I bet you're right. The detective he's talking to is outside in the junkyard. And that's where the horrible hitman who's after me is too. Let's go! Do 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 Oh yeah. I've been waiting for you. Oh, what are you? A desk lamp that sounds like an old grandpa. Just call me Ray. Grandpa Ray? You just have to get the grandpa part in there somewhere, don't you? We're souls. We can choose any appearance we like. Which means you have no intention of showing us what you really look like, right? Now then, about that gunshot that took your life. Baby Ray. It's Grandpa Ray. The different one. I heard it was way up on the upper level, a scant few minutes from now. Yeah, we have a long way to go. The hitman's probably getting his rifle ready right now. Baby Grandpa Ray. Alright, I'm going in. I'll get him with these ghost trick thingies. I'm very sorry, young lady. But you don't have those powers. Why not? I'm afraid I don't know the reason. But only a special few have the powers of the dead. Are you saying I'm not special? That's not fair. Anyway, we don't have much time. Come on and hop in. Okay. Carry on, boys. Fate changed. Why would this delay the, 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 the assassin? That horrible hitman is after me. He's upstairs, isn't he? Running so suspiciously in your notebook and then hiding your notebook in conspicuous places. Sheesh. In other words, we can't stop him if we stay down here. Let's go then. Not really big on the idea of getting shot again. Let's skedaddle. Yeah, pow. Yeah, pow. Pow, pow. How's our body doing? Looking good? Hey, Ray. Let me do a Ray trick. Uh, unfold. Yeah. Or refold. Uh, got a flag. Turn on the fan. This worked last time. It'll work again. It has to. It just has to. Um, um. Why isn't it going up? Um, the, did the blender being on actually, the blender being on is part of it. Oh no. Fan? Fan stopped. Mm-hmm. Put me up. <clears throat> there you go. Goodbye, Inspector. Me! I'm the flag! 
Okay. We're a searchlight now. Uh, turn off the searchlight? Turn on the searchlight. Um, I can't reach anything. Do we have to do this fast enough to catch the inspector with the light? Uh-oh. Uh, SOS. There he is, way up there, the horrible hitman. I think his name's actually Tango, but I guess that doesn't matter. Come on, let's go grind him into pieces. I wish you wouldn't use such violent expressions. Besides, I don't see any cores that'll get us over there. We might have missed our chance already. Timing is everything. Damn it. Damn it. All right. Let me back. I want to go back. Now we be quick about it. We gotta be quick about it. Pachow. It's really nice. You can just drag the stylus around. You don't have to, like, pick it up every time. Makes it really easy to just zip around. And... Uh, and back to the flag. How's the inspector doing? He's doing good. He's doing good. There he goes. Good. All right. Um, wait, maybe I can possess his bike? As he's going by? Time out down the horrible hit, man. Must be around here somewhere preparing to take a shot. There isn't a lot of time. Let's try to finish him fast. We're gonna make a good, blah, blah, blah. What happens to people who point guns at others? There's a gleam in her eye that's absolutely blinding. So gleam. Two feet at a time. Well, he's not one step ahead, I'll tell you that much. He's two steps at once. Uh, trick. Okay. And, uh, Get it. Oh, God. There you go. I'm gonna catch a ride. He really did take that bike five feet, and I'm grateful for him. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I see my target. Time to go to work. I'll be head of the Hitman division by next month now for sure. There he is, the horrible Hitman. I think his name's actually Tango, but it doesn't matter. We have to stop him from shooting. Fast. Oh, God, the music. Yeah, I, yeah, I know. Um, I can open the rear door, and that's all I can do, so let's do it. We do have a fair amount of time, considering... Um, okay, we can do some weird bike stuff. We'll put a stop to that shot, at least. We did it, so I'm safe now, right? That changed your fate a little, but it didn't avert it completely. We're not done yet. The Hitman is a professional, and he really, really wants to be head of the division, apparently. I doubt blocking a shot here and there is gonna stop him. If you want to rough him up a little bit, I promise I won't put it in my report. Let's think of something else before he gets a shot in. More time! Oh, look at all that time. Okay. Let's, uh, let's pedal around. Great. Good. Excellent. Uh, I can't do anything with that. Um, if we go back? Hmm. Hmm. Um... I'm a little bit stuck. Wait, no I'm not. Yeah. There you go. Oh. Inconspicuous. If I want that position, I have to be careful of even the last bit of light. Division head is my ambition for this year. Next year, my motto will be, if I want to be director, I have to be careful of even the least bit of scandal. Sounds like he won't show up in spots where a light is on. And next year, I'm going to spread some nasty scandalous rumors about him. Thanks. Thanks, Lynn. Flashlight, huh? And a lever and a searchlight. Get that flashing light on. You turn that flashing light on? Wasn't me. It went off all by itself. Scared the heck out of me. Just make sure you lay off it. Don't want to waste any electricity. Have things gotten that tight? That's pretty sad. 
They're really putting the squeeze on us lately about using too much power at sites. They won't even let us use all of our searchlights at once. Oh boy. We ought to do- we ought to be free to do at least that much, especially on a dark night like tonight. Um, does that mean I have to turn off that searchlight? Because they're gonna turn off the other ones? Um... Nothing happens. That's funny. Those levers for swinging the crane arm around. I like to swing that horrible hitman around. This crane. Wonder if there's some other way we can use it. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. One of the lights went out. There are three lights here all together. Apparently we can't have all three of them on at once. Our station's crazy cheap when it comes to electricity. I love that being the premise to a puzzle. It's just... Just so another detective could see what he was doing the other day, I had to pedal my bicycle in place to work the headlamp. A very sad tale indeed. Sounds like they're taking things way too far. Okay, time is passing. I know. That's what it does. Um... Oh god, he's gonna show up way over there, isn't he? Wait, you there. Yep. Let me catch a ride. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There's the guitar, the umbrella, the crossing gate. Should I use the crossing gate? Oh, there is that one, yeah. Uh... Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! That's so far away. Oh, that's very far away. I gotta get over there. Um... L lower? Um, oh, I can smush him. Oh, I gotta, I gotta get, get all the lights so he's there, and then smush him. Okay, such power and speed. I bet that would put a nice stop to my horrible hitman. If it just stopped him, that'd be fine. But if it killed him, would I be obligated to save him? Anyway, let's just focus on the stopping part. Apparently, thinking about things too deeply isn't something you like to do. Just the right amount. That's the way detectives think about things. Now, come on, let's do this. I just love stamping out evil. It makes me feel so alive. Except for the fact that you're dead. Okay, then we gotta get back in a jiffy. Yeah, 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 get over here. Get over here. Get over here. Come on. Come on, buddy. Time is of the essence. I gotta turn off this light so he spawns here. Uh, not close enough. But got a little closer. How about that? Yeah. That was weird. Anyway, I'll keep going about my duties. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There I go. Yeah, okay, I'm in there. Uh, and then that light can stay on. Do, 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 do. Oh god, oh god. What's he thinking? He's saying something, but I can't hear him from here. Oh good. Come on. Don't have a lot of time. Do not have a lot of time. And then I gotta get it all the way back here. That's very spicy. Uh, open this up. Can I hear what he's saying now at least? Yep. Musings of a Hitman Part 1. When I fire a bullet, I put my heart and soul into it. The bullet is my soul. The shot is the expression of my soul. That's why I never waste bullets. Besides, I'd have to put the extra bullets down as an extra expense, and accounting never likes that. What the heck is that idiot blathering about? Don't get mad at me. We have to stop this guy. I'm gonna stop him. Yeah, with that. Bah! And now I missed my chance, because he walked back. Great. But he should appear over there. Just gotta hitch one more ride, and we can squish him. Like a bug. And his poetry. We'll leave the poetry. Perfect way to get caught. Yeah, huh? This is quite a distance from the target. But I can't work under a spotlight after all. Never mind, a shot like this is nothing for a man of my skill. 
Mr. Division Head seems to be like seems to like dark, gloomy places. I'd be happy to throw him in a dark, gloomy cell. Come on, Cecil, get him. Hold up, when did I become her assistant? Oh no, we have three seconds. And he's walking back. The wrong way. So I think we died. Or she died. No. Be faster. No, be faster though. Uh-oh. Yeah, I don't think that's happening. No, I just, I got a bad cycle and I didn't know the puzzle. We gotta do it again. Eh. Well. He's a good shot, huh? Wait. Uh, yeah, not quite. Because I gotta possess the, uh... I gotta possess... Ugh. Yep. Wait. No. Just gotta get him right, yep, under there. And then raise it. And then, wait. Oh my god, we did it. With one second left. You hear a scream just now? I'm telling you, it wasn't me. Nobody said it was. There. We found a nice dark spot for our gloom-loving hitman. I think your death has just been erased. Again. Fate averted. Why not, I wonder? Huh? Why don't I have powers like yours? If I could do things like you do, it could really help me pursue my case. Why only the special few, huh? It's not fair. That's the same thing little Doggy said, too. Well, I'm jealous of you, actually. You are? Why? Because your life can be saved, even if you die again tonight. I can save you with my ghost tricks. Nobody can save my life, though. Oh. These powers of the dead, why have they chosen me? Well, I find the answer to that question tonight. Sissel, I'm so sorry. Well, you're free to do as you please now. I guess this is goodbye, detective. Will we ever see each other again? If you ever want to see me again, all I have to do is die. Okay, got it. I was kidding. Well, guess we better be getting back to the present. We should be able to visit her while she's alive. Like missile. Because that's how it works, apparently. Lynn has escaped death for a second time. But that doesn't mean she's out of the water yet. I better go see how she's doing. Yeah, we made a connection. Technically, we did the last time, too, but... We weren't able to get in touch with her. Doop, doop, doop. Doop, doop, doop. Well, um, where'd all the cops go? Um, how am I supposed to get back? Uh, umbrella open. Perfect, perfect. Towards the thing. Yeet. Yo, oh, no, no, no. Shoot. Well, we can say hi to our lamp friend. Um, I need to roll a little bit over there. Nope, wrong way. No. They had to go back to the station to recharge. <laughs> They're all on pedal bikes. Recharging the generators. Oh my god. Hello, Mr. Lamp. Eh. Hey, buddy. He's vibing. Yeah. Oh, the moves. Why's it got such a good bounce to it? Oh, the folding cot. Hey, Ray. Remember me? Remember me? How you doing? Hello. He doesn't want to talk. He's shy right now. Okay. Then, um... I can use the phone, probably, huh? Well! Oh. Hi. It looks like congratulations are in order. Good night, Duke. Thanks for stopping by and hanging out. Have good snooze. You erased yet another death. I haven't gone any further into solving my own mystery, though. But that woman holds the key. Don't forget that. Lynn, huh? Now that she's alive again, she's probably being still being detained in the super's office. She won't be able to pursue her case without the freedom to move around. Now better go back to the super's office and see her. That sounds like a good idea. All right. Let's get back to the super's office. Two. 
to the chicken kitchen. A tier three, Amphi! Look at that foot doing a wiggle. Thank you so much, Amphi. What are you doing? I don't see any customers hungering for chicken tonight. I hear singing coming from the kitchen. Tonight I'm in love, in love with you and only you. My darling Miss Chicken, let me shower you with gifts of salt and pepper, la la la. He's not a bad singer, but I guess I'd better be going. I got ya basted once again. The allure of sweet chicken got me once more. Now there's two people at the bar there. What are they doing? What are they doing? Hmm. All right, well, uh, I'm assuming that nothing is different here. Okay. Well, uh, where else should we check? Uh, the park? How's that conversation going? If the booze, does that mean they're evil? I don't know. There seems to be something to it, but I don't know what. Is it the blue man group? The entrance to the park. Oh, they're gone. The detective who was ordered by Cabanel to perform a stakeout is nowhere to be seen. Maybe he's in the restroom. I wonder if that strange young man followed him in there. Hmm. Uh, wait. Anything I can do here? Nope. And back we go. Troubled man's office? How's the marriage, buddy? da ba dee da boo da just two bros being together. As you do. In the park. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe Emma was right. Maybe it was a mistake I was ever born at all. Whoa. But wait a minute. If I'd never been born, Amelie wouldn't be here right now. Uh, it's gone to the point where I don't know what my mistakes were. What defines a mistake anyway? If something isn't right, does that make it a mistake? I'm out of here. <laughs> Sissel's like, ah, not my problem. Dude's got way too much problems. See ya! Um, so is this Emma then? I hope Omelie's fever breaks. Yeesh, 102 is scary. That's high. What's up? It looks like the novelist is still taken up with her prime minister. The atmosphere is so thick in this room, it's enough to make your eyes smart. I think I'd better leave before this air suffocates me. She's jamming away at that typewriter, though. Mm, yep, all right. Goodbye. Uh, this is a broken line. This, I'm assuming, is also out of commission. Yep. Probably flipped around to fruit mode, so... And let's go to the super. Not recommended. Oof. I decided to go back to the office where Lynn was being detained. With her changed fate, her story was sure to change too, and maybe that would lead us in some new direction. Now that Lynn is alive again, I wonder what she's doing. She said she was investigating an important case, though. Could that case be connected to me in any way? It sends that one. <laughs> The table is in fruit mode, not phone mode. 8.34 p.m. Still got a lot of time till daybreak. Either this game is very long or there's gonna be some time skips or something. When Lynn lost her life for the second time, she was being detained on suspicion of my murder, but I saved her, hoping to solve my own mystery. Living creatures can choose to live their lives in one, or two, uh, one of two ways. They can either submit to their fate or they can try to change it. Lynn is definitely in the second camp. It's a meaty game. It's not short. As soon as I got back to the junkyard superintendent's office, this fact was really brought home to me. I have never played an ace attorney. No. Fool! We told you not to let the suspect out of your sight. She's gone. Um, finished the one night when I first played this. So it is one sitting, doing a one sit. 
a bull, but probably not going to do it in one stream. Um, yeah, no, I, I, I think I, I, at some point, would love to do more Professor Layton streams. People have recommended Ace Attorney. I know that's a whole series unto itself. Um, it would be fun to maybe do Layton versus uh, uh, Ace Attorney at some point. I just... I don't know. It would be a whole lot. Uh, if there is a, an Ace Attorney game you'd like me to stream, you can let me know with the form that people can fill out, and I really appreciate people do. If there is a best way to play the Ace Attorney games, or a best one, I'm assuming the first one is the one to start with, but... The first three are on Switch, I think? I might hate Ace Attorney. I might! <laughs> I might. Piece of your Switch trilogy, best bet. Nice. Yeah, Remastered does seem like probably the way to go, unless there's any kind of change. Mom, want at least one other person to help you with voices, because it's just going to be non-stop talking for an entire stream. <laughs> the timeline that Cam sent me. Did I share that on stream? I don't know if I did. Let me pull it up real quick. While we're on the subject and not too deep into some other part of the game. Um, where is... It wasn't that far back. Um, there it is. Oh my god. Uh, the Canon Ace Attorney timeline. Um, so you have the, uh, the, the first three games of the, the original trilogy, sure. Then you have Phoenix Goes to Britain, which leads to Professor Layton crossover. And then Britain makes Phoenix lose his sanity and he starts punching people when he's in MVC3. Uh, and then Britain, Phoenix doesn't go to Britain, leads to Apollo Justice. Uh, Apollo gets brain damage, leads to two additional games with with uh, with Apollo Justice, whereas Apollo stays sane, he plays golf. <laughs> I just I all correct. I I've never played an Ace Attorney, but you know, it checks out. I don't know why Apollo stays sane, and that screenshot just absolutely broke me. Like <laughs> this, this just broke me. <laughs> I don't know. He's going golfing. Listen, lawyers love golfing or whatever. I don't know. Why not? He's allowed. Anyway, back to ghost tricking. I need this tweet link. Yeah, let me let me post it. Uh, ba, 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 ba. There you go. That explain all those acting in five and six. Oh god. Yeah. Well, we'll see. Um, <coughs> but yeah, no. If you if you fill out the <coughs> excuse me, if you, if you fill out the form, you know you can type you can type form or you can type rec. Either of those work. Uh, you fill it out, and you're like, hey, play this one. Uh, that does help me decide what to stream on times where I don't know what to stream, which does happen on occasion. Um, I can look into making it happen. This stream is happening because of people filling out that doc and yelling in chat, so I appreciate it. Thank you. Also, there's um, a, a separate uh, uh, form entirely, uh, which I think is called tutorial. Yeah. Which I may in the future do a stream where I go through all the software that I use to make stuff. I make things sometimes. Uh, like art assets, uh, YouTube videos, YouTube thumbnails, anything that you've ever seen me do. Um, I might do a stream where I go over stuff. And if people fill out that form, the tutorial form, that gives me an idea of what I should focus on to try to cover. So I'm not just winging it day of. That's still a ways off, but the more people that fill out the tutorial form, the better. Because then I'll have a good idea of what people are interested in. I know sometimes. Tutorial for cake. A baking stream? A tutorial for making tutorials. Yeah, you got it. A puppeteering tutorial. Absolutely. Uh, Afterglow. Oh! You're me to it. Double permit. There's a, a extension of the timeline. What am I looking at? Um... So there's a, a a third branch of the timeline after Phoenix doesn't go to Britain, which is Apollo gets defeated by Ganon. The Dark Age of the Law goes a little too far, and then I guess we get Danganronpa. Are those games connected to Ace Attorney? <laughs> I don't. Get I mean, I get the Ganon thing. I just I'm a, uh, also correct. No, no, they're not. Okay, all right. Just that's when the Age of Law goes too far because Ganon won. Leads to Danganronpa. Okay, great. <laughs> Good. Uh, not actually, but in theme, kind of. Right. Well, I guess they are, like, crime-solving games, right? So, eh, sort of. It just makes sense. Thank you. 
Uh, Metasar, thanks for five months. Ghost trick. I should finish this. You should. Thank you. Welcome back. Ludlime. Lamp Jam. I'm a bit late. Been watching art tutorial stuff. How fitting, considering what I was just talking about. Welcome. Exanry. I just realized he's a lamp nade ray. Lamp ray. Lamp ray. Like the animal. You're thinking too much about it. Amphi, thanks for a tier three. And 28 months. A tier three. You can golden gorgle. You can barmber man. The things that you can do, Amphi. Thank you for our, that is That is absurd. And it was subs tier three for anything. Hot damn. That is so much for a couple PNGs. So I really appreciate it. And I hope you enjoy those tier three and tier two and tier one emotes. That's a lot. Thank you, Amphi. I hope you're well. Uh, we told you not to let the suspect out of our sight. My apologies, sir. And Barrio. Can't forget Barrio. The original useless emote. But I never thought she would run away. Lynn is our angel. I mean, friend. I mean, she's like family to us. Angel, friend, or family, they all run when they have the chance. What is your home life like, sir? Do you have any idea how many years this bitch since my wife ran away? I got an answer to my question. I'm very sorry, I had no idea, sir. You'll never make detective at that rate. <laughs> what? <laughs> you don't know all my intimate personal details? You'll never promote up the ranks. <laughs> what the hell? Thank you, Pillows Row. I appreciate it. Well, I will post the VOD of this in a couple days on my second channel. And I'll be streaming more of it on Thursday. Probably. Unless there's something else I want to stream first. But I will finish this finish this on stream. Yeah. Fine, Lynn. Yes, sir. If Inspector Cabanella gets word of this, it's all over. No, Ghost Trick only. I'm just trying to think. If there's any games coming out, that's plan on streaming. Our red-headed detective escaped, did she? But I just barely saved her a few minutes ago. Oh, she's fast. Guess I'll look around for leads. Like her notebook that she left behind. A nice oven heater in my office. Right? A wood-burning stove in the middle of the office. Mm, uh, swivel. Spout lid. Let's get it. Hisslin. Hisslin and whistling. Um. Uh, oh, I can maybe go downstairs. Oh, I can't scroll down there. Oh, what are they talking about? Uh, zoom. Mic ride. Across the room. Hmm. That old pigeon man. Do you suppose he's carrying out some sort of research here? Look at all these precision instruments and complicated devices. I just thought you were excited. I didn't even realize you had caps lock on accidentally, dear. What are you doing? Sir, I think maybe this is how Lynn escaped. Through here. A dumb waiter? She couldn't possibly fit in that tiny little elevator. I don't know, sir. Lynn is pretty slim. Fool! Don't you know that women can make themselves appear slim through fashion? To this day, I still don't know how much my wife really weighs. I'm very sorry, I had no idea, sir. You'll never make detective at that rate. Where's that old pigeon man? Oh, him, sir? He went through the door behind me, sir. I guess we're gonna go check in with pigeon man. Oh, what is happening in this game? It won't open. Apparently that door leads to the basement, but it's currently locked, sir. These instruments, they're all very suspicious. You better keep your eye on that old man, too. Yes, sir. Mm, finish my tasks. Yeah, I cross these wires. Oh my god. Oh my god, what even? What is anything? Um. Oh, the dialogue's gonna be different because I'm not with Lynn. I have no idea what this instrument is for. As a matter of fact, this whole thing is filled with things I've never seen. I know I've lost my memory, but still. That old pigeon man seems like a pretty strange guy. Women use fashion to make themselves bigger to scare off those that trespass in their territory. Like a pufferfish or a cat. It's true. There's no character not worth remembering in this game. I love it. I thought the guys in suits, um, when we first come back, the, the green suit and the blue suit guy, they seemed like they were intended to be standard, normal characters. So then when Cabanella's introduced, he seems that much more 
uh, 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 over the top by comparison. But now the more time we spend with them, they're even weirder than Campanella, <laughs> which is excellent. And I was not expecting it. Like, it's, it's so good. Pictures of little fragments of rock. That'll pitch a guy some strange taste in wall decor. I guess so. Um, let's try going downstairs. I don't know if they're weirder. I mean, maybe we need to see more of either of them, but... Uh-oh. He's on to me. Better run. See ya. One brain cell is a treat. Ace Attorney's this as well. I, I might like it then. It might, just might be time to clean this room up. Well, will that close the matter? Her appearance here of all places and tonight of all times. I hardly think it's coincidence. Uh-huh. Is that so? I still can't do anything down here. Huh. Nah. Um. Let's bop him. Hiya. Uh, look at this again. Yeah, look at that again. This is Lynn's notebook. If I get this back to her, it might spark something between us. What to do, what to do. This is a very complicated matter. Yeah, huh? Bah. What happened? Oh, what you got there? What, this? Uh, th this is, um... Is that? Yes, sir, it's Lynn's notebook. Notebook, eh? Come to think of it, there was something about that in the report. Why do you bark like you're running out of time? Bork day and night like you're running Missile. out of time. Every day you arf like you're running out of time. Keep on borfing in the meantime. Missile, my beloved. Thank you, Arcade Bubbles. What the hell? We got my first paycheck today. I thought I'd spend some of it to be acknowledged by parasocial daddy. I'm not your daddy, but there may be a parasocial dynamic at play. I can't necessarily deny that. As much as I try to make it not happen, that is the, the eternal struggle, is it not? Uh, thank you. I do appreciate it. And, uh, congrats on the paycheck! And spending here is absurd, but thank you. I'm happy for you. You're a parasocial dynamic, Dad! Thanks. Thanks, Shiv. Sling about her looking at her notebook and making a phone call. This must be it. This telephone number with the big circle around it. Aren't you curious to know who she was calling? I am. I really am, sir. I'd like to know. Oh! But I don't have any ulterior motive for wanting to know, though. Uh, no, sir. No, sir. This number might be an important lead. I better check it out. I'm not your daddy. I'm your grandpa. You gotta zoom, please, with that. I'm not your daddy. I'm your grandpa. Hi, parasocial. I'm dad. <laughs> Let me in. Let me listen. Still can't examine the notebook. Lynn's notebook. I like to see what's inside. This guy's a death grip on it. I can't open it. I bet this detective never lets his prey escape once he gets a hold of it. Do 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 do. It's the chicken place again. <laughs> if it was the chicken restaurant, I would absolutely lose my mind, and I would call this the greatest game of all time. Hello. To whom am I speaking, please? Yes. Hello. I'd like you to play that song again. The one that goes do 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 Hello. This is a criminal investigation. We need your cooperation. Yeah, I know that voice. Is that you, Detective McCaw? Oh, is that Officer Bailey? What's up, sir? You don't usually call this late. Oh, uh... Did you get a call from one of our detectives, Lynn, earlier? You're a criminal investigation. Got it. Asus son Reebok Osa Nike. What? You think of do 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 do? What? No. Yes. Hello. I'd like you to play that song again. I don't know why I love that meme so much. The way Mr. Krabs goes, yes, hello, just it makes me happy. It just fires off serotonin. Yes. Hello. It's from Lynn. Yes, I did. She calls every night. How does Baba? I like to play that song that goes, but a but ba, but but a but a but but no no no, but a but a but but a but but. You mean, 
No, 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 wait, wait, no. I'd like you to play that song that goes but but a but 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 a but a but but five hours later. What do you got here? Oh no! Oh no! Oh, did you make this? Oh no! Oh, Phoenix fails to expose Mickey's war crimes, leads to the entire Kingdom Hearts timeline. Oh no! Oh, that, that's oh. That's the song. Thank you, DJ. <laughs> Thanks, words. But a but a but but a. I feel like Apollo gets brain damage. Also leads into Kingdom Hearts one, but other than that, no notes. This is perfect. Um, it's from a radio show. Guys, the DJ for a song, but it's, this is the rhythm of the night. Wow. Wow. Uh, okay. Maybe she senses it's about to happen. I passed out watching the LEGO Building Stream VOD. I passed out during the stream, but no one noticed. Because my hands just kept working <laughs> on the LEGO. Did she say anything special? Not really. Is, any, is something wrong? Spanish is fun. Yes, well, uh, I, I might be contacting you again if I have any other questions. It was a good chill time. I'd love to do something like that again someday. I got my fingers crossed that Nintendo does another collaboration with Lego that's not the Lego Mario sets, because I'm not really interested in those. I mean, they, they look like fun, but I'm more interested in those slightly more, slightly more complicated builds, um, like the, uh, the NES and the question mark block. But those came out roughly a year apart, so if they have some kind of long-form deal with Lego, then maybe every fall for a while we might get some crazy new Mario Lego. Or some other Nintendo, I, oh my god, like a Hyrule Castle with a bunch of shit inside of it or something? I'd be like, uh, I don't, uh, it'd be so expensive, but it'd be great. Do a Gunpla. Oh my god. It's right there. It's there. A Samus Lego. That'd be dope. That'd be dope. This is like a, a Metro Lego prototype. Lego Hyrule Castle. Lego stream into Doinks with Raid is the blessed timeline. Chris Pratt Mario Lego, it's like of Chris Pratt's head. You get, oh, whatever. I'm gonna go file the report down at the station. I need you to be vigilant here. Don't fuck up like you literally just did. Excuse me, detective, but... What is it? That notebook. Would you mind if I gave... Never mind, sir! I'll explain the intricacies of Gundam lore to you for 14 hours. It will suck. You know Gundam lore, Shiv? Oh my god. Okay, well, I'm definitely not going to do that. Just stay on your toes. That's the space monster bit. Oh my god, that sounds like a good idea, Metroid Man. No, the basics, kinda. And that alone is 14 hours. <laughs> oh my god. Explain Gundam Lord a missile. Yeah, it's... It's... Oh god. It's... Uh, put me in the phone. Put me in the phone. Here we go. Uh, I would go back to the chicken kitchen, but now nah, let's just keep going. I saw Foxy Dude. It looks neat. Looks like a cool thing. How about this Gundam? He's sitting backwards on the chair, so he's trying to reach those kids. He's trying to reach them on their level. My cat has chosen to cuddle and I actually get to not be on Team VODs for the first time ever. Hey! Welcome to Anoveros. Say hello to Kit 10 for us. This is Gundam. Have Earthlings then call on this, never get along, mech fights happen. That's all Gundam. <laughs> Teach me how to dug me. This is Gundam? Mmm, mm hmm This is kind of similar to Metal Gear. Um. Wow, cool robot. War is bad. Well, Metal Gear would be like you're getting slapped in the face. It says war is bad. And you're like, whoa, cool robot. Mm hmm. Thank you. And then do barrel rolls. Her name is Flane, and she just wants to eat necklace, actually. Well, that's okay. Let cat eat necklace. They've presumably been a good cat, and they deserve necklace as a treat. Star Fox Lego. It would never happen in a million years, but to have like the whole Star Fox carrier thing, like their big mothership with little R wings inside of it and like a little window and like little slippy falling around in there. 
He doesn't stick to the ground. He's just loose. And when you rattle, he just rolls around in the, in the bridge. That'd be great. Be delightful. Put some Star Fox Adventures references in there. Just for the hell of it. <laughs> a Mugger Rex Lego? That'd be neat, too. I don't know. Like, after doing the question mark Lego, I'm like, wow. I went from having not touched any Legos in, like, 15, 20 years to I just want to build Lego now. It's so much fun. The problem is they're very expensive, so... And you need space to put them somewhere when you're done. Because you could disassemble them and just put them back in the box, but for one, that feels weird. And then for two, it's like, well... The instructions are per bag. So if you don't put things back apart into separate bags, you now have a mountain of Lego to sift through to find one piece. If you try to rebuild it in the future. So I don't know what the answer is. After you built the blog on stream. I, you're not the only one. That was one of the handful of moments I've had where I'm like, wow, I actually am an influencer. <laughs> I did a thing and now a bunch of my friends and, and people in the stream and stuff were like, uh, yeah, after watching that, I, I did the same. I'm like, oh my God. Just buy another identical set. Do it backwards. Yeah. The answer is die. You can rebag them by, col by color though. I guess, yeah. As long as, as you're disassembling it, you put some thought into how you're breaking it apart. Then if you rebuild it, yeah, I guess that makes sense, Todd. See, Todd Smart. Lego sales. That Sonic the Hedgehog set, I legit was gonna buy that set for Onsta, but I think she's moving soon. So I was like, I don't want to give you an extra thing to move, <laughs> but it looks really cool. There's like five different shades of gray. Yeah, but then you just know where all the gray blocks are. You get back fast. Uh, anyway, uh, what was that call about? I heard you say Lin. I love the animation in this. I love the character work. I love everything about this. I don't really know. If I had to take a guess, though, I'd probably say something's going on with her. <laughs> the only place in the world where nothing's going on is inside your brain, Bailey. Ah! <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? I mean, I know what the words mean. That's not what I'm asking. That was my way of expressing indignation, putting it in the form of a question. He's sitting. Ah! Uh, I just hope Lynn's not doing anything crazy. I'm a fan of hers, you know. According to my log, Lynn has been calling here nearly every night as of late. So let's see. This is the place Lynn took all that risk to call, eh? What exactly is this place? I wonder. Oh my God, they are both excellent. Uh, what is he doing? We well, sticking to the wall there, buddy. Ghost. Let loose. There I go. Oh. How is this animation this good? So consistently. And you're telling me this is not a short game. How is this possible? What's this? It's magic. That? I wrote down my duties for the night so I wouldn't forget any of them. You can't keep them in your head. It's not like you have a ton of duties after all. It was a gift. Use a little brain power. Ah! That's so good. What are you talking about? Weren't you the one who just said nothing was going on inside my brain? Didn't think you'd take it in quite that direction. <laughs> How dare you? I don't have any thoughts. <laughs> That'll teach him. Let's see this important to do list of yours. Nine o'clock, take prisoner C38 to the telephone room. Yes, he just made a request to use the phone a little while ago. Someone's saying it's 3D animation that they rotoscoped into pixel art to put in the game as sprites. But I'm still just boggled. Like, I, yeah, I guess the backgrounds are just a bunch of static images. I don't know. Like the DS is a decently powerful machine for what it is, but I'm just the idea of like storing that many individual sprites, even if they're broken up into chunks very smartly. There's a lot of full body animation of very weird things. I'm just, I don't know. It's still amazing. Whatever they did, it's magic. Have a good work, Shiv. Thank you for clipping that. I appreciate it. Did you know, chat, that if you clip stuff from the stream that you like and you go, hee hee, that was fun. Then when you clip it, it makes it easier for Gam, who makes the monthly highlights or makes it harder because he has more stuff to pick from. Whatever you want to do, you can clip stuff. So there you go. Um, it's very noticeable. Nine o'clock, eh? That's when Lynn usually calls. Well, we can't let her talk to him tonight. Him. Rules are rules. 
Poor Lynn sure wish I could comfort her. Why does everyone have the hots for Lynn? Ah! What do you think you're doing? That's my important duties memo. That's okay, I've got all, it all memorized for you. Well, it's your duty to guard the telephone room, you know. Hey, DigiHarps. How you doing? So I can miss the little bit. Uh, I can get anyone caught up who's just joining the stream now. It's not, a lot has happened, but not that much. Just make sure you do your job when the time comes. Job in the telephone room. Bah. A cool music video that recycles the animations. Wait, I better get back to that phone. Who's he talking to? Oh. It's Lynn. Hello? Lynn! I'm sorry, I don't have much time. Please let me talk to him. I'm sorry, Detective. I can't do that tonight. You can't, but you always let me talk to him before. Uh, the telephone room is already reserved, that's why. Oh. By the way, is something going on with you tonight? What? Why do you ask? I got a call from one of the other detectives a minute ago asking about you. Oh, really? Well, I don't think it's anything important. Officer Bailey? Do you think you keep this call just between us? Even if only for tonight? Well, I, uh... This is way better than that. <laughs> oh, I gotta go. Call you again tomorrow. Hmm. She's doing some kind of investigation. Bow. Wherever that was. Oh boy, well I guess I better call the detective division. Hold on there, Bailey. What? Don't tell me you're gonna report that call from Lynn. What else can I do? It's my duty. Just write down those one of those important to-do lists. And then I can wad it up for you and throw it away. You mean you want me to keep quiet about it? Isn't that what she asked you to do? Well, yes, but tonight is kind of a special case for us. Can't you make a special exception for my Lynn, too? Your Lynn? Yeah, all right. Yeah, special case. All right, you win. New info has been added. No okay. game. Um, basically, uh, uh, we, we, we died. We don't know what happened. We have amnesia. Um, we can possess objects, but not people. <clears throat> and if we possess a, a fresh dead body, we can rewind to the four minutes before they died and change fate and keep them alive. So we've done that a couple times to sort of learn a few things. We're trying to learn who killed us and, and why an assassin killed us. And it seemed like some fancy lads were responsible for it. We don't really know what's going on, but we, we helped a puppy. We helped a lady. Uh, Lynn, who got murdered twice now, but we saved her twice, and, uh, we're trying to figure out what's going on. She should rock us, but we don't know. <clears throat> but here's the thing, is, um... Oh, uh, God. <laughs> I might not be able to stream for much longer. I can already feel my voice going a little bit from all the talking. Um, uh, because uh, Missile was maybe a special case, because he immediately, uh, learned, uh, he immediately remembered who he was. Whereas Lynn took a long time to kind of come back, and even then she didn't really remember most things. So, um, she might not know yet. We'll find out, I guess. Good boy. A good boy. So, I'm going to keep going for a little bit longer, but I might not be able to stream a full six hours. So, just a heads up. Um, Missile does have a lot of brain cells. Missile gets it. Missile knows what's going on. I don't know what they think is special about tonight, but for me, it's my only night. Also, we have until sunrise, and then we will vanish. So, the clock is ticking. Uh, Lynn, on the other hand, uh, on the other end of that telephone line. Lynn is on the other end of the telephone line. I better hurry. He's our top dog. Eh. Well. Let's go, then. Yeah, I'm gonna finish it on, on, well, I don't know if I'll finish it next stream, but I will keep playing it. As many streams as it'll take. I'm determined to see it through. This is exceptional so far. If it, maintain, if it maintains even half of this level of quality, I'm on board. Full stop. So. Oh, it does? Hell yeah. Oh. Oh. 
I know. I don't normally... Well, not normally. I don't always finish games that I start on stream. Did she die a third time? Lynn! Why well, couldn't it have been me instead? I'm no use as a police officer. It should have been me. Looks like she's dead. We better not touch her. It's really starting to lose its impact. How often she keeps dying. Who did this? Who? She was shot for the third time. Who shot Lynn? She can't even die a different way? God damn it, Lynn. Excuse me, mister. You talking to me? She just want to see us again. Hey, there's an earthbound present on the table. This room. There are any other exits besides this one, are there? You see one? <clears throat> it was him. Then how did... We must have one of those mysterious locked room murder cases on our hands. One of those cases where the murderer vanishes into thin air in a vacuum. Just go find a real detective. <laughs> I'll keep watching. I love the, the translation. I imagine the original script is very good, but the localization is on point. It's so good. Yes, sir. Hop, 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 hop. None thoughts 87 Lin deaths. <laughs> Uzagi-tan, thank you. Enjoy your outhouse key. I appreciate it. What a terrible turn of events. What a terrible night for a curse. It's now a locked room murder, eh? Things never get dull for our redhead. I know of a certain inspector who might dance around at the thought of a mystery. But no mysteries for me. Not when I can rewind time and talk to the victim herself. Guess it's time to go back and see the truth behind this murder with my very own eyes. Trick time. No. Oh, hey, locked room history. Lynn, no. Lamp. Bow. Maybe it was the pigeon. Haha, <laughs> I died again. Ugh. I love this game. I thought you'd be a little more grave under the circumstances. Yeah, well, this is the third time after all. It's scary what a girl can get used to, don't you think? Frankly, the way her mind works is a whole heck of a lot scarier to me. So what happened to you this time? Who shot you? I don't know. What? I like to know myself. Who could have done it? Who shot me? What are you asking me for? Oh boy, I guess I'll just have to go find out for myself. Okay, you just go do that. Hurry along now. I get the distinct impression I'm being used here. Okay, looks like it's time to go back. Back to four minutes before your death. Uh, yeah. It's rewind time. 8.44 p.m. Maintenance building basement. Is she intentionally putting herself in danger? If she remembers that she can die and that'll save her, she could be using that. How long has it been since I locked this room up in darkness? I once thought the truth could be discovered in darkness. So this is the room we saw him in. So that was foreshadowing for a future murder. Maybe it was just that the time wasn't ripe. Oh, Pigeon Man. What secrets? Lynn? Lynn? Oh. Ooh, oh, 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 what? Oh. That fashion. That fashion really did make her small enough to go in there. <laughs> this animation is so good. Oh. We. The animation on the bird is very good too. Huh. He hung up. Huh. They did not need to have Pigeon Man slide down the rail, but I'm glad it was like four steps. <laughs> They're just having fun. So good in HD on the phone version. Mm-hmm. I might have to just see how the phone version looks. I'm loving playing it on the DS, though, personally. I love the pixelated look to the characters and stuff. But... Uh... Is there another ghost doing Rube, Bo Rube Goldberg murders? <laughs> what? 
That's the truth behind our locked room murder? I did think it was weird that whenever I came into this room to check it out, I was possessing a ball. Like a tennis ball. I was like, why is there a tennis ball up on a shelf? The murder was a mechanical murder machine? Murder machine? When I came into the room, it was pitch dark, so I turned on the light. That must have been what set it off. The murder machine, I mean. Can you please stop repeating the words murder machine? That old pigeon guy must have made it, but why? What could be the meaning behind this weird room? Anyway, you'll have to find some way to stop that creepy machine. Once Cupid fires his arrow, it's all over. Uh-huh. First three chapters are free on the phone. Only on iOS, right? That is cool. Nice one to make them free at first. You know what, Sissel? I think this death might be easier to prevent than the others. Why is that? You know, because the murder is mechanical. She has a point. I can't manipulate living creatures, but I can manipulate this machine. I just got to figure out how to stop it. When the four minutes ago me turns on the light, that's when the murder machine is set in motion, apparently. Looks like the key to solving this one is understanding this Rube Goldberg machine. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh. Hmm. I'm going to say lock this room up in darkness. I must thought the truth could be discovered in darkness. The time wasn't ripe. What the hell is he up to? Um. Uh, I can't reach it. Well. I'm in here now. I can use it to get to the phone. Oh, I can find out. Uh, the, I can go upstairs when he calls. And then go down through the ceiling. There we go. Now we're talking. I can't use the phone, though. Yeah. <clears throat> I didn't mean to do it. I just was uh, hanging out. Whoop! There she goes. Doop a doop a doop a doop doop. How'd you manage to cram yourself into that tiny elevator? I've always liked small cramped places. Whenever I see a little hole or crevice, I always feel like crawling in. <laughs> the place I feel most at home is that space between my bed and the wall. I guess I can understand that. We're birds of a feather. We should get together and talk about it sometime. There's some Jujito shit. This space was made for me. Durr, durr, durr. There he goes. Boop. Yeah, I know time is running out. But I'm in the phone. Uh, is this the superintendent? Super Nintendo Chalmers? I'm so glad I thought I was all alone. Go there. Why isn't he answer? I guess he's on his way upstairs. Storm drains? Into storm drains? That sounds dangerous. Gets better on replay as well. Yeah, there's so many bits of foreshadowing and teasing and knowing who and what they're talking about is probably really cool. But no spoiling, obviously. It's all over for me. <clears throat> Lynn, our sweet, cute Lynn, who shines as bright as the sun, ran away on me. I got stuck once. Yeah, that's why you don't go into storm drains. I mean, as a kid, we would ride our bikes around the neighborhood, and I remember looking at different storm drains and, like, sticking your head in and just seeing what was in there. Because, I don't know, when you're a kid, you're bored. Um, but I never felt compelled to crawl in there. In fact, I, I vividly remember that, like, presumably some people from the city would, like, write the year in the, uh, in the storm drain, um, in this one area. And, and, and cause it was the 90s, so it was like 94, 95, 96. I'm, presumably they do, like, annual inspections or something, but I was like, I never looked into that. Didn't have the internet back then, so I couldn't be like, how come they're writing the year in there? Or it was, uh, it. It was, it was a clown in there. Your friends are going over. I guess it's a thing. Surprised to get more popular, get a sequel. I mean, when it came out, I didn't really hear much about it. <clears throat> Just seems like it was like a slow burn kind of game, word of mouth. Clowns and gold and clown gold. And then those detectives, matching bookends, blue and green, yelled at me. And then the old man with the dirty blue dove on his head completely ignored me. If only somebody would give me a kind word right about now. Go on, give him a kind word, Miss Bright as the Sun. Let's see. Hang in there. That's all you got. I'd like to see you do better. 
What if he has some tea? That sounds really good on the DS. Came off the DS after 3DS came out, so no chance. Wait, really? Hold on. Um, copyright 2010. What year did the 3DS come out? Thought it was after 2010. Yeah, no, I think it was before the 3DS came out. Definitely a later DS game, but not crazy late. I don't know. Lynn ran away. The detectives yelled at me. The old man pigeon ignored me. And then the kettle nearly scared me to death. My life's in complete shambles. That's gratitude for you. We were just trying to warn him with the kettle whistle. Would he have preferred getting scalded by the steam? At least his fate was changed a bit. That's good anyway. And how does that give us... I guess it's just a checkpoint. Because now we can go in. Definitely a gem. As announced... Okay, announced the same year this came out, but... Still. Oh no, small poppy. Sorry about the issues. Who are we saving again? <laughs> Another person saved. Is that who we're looking for? Um, I guess we need to wait for her to flip on the light switch? And there she comes. And here we go. Oh god. Um... So where's the ball going? There it goes! The murder machine has started! And if the whole thing plays out, that gun on the wall will go off. Before that happens, it's up to me to use my ghost tricks. That lamp going. There must be some way to disrupt this domino effect. You just have to find it. Here goes. Uh, whoop. Uh, uh, open the toolbox, move the hoist. Um, uh, open the toolbox. That moves a bowling ball over. Move the hoist. Um, oh, well, oh, well, that's, that's bad. Um, well, she's already dead. Huh. Oops. Yeah, she's fine. What a ridiculous room. The key to this murder machine is that cheeky little Cupid who fires the arrow. Wait a minute, that swinging shovel. I wonder if that can be used as a weapon somehow against our Mr. Cupid. Can it? No, I guess, I mean, if they say so. A missile emote. I'll see what I can whip up before, uh... Before, uh, 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 uh... Thursday. If we do more of this on Thursday. Our murder machine murdered someone! It's very neat that by the time we're actually able to do anything, we have, like, seconds left on the clock. Um... Toy cake. Open the door. And then... Go... Uh, uh, uh... Open this. So then swing that around. Oh, I probably have to launch the ball after, uh, after it lands. Hey, hold on. Bum, 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 ba -dum, bum, ba -dum, bum. What kind of missile? Missile is the name of the Pomeranian in this game. Who's extremely good. And, um... He is our favorite character in the game so far. I'm speaking on behalf of everyone because I know we all agree. And, that, and there's some steep competitions, like I get you. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. That one. Yeah, Kevin has the emote. Two seconds, then. You're gonna make a missile emote? Do you want reference? If you search Ghost Trick Missile, I'm assuming there'll be pictures of them, but... Let me know if you're like, what happened? Wait, so I gotta go down here, open that... And then... Da 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 ba ba balance toy. I know this toy. The wheel spins and moves down the pole. There's a thread attached to it. Loops around the clock and is tied to the frame the gun is in. Seems to be connected to our fiery cupid as well. The toy seems to be the heart of the entire mechanism. But inertia is surprisingly powerful. I can't stop it once it's set into motion. Which means I gotta get back. And get ready for once that's on the floor. Roll, ball, roll, roll! Go. And hit it.
What just happened? Looks like your future just got a whole lot rosier. <laughs> that would be a very bizarre thing to see when you turn on the light. A Rube Goldberg contraption that is itself deactivated by a slightly smaller Rube Goldberg machine. Happy birthday! <laughs> your death has been erased. Again. Uh, thank you. You kept your promise, didn't you, Sissel? I promise. You said I'd see you again if I died. I don't remember making any promises. It's all for my own benefit, anyway. Killing you or giving you cake? What could this room be all about? I can't imagine. Those things that went off at the end. Those were party poppers, weren't they? Party poppers? I have no recollection of what they are, but that's no surprise. The party poppers, the gun going off, it seems familiar somehow. I'll leave that part of the puzzle to you. I have my own puzzle to figure out. Shall we go back now? Back to your new present. Oh no, he built a third Rube Goldberg to counteract my second Rube Goldberg. There's no stopping it now. Are you there? Cecil? Lynn is talking to me. She remembers. If you're there, could you say something? If you're not there, I guess I'm just a weird girl who talks to herself. You are kind of a weird girl, whether or not you talk to yourself. Um. Um. How do I? Uh, uh, um. Uh. Oh, wait, I can just hop over to her. And then we can talk. And. Yeah. Hello. Pachow. Oh, I forgot to hit talk. You're here, I knew it! I just had that feeling. Shame on you for stepping foot into a girl's head uninvited. Wait a minute. We, we, we were literally invited. Don't, don't give me that a ghost doesn't have feet bit. It's just a figure of speech. Did I say anything? That tone, it's that tone of yours that makes me mad. So did you have something in particular you wanted to say to me? Hmm, I just thought I'd share some information with you. I'm investigating a case right now. A murder case, and I'm doing it alone. A murder case all by yourself? Yes, well, that's because the case was closed a long time ago. The culprit is already behind bars, forgotten by the world. So why are you looking into it then? Because I think the person's innocent, that's why. There's something strange behind the case, some big mystery. I firmly believe that. So anyway, I finally have my memory back. I'm not at liberty, liberty to tell you about the case. But if there's anything else you want to know, I'll try to answer what I can. Lynn is my only lead. I would like to ask her about a few things. Why can't you tell us about her case? We're, we're, we're dead, and we're gonna even not even be a ghost in a couple hours. Who shot me? You have your life and your memory back now, so let me ask you again. Who shot me tonight? Yeah, I thought that might be the first thing on your mind. What else would it be? There's a good chance I was shot while I was with you, after all. I'm afraid my memory just isn't clear on that part. Not clear? I met with you tonight, and then you fell right down in front of me. I think I remember seeing that part. I'm pretty sure you were shot, maybe from somewhere far away? So you didn't see the culprit. I'm sorry, I wish I could be of more help. But I know I wasn't the one who shot you. Your colleagues seem to think you're a suspect, though. I wanted the information you had for me, so why would I shoot you before I got it? Information, huh? I wonder what info I had for her. Too bad we don't remember. Did deer make a little missile? Oh! There's a little missile. I like the, the question mark. Er? Er? Deer bristle. <laughs> deer, deer bristle. Er? This is very cute. Bah, bah, bah. He do a question. Yeah, he doesn't know. Oh, I gotta charge him. Yes. Oh god. He foregore like everyone else in this goddamn game. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. There you go. None thoughts. Eighty-seven biscuits about the girl with the bow. By the way, I see you have a little roommate, Camilla. How do you know about her? There was a tiny incident at your apartment a little while ago. An incident? What kind of incident? 
What happened? Is Camilla all right? She's fine, thanks to her loyal little friend, Missile. Missile. Although I did have a little trouble being, bringing him back to life. Oh, but what in the world is going on? Why would anybody want to hurt Camilla and Missile? You're being targeted by a certain organization. What? I saw them. The people who are calling you their target. So I'm a suspect and a target? Could this night possibly get any worse? It does sound pretty rough. Are you sure you'll be okay on your own? Huh? You know what they say, when it rains, it pours. Isn't it time you admitted you need me? Need my powers? I'm sorry. I can't cooperate with you. Yes, you saved my life tonight. Three times? I'm completely grateful for that. But as a detective, I still can't trust you. That's too bad. Information. I had some inform some important information that you wanted, huh? That's right. You called the station yesterday, and you asked to talk to me. You told me you had an important lead on the case I was working on. Important lead, eh? You said you wanted to meet me and talk to me directly tonight at the junkyard. And you fell for it, even given how fishy it sounds. You're the last person I want to hear that from, you know. But I just couldn't let it go, no matter how shady it seemed. That's because I'm running out of time. That's right, you said something was going down tonight. Does that something have to do with the case you're working on? I'm sorry, but I can't talk about it. No oh boy, but I guess I understand. Hmm. Suspicious. So what are you going to do now? Run, I guess. They'll catch me again if I don't get out of here. And I have to get to the restaurant. I'm worried about Camilla. Oh yeah, what was it? The chicken kitchen on Dead End Drive, right? Damn it! Should have guessed. What about you, Sissel? What are you gonna do? I don't know. To tell you the to tell you the truth, you're my only lead. If you leave, I just realized you and I are in the same boat. No, we're in the same room. We're looking together. We're both looking for answers tonight, and neither one of us has anybody to help us. That about sums it up. Even if you can't cooperate with me, how about if we just agree to use each other? That's not a bad idea. You're on. But can I ask you to do me a favor first? What's that? I need you to sneak into a certain place for me. A prison, to be exact. Prison? That's the place I was calling from the office upstairs. She kind of looks like a chicken. She's Billy Hatcher's sister. It's fine. I want you to go out, uh, go find out a certain prisoner's work schedule for tomorrow. Work schedule for a prisoner? Yes. The prisoners are given different job details every day. Each prisoner's schedule for the next day is written on a small blackboard in a cell. Just check out a certain prisoner's blackboard. Uh, okay. His prisoner's number is D99. If you do that for me, I'll cooperate with you. You're on. See you later. See you. But don't die again if you can't help it. If you can help it. Yeah, 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 he's doing it! <laughs> it looks like I hold the key to the case Lynn is investigating, and she holds the key to solving the mystery of me. So we've started up a strange relationship of cooperation. Thank you, chat. No more dying. Immediately trips and dies. Lynn gave me an assignment. My task is to go check out tomorrow's work schedule for prisoner D99. I better get to the prison. Do 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 I would like to save. Lamp, 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 lamp. All they do is post the lamp. Raijin, 9.03 p.m. Thanks for a 14-month resub, and it's here too. Yo, we're back from being locked in the basement for so long. Ha ha, I missed being here with all the lovely people. Hope you're doing well, Raijin. Thank you so much. Welcome back. Tombstone Saint, thanks for 23 months, and it's here too as well. Holy heck, what are you all doing? I played this game a decade ago, never got far, haven't stopped thinking about it since. Oh, since. 
I'll play it myself one day, but for now, I avoid spoils. Hope you have a great time. I hope you get around to playing this soon, because I can't believe I slept on it for over a decade. It's exceptional. And thank you so much for 23 months. Takumi loves that shit, giving cases and prisoners and otherwise umbrellas over story content and, like, letter plus number de designation. Is that a big thing in the Ace Attorney games? A dead guy, uh, lost memories of self. A forgotten murder case. A dead guy and a detective joined forces to find out the truth behind them both. Yeah. Huge Ace Attorney thing. The detective assigned the dead guy a task. To sneak into the prison and find out a certain prisoner's schedule for tomorrow. What should I care? I don't have a schedule for tomorrow. That's all I'm feeling about at the moment. Happy birthday! I wonder how the detective who keeps dying is doing. Hope she's still alive. I bet she's pretty pleased with herself. Keeping so much of the Reaper's attention focused on her. That little lady is waiting for her at the chicken kitchen. After I take care of this assignment, I better head there too. I could head there right now, but... Yeah, you know. Uh, up we go. The Green Reaper's just... Why? Eventually, he just stops taking her calls. You died again. I'm not coming. It's all over. It's all over for me. Also, come in vocal strain, etc. Todd thinks I should play the Ace Attorney games off stream rather than on. We'll see. I, I mean, I could always do like a stream of the first one. And then if I'm like, yep, nope, this is murder on my throat. Then, uh, I could finish it off stream and then talk about it or something. We'll see. I think if enough people want me to stream it, which does seem to be quite a number of people, the least I can do is do a stream of it and see how it goes. Huge commitment, and now for extra people, too. No, we didn't do any more of the Neo Twilight streams. Yeah. Hi, dear. I mean, it would be a fun thing to have people join me to do different voices on, but also that would slow down the game a bit. Um, just giving time for everyone to read everything and then having to arrange who's available and stuff. I mean, it's not impossible by any means. Use whoever's available. You could do. Oh! My god, dear. Missile. Deer made a missile. Um, I don't have any slots. Wait, maybe I do. Hold on. Uh... What should we call this emote? Thank you, dear. This is a gift. Sort of voice the character where I was available worked out fine. Oh my god. Quank is in bird time? Quank is in bird time. Quank is in bird time. Pistol. He's gone. He's gone. Barbork is good? Barbork? I mean, it's a BTTV mode. It doesn't have to start with a uh, bar necessarily. Oh god. There goes my DS. That's no, fine. Leg! Train away on me! Oh god. Yes, bar K is reserved for when Bath and I get a dog and I make an emote based off of our dog. Whenever it happens, it's gonna happen someday. Missile Bork! I call it Gwank. That's a great idea. Barbest. Uh. Also. Oh, oh, oh. I'm trying to click it. Mwank. Mwank. Don't remember Gwank. He doesn't like to be considered. What about Bork in all caps? How do we feel about Bork in all caps? I'm. It's probably only going to be around for, for this playthrough. However many streams this takes. How do you feel about that? Bork? Blasphemy. I mean... <laughs> Here I am going like, oh, we should get rid of emotes that aren't getting used. And everyone's going to be like, never get rid of Bork. <laughs> a dog video of uh, one sec. It'll just be, uh -huh. well, Well, Onsta does go bark, 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 not bork, bark, bork. But even if she did, that'd be great. Um, 
uh, 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 Discord memes. Show me memes. Um, well, oh, God. You gotta love that TikTok text to speech. And by gotta love it, I mean I'm not a fan of it. Are there different voices to pick from on TikTok and everyone uses the same one, or is it only this one? I was lonely, so I um, either way, man, there's something about this text to speech that gets me real mad. <laughs> I appreciate that it's a feature on TikTok, don't get me wrong. Um, but man, it's it's just it's just I was lonely, so I got a dog. But when I went to work, mm -hmm. my dog was lonely. Mm -hmm. So I got my dog a dog. That yeah, makes sense. When I saw how happy that made my dog, mm -hmm. I had to get my dog's dog a dog. Mm -hmm. But I don't like odd numbers. Mm -hmm. So I got my dog's mm -hmm. dogs a dog. Mm -hmm. All dogs all the way down. Thank you, Cave. Uh, there's something about the tone of the voice that it's just so like, oh my gosh. Like, it's, it's like, it's like weirdly condescending? There's something about it. There are other voices. It just makes everything seem passive aggressive. <laughs> it's just like, I was hanging out at work and I saw this cool thing. Wow. It's like, I, I just, something about the inflection that's just like, not quite nails on a chalkboard, but just like so weirdly lilting. If that's the right word, but anyway, it's fine. It is a digital voice. It's it's a it's a, a TikTok text to speech that a lot of people use because it's a nice thing to have subtitles on screen and having it read out loud. If you're not providing your own narration, a lot of people on TikTok seemingly don't want to talk into their phone as they make a video, which is fine. You don't have to. It's a nice feature to include for a video platform, but I just if there are other voices. That don't sound like that. Oh my god. Oh. Anyway, uh, I'm not on TikTok, so whenever I see TikToks that use that, I'm just like, ah. Fine. Did you post the character voices when they took them away? People got them to swear. <laughs> Someone at TikTok. Oh, I know. We can sell brand integration where we can have text to speech of of various licensed characters, and then. Uh, oh yeah, the Bork should be up now. Uh, let me refresh chat. Let me refresh. Uh, chat. They let Goofy swear, and then Disney said no. Texas speech should not have inflection at all because it can't portray topics that are serious. That's what bugs me. I agree. I agree. It, it's like if you make a TikTok about a heavy subject, and then the speech is like, oh, I'm talking about it like this. It's like, that doesn't have the gravitas <laughs> that a heavy subject would demand. Hey, wait, there's Missile. Thank you, dear. When you're placing all your missile versions to missile and becoming a ghost trick only streamer. Uh, right now. I'm gonna become a ghost trick speedrunner. I'm gonna become a ghost trick lore channel. I'm gonna become a, a, a ghost trick trivia machine. Only about missile, though. Only questions about missile. It's better when I have a refresh image just screaming Bork. Yeah, <laughs> it's also just good. Bork, Bork, Bork. A uh, Lynn, sweet, cute Lynn, who shines as bright as the sun, ran away on me. And then those detectives matching bookends, blue and green, yelled at me. Forget about all that. Now you listen to me, kid. Yes, sir? You're bright as the sun, Lynn. Probably doesn't even know you exist. And those detectives who pro will probably yell at you your whole life. Never mind fretting about every little setback. Enjoy your life. Get what you can out of it. Mister. Would you mind just leaving me alone? He's just trying to help me. Um. Um. Check this out, old man. Nonplussed. Cool. But if I swing it around? That was pretty cool. Okay, fine, I'll leave. Goodbye. What's that thing up on the very top right, by the way? There's a book up there. And I, I have no idea how to reach it. Did I have an opportunity early to grab it and I couldn't? There's another one up there. Wait, well, no, it's the same one. It moved the camera back. Huh. Well, let's, uh, let's go. Uh, we should probably go back to the park. That seems good. Pup Time added, like, 500 different variants. There's a million different times that Pup Time possesses. The sad voice of a young man drifts over to the breeze. Drifts over to me on the breeze. Stats on the Google Play Store. Seems to just be like maybe a Capcom decision to not port tap to Google. I don't know. I have to use the restroom, but if I leave my post, I just know I'll miss something. 
Come to think of it, that annoying leaflet guy disappeared when I used the restroom earlier. Darn it, it's almost time. Which will show up first, my mark or the end of my ability to hold out? Well, Detective FOMO? Eh, yep, can't do anything. Good luck, I guess. Um, this man still troubled? Probably. Even as I sit here, time is ticking away. I wonder what he's feeling right now. I bet he hates me. Ah. If only I could blow up and scatter into a million pieces. Maybe I'll think of more peaceful images. Hmm. Um, yeah. We didn't see Lynn actually leave. It's possible she tripped on the stairs and died here. Nope, we're good. Welcome back. How's it going? Have you solved all of your mysteries? Can't you tell by my face? I did see your face, but I asked anyway. Smart alky light fixture. The lady detective and I decided to join forces. She and I are connected somehow. I just know it. Oh, that's fine news. Oh my God. Look at him wriggle happily. Tonight, you and she both suffered misfortune. But if you combine her bad luck and yours, it makes great good fortune. Remember that. I don't know, by my math, bad luck plus bad luck equals a whole lot of bad luck. It's bad luck all the way down. Mashing the F key for flashlight toggle. You should check your figures. Damn. Ray is shining. Alright. Uh, exactly. Thank you for 37 months. Phantom prank. Spectre investigator. When streamer says the word ball. It's very good. God, that missile emote is very good. Should I just leave this up for the next hour? Hey, Enigmatic Amelia, thanks for 32 months. Welcome back. People love the lamp. God, what a vibe. Lamp is some mark. Do 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 lamp. Do 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 lamp. Do 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 do. All right. Let's uh let's get that all. Uh, probably gotta go there, huh? Why would we go to the chicken kitchen early? Presumably Lynn's not here yet, but maybe... What's-her-face Camilla is? Thinking about that bork. I don't see any customers declaring their love for chicken tonight. I hear singing coming from the kitchen. I love you right down to the marrow of your bones, but your marrow is nothing compared to your glorious meat. He's not a bad singer. Lynn hasn't listen is Lynn isn't here yet. I have a job to do. I better get to that first. Yeah. There's no dogs or lamps that you know of. So those two are hanging out. Mm, still a big old chicken. Chemkin. Chemkin. Do it. Fine then. We'll go back to the prison. Lint. Lint. Just lint. Oh, how are these two doing? So how are the preparations coming along? Go back. I want to be limp. I think they're taking care of them right now. Yeah, man. I'm not looking forward to this. That kind of surprises me. Coming from you, I didn't know you thought about such things. By the way, that was me being sarcastic, just in case you didn't catch that. Two more hours, and then it's time. I guess we should just get back to work. I guess you're right. Two hours. The atmosphere sure does seem tense. I guess I'll just get back to my work as well. I want you to go find out a certain prisoner's work schedule for tomorrow. 
Prisoners are given different job details every day. Each prisoner's schedule is on the next day is written on a small blackboard in his cell. His prisoner number is D99. Alrighty then, how do I get to these cells? Better try to get some information here first. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Bailey is quite good. Um, ghost. Let loose. Yeah. Hey, Bailey. Try pinning up your memos a little better next time. Let me see this thing. Inspection, prisoner C-74. It's almost time for that. I better prepare. Prisoner C-74, eh? What did that big whale do anyway? You don't know about the Metro Police Department siege case? Metro who what? C-74 barricaded himself into the Metro Police Department and took siege of the place. He even pointed a huge flamethrower at the chief commissioner. Why the heck did he do all that? Bailey's partner's name is never mentioned in game? Love it. That's what the detectives who surrounded him asked. What are your demands, they asked. And? The guy looked confused, thought about it for a while, and said, Bring me five servings of curry and rice on the double. Nah, I feel that. That's flamethrower worthy. Curry and rice? That's it? Unfortunately, no. After he was done eating... <laughs> he torched the commissioner's office with the flamethrower. Torched it good. Oh. Important documents and the commissioner's mustache destroyed by the flames. What the heck did we do all that for? Because the curry was too spicy, he said. Huh? It was too spicy and I just lost it, he said. Yeah, no, that checks out. Seriously? The case sent shockwaves throughout the country. But it doesn't make any sense. In the first place, how did a huge armed guy make it all the way into the commissioner's office alone? It's a complete mystery. Why don't they just ask C-74 himself? Maybe they did, but they haven't released anything about it. Apparently, it's all a matter of national secrecy. Huh. <laughs> ah! Would you quit throwing my important duty memos away? Good. It was too, he, he, he ate five entire servings. I was like, eh, it's a little hot. Um, how about this memo? Hey, Bailey. You know, I didn't try going from here. Emergency switch. And a gob- Is he drinking wine on the job? Buddy. What's the matter? You can't even pin up a memo properly? Take prisoner C-38 to the telephone room. He made a request to use the phone a little while ago. He already told me that earlier. C-38. What did that punk do anyway? You never heard the story? About the secret rendezvous case. Secret what? C-38 was a singer in a band. His group was playing a concert that was being broadcast all over the country live. And right in the middle of their encore, there was a huge incident. A huge incident? What was it, a murder or something? In a way, it was even worse than a murder because it had to do with national secrets. National secrets? A rock band? I'm lost. The song they were doing was called Secret Rendezvous, but the lyrics C-38 was singing were completely different from usual. How is that a huge incident? Because the new lyrics exposed all of the nation's dark, seamy secrets. Budget misappropriations, foreign economic strategies, illicit dealings, everything. He was caught red-handed in the act of leaking national secrets. Seriously? The case sent shockwaves throughout the country. But it doesn't make any sense in the first place. How would a rock singer know any top secret information? It's a complete mystery. Why don't they just ask C-38 himself? Maybe they did, but they haven't really said anything about it. It's a matter of national secrecy. <laughs> how, is, how is the guy on the right just oblivious to every major case that's gone on? Would you quit throwing the important duty members away? It's a mystery. Time to spin. Anyway, um, let's throw that switch. Ah! 
There you go again, fooling around with that thing. It wasn't me. Don't lie, you know you love to see me jump up and prepare for emergency. He's talking to those Stricter how much he likes them. Yeah, they just like, he likes talking to them. They have a bazooka. Rocket launcher. Oh yeah, sure, way back when I first got this job. But I've had enough of that now. Besides, you always react exactly the same way. Nyah. Is that like a minor fourth wall break to be like, yeah, he does react the same way every time. The emergency sw switch is probably just loose. Probably because I fooled around with it too much. Well, it's for emergencies. Don't play with it. Anyway, it wasn't me. Maybe you ought to get it repaired, huh? We'll close it back up. It's making me feel on edge. Nah, too much of a pain. <laughs> a pain? Proper emergency procedures are a pain to you. What a sad, sad state of affairs. Yeah, just leave it open. Back to work. Yeah, all right. Night vision goggles. Bazooka. I can't examine the bazooka. Blow a hole in the wall. Night vision goggles. A new memo. Monitor. The screen shows rows of tiny rooms. The rooms are really, really small, and you can see right into them from the outside. I suppose the open bars keep the rooms airy, but I wouldn't want to live in one myself. Wonder where these little rooms are. Uh-huh. Um... Um... Huh. Um... Well, what else can I... can I do? Would be nice to get into there. Uh, let's change it back. Definitely not that. Can I do anything while it's going? No. Ah! <laughs> he forgot what a prison is. Just the kind of excitement I need to wake me up. I told you it's only for emergencies. Don't play with it. I told you it wasn't me. I thought this work would be a lot more exciting. Sometimes I don't know which is my real job, going on rounds or building houses out of cards. You'd better know. And you ought to know that I'm just kidding. He does have more memos. I guess we can learn more. Uh, yeah. We. Hey, Bailey. Bring dinner to prisoner D99. The chef is preparing it for him right now. How fancy. D99, eh? Even I know about this one. Yeah? Such a sad case. Hard for us, too. He shot his wife, didn't he? Right in front of a family member. It's just awful. Why in the world did he do it? Why would he do something like that, of all people? Maybe this is the guy we think got framed, or Lynn thinks got framed. The motive, everything, all a complete mystery. It's just ridiculous. It doesn't make sense why that he would do anything like that. I don't know the details, but apparently this case is a matter of national secrecy as well. I don't get it. None of it makes any damn sense. You do know what kind of prison this is, don't you? It's a special prison built just for these kinds of special cases. <laughs> Every case here is a matter of national secrecy. Good. That D99, who knows what he's thinking or hiding behind that beard of his. Mm -hmm. I don't like any of it. I knew I couldn't take my job seriously without it getting to me. The prison looking for D99 was convicted of murder. He apparently has a beard. Explains the bazooka. Bah. Would you quit throwing my important duty memos away? He keeps saying duty. Now it does bring a smile to my face. A new memo. Will all be. It's time.
Mm -hmm. He put his glass on top of the deck of cards. There, it's done. Press button. Just hang on here. I'm guessing that's the kid they were talking about. I don't know why is why. Nothing about this place makes sense. The one who sang the national secrets. If he's a prisoner, he must have come from the cells. So I better get out of there. Can't reach his cool guitar. Um, oh, I can ride it across if I'm fast. Gotta love that classic Doom sound effect. Yoink. This is the thing that was making that horrible noise a second ago. Guess it's a way for this spiky-haired youth to express himself. In prison. Sentiments like, I'm hungry, or I'm thirsty, maybe. Something primitive like that, I bet. My... Peace out. I'm done. Take me with you. Alright, C-38, back to your cell. Hey, guard man, how about giving me a little space? That crazy walk of yours is dangerous, man. Is this a- is this a Twaywee character? A proper walk for a properly led life. Now let's go. Yo, no lectures, man. I walk my own path, my own way, to my own music. Dude's got a whole fucking setup in his cell. A painter. And someone sleeping, thinking about chicken. Chicken. I finally made it to the cells. Now to find prisoner D99 and check out his work schedule for tomorrow. What could Lin possibly want with that information? Yeah, we're looking for a man with a beard. Damn! Don't think I can take in another second in this stinking pit. Looks like guard man is gone. It's just mirrors that toilet have a gigantic um, top part. The, to the, the part of the toilet that I can't remember the name of. The tank. It's massive. All this waiting is wiping me out. Hope this, this one will finally do it. The cistern. Mm hmm. The toilet's hat. Mm hmm. The water haver. Mm hmm. Uh, all this waiting's wiping me out. Hope this one will finally do it. Go, go, go! Huh. Is he flushing messages away? Come on, sausage head. What the hell is going on? Hmm. This prisoner obviously isn't the one I'm looking for. D99 has a beard. There's one of those little blackboards Lynn said would be in the cells. Maybe I should check out Spikey's schedule for tomorrow. Looks blank from here, but, you know. Mm-hmm. Bunk. Can't do anything. All right. Take me over. Examine the notes. Well, this is one of those little blackboards Lynn mentioned. Let me just give it a little read. Tonight. I lost a lot of things. My life, my memory. But there's a certain skill I've apparently lost, too. I can't read! Wait, that's actually a plot point. I can see there's some kind of writing on the blackboard, but I have no idea what it means! If I can't read D99's work schedule for tomorrow, what do I do now? <laughs> Thumbnail? <laughs> 
What am I supposed to report back to Lynn now? If I tell her I couldn't read, she'll kill me. But actually, I guess I don't have to worry about that one too much. Anyway, I might as well try to find D99 cell. Hopefully I'll at least be able to find out something while I'm there. Can't go back to Lynn empty-handed. But of course, a ghost doesn't exactly actually have hands. It's funny. Luke, read this one out to me. <laughs> this reminds me of a puzzle. So earlier when he was like, oh, I can't read what's in this thing. It's full of weird, squiggly, strange symbols. I made a joke about him being illiterate, but I thought that, like, oh, maybe the blue people have their own written language or something, or, like, these weird, like, society, higher-ups, nobles, whatever's going on, something there, but no, he just, he forgot how to read, so, all right, then. There's a pad of notepapers hanging on the wall. There's a bit, a red O drawn on each one. I think it's some kind of letter or symbol, but I don't recall what it means. Mm-hmm. There's a pattern of paper same on the wall. There's a red X drawn on each one of these. Some kind of letter or symbol. I don't recall what it means. Well. Toilet. Can't do any toilet tricks. He did not remember. A phone! His telephone. Looks like it's an internal line only. It doesn't call outside the prison. The only places I can go with this telephone are other phones within the building that I've already possessed. How many of those are there? Mm -mm, the guard room. We can go check in on them. How are you guys doing? Bailey and Daly. Ah! Mm hmm. What? What's with you all of a sudden? I adore how many optional scenes there are in this game. What do you think of my quirky behavior? Surprised? Huh? You seem bored, so I thought I'd wake you up. You can call that my gotcha move. What do you think? If a normal person pulled a move like that, sure, I might be startled. But this is you we're talking about. Okay. Oh, buddy, don't let it get you down. Ah! How can you be so insensitive? I was only trying to open up communication between us, I thought. Do your work, Bailey. What a team. <laughs> they make for a great team. Uh, I love them. Uh, alright. Zoom! Back to the internal extension. Wait. Oh, I can go external out from this phone. Oh, uh, I see. Alright. Neat. Why is he hitting on him when they're already married? Clearly, they're already married. An emergency button? Yeah. An emergency button. An emergency in a prison. That's gotta be a pretty bad situation. I'll just give it a little try. Go, go, go. Uh-huh. Caused quite an uproar, I guess. And I bet each prisoner reacts differently to the alarm. Might be fun to watch. If I want to change my view, I can slide the screen. Or I can use the D-pad to do the same thing. Oh, guess I'll look all around. Maybe their behavior will give me a clue about my next step. Uh-huh. What the... Why is that such a fluid animation? What the hell is happening? He's, he's the one pulling notes out of the toilet? What the? And his head is hooked up to a thing? All clear. I, um, uh, uh huh. Trick time. If I sound the alarm, it gets people moving, eh? Maybe I can use their movements to get around myself. That way I can get an idea of what's going on in each cell. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm, naturally. Chicken man, who are you? Oops, I did a jostle. Hold on. Do a do ba do 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 do. A do ba do ba do do do. My apologies. Oh. He fell out of bed. Bar jostle.
What is what is he doing? Mm-hmm. That's a circle. So then he takes the circle and he throws it in the trash. And then he moves the entire toilet out of the way. At least the cistern. And then there's a hole. What the what the Oh. Oh, it, the circle means the coast is clear to keep on digging. Oh. Wow. That's amazing. And he's not making a lot of progress, but he's doing his best. Use the spoon. You're doing great. You got just a little bit way, a little bit ways to go. Has he know how long he has? Just does it for a bit. <laughs> how does he get the X? I mean, yeah, like. Uh, um, and the painters hanging out there. Doing a bunch of stuff. I didn't see what the painter was up to because I immediately got distracted. I want to see when he stops. Maybe he just does it until the alarm sounds. Yeah, what's he doing with the dirt? Maybe he flushes it. He eats it. Um. Oh, now I'm inside the cell. Oh, interesting. Okay. Maybe I need that later, but probably not right now. You don't like his floppy forehead? How dare you? That thing is beautiful. Uh, well, let's sound the alarm and see if we can hitch a ride with one of the guards. So he panics and they immediately flush. That's why he flushes so many X's. At least just that one. Um, wait, do these guys not have anything I can grab onto? I thought I could possess their keys or something. Um. Um. Huh. Meanwhile, how's he doing? Oh, he is oblivious. Mm-hmm. Uh-oh. Oh, he heard someone get caught on the line. Meanwhile, this man's just painting. Wait. Oh, I get it. I understand the puzzle now. Oh, happy day. Took me a bit. Well, I gotta wait. But um, I can catch a ride on an X. And then I'll be downstairs. That's... Uh, that's clever. There's a bell at the top line with the hook. That's a signal. Oh, at the top. Oh, so when it catches something, it rings the bell, and then he hears... Ah, they thought it all through. Or a circle. I guess I could right now, if I'm fast enough. Um, In fact, that would probably give me more time, wouldn't it? He's then... Although, wait, I'd be stuck in the... Wouldn't I be stuck? Hmm. Pachow. There's gotta be something I can grab onto from down there. Wee. Oh, because he has to grab the circle to be like the coast is clear. Okay, yeah, okay, they thought them both through. Because he would grab either of them and throw them away. Looks like soup's on. What is his head attached to anyway while he's in the bed? Hooked poo or note? <laughs> it's that time again. Poo or note? And it's a note covered in poo. Mm-hmm. There he goes. Wow. Now that's some animation. All right. New info. Great. By the looks of him, that must be the curry lover from the police department siege case. Never mind that. Where'd he go? What's going on in this cell? There's a little blackboard here, too. Just to be safe, may I better check for the curry lover's schedule for tomorrow, too. Maybe I remembered how to read. I can ring the bell. Okay, summon him back. Still can't read. That's rough, buddy. I better go check out prisoner D99's cell anyway. 
Maybe I can find some kind of information that might help Lin out. Besides, I want to see what this prisoner Lin is investigating looks like. Okay. Maybe I need him up here to catch a ride on him. Um, ring the bell. Why? That is a trick button. He forgore that he forgore. Um, hmm. Hmm. Wait for him to put it back together. Maybe I could have grabbed a ride on the on the spoon. Comes back when he hears the bell. I can't make heads or tails of his behavior once he gets back, though. This prisoner isn't the one I'm looking for. It takes all kinds. Better try to find a path to D99 cell. If I was able to grab a ride on the spoon, then I feel very silly. Wait, no, I can't grab my ride on that. Hmm. Seems like the coast is clear, so. He's going back. Pork. Yeah, okay. Gotta hop on the spoon. That means I can come with him. But now am I stuck down here forever? Can I do a spoon trick? What's this guy doing? Maybe he misses curry so much he's trying to eat the dirt instead? That's probably it. Or I could be wrong. In any case, I think that the, there was a phrase that describes just this kind of situation. I know what it is. Outlook not so good. If this path doesn't lead anywhere, I think I better try to find another one. You yeah. know. Um. Oh. Oh. What the? Oh. Where am I? Oh. 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 Okay. I feared I was supposed to get thrown by- thrown by the- the-, the Possess the spoon and get thrown across the room, but maybe this is where we're supposed to go. Manipulate the power supply. Love it. Looks like some kind of control panel. I think I can manipulate it. I think it must already be on, and I can't turn it off. There's no need to fool around with it. Hmm. Got a lever and a dial. We got a phone! Same thing here. Looks like it's just an internal phone. Doesn't call outside. Only places I can go with this telephone are other phones within the building. Cool. Basically a checkpoint, though. Doesn't do anything. Whenever I see a lever, I just feel like I have to try it out for some reason. When nothing happens, it just really makes me mad for some reason. Looks like I got all excited over nothing. Okay. Okay, so maybe they'll come down here later. But I can certainly head back up and do that again. Same though. Yeah. The urge to lever. As a gamer, I must lever. Okay. Bum, 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 bum. Cat says meow. Oh, well, that's good news. Wait, wait. Ghost onto the X. I like that you can get down there with both the X and the O. It's neat. I'm really enjoying it, view man. Ring the bell. They switched the X and the O for Japanese release. Yeah, you know what? They might have. They actually might have. There he goes. Oh no. And then he sticks his head back in the machine. Whatever that's about. Um. Okay. Can't reach the spoon. So, back to the bell. And we'll just wait. It's nice to just fast forward and be like, yeah, I'll clear. It's fine. It's a VR headset? I think it only goes over the top of his head. Yeah. Boop. Boo doo doo. Doo 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 doo. Is he gonna look at the. I can't, uh. There you go. Ringling. Where is it? There he is. Cat is now eating a box. That's really good. 
It's to make his head longer. <laughs> it's all part of the ruse. So I'm not going to hitch a ride on the spoon. I'm going to let him get down there and then ring the bell and hop on the spoon. Yeah. Uh, exactly. Thanks for 37 months. Phantom Pro... Oh, I did read that already. Thank you. But thank you again for 37 months. That's a lot of months. Enigmatic Camellia, 32 months. Thank you for the prime resub. I appreciate it. And Apple 1087, thanks for 35 months. 35! Almost three years. That's wild. Good evening, Barry. Enjoying the game so far. I am absolutely enjoying this game. It is uh, uh, exceptionally polished. The puzzles are simple but clever. And the characters are extremely endearing. And the, the translation and the writing are impeccable. There's a lot to like about this. Um, ring the bell. Just gotta keep an eye on that spoon. Yeah. There we go. Boy, they give you a very small amount of time to hop on there. And we made it to a new phone. Nice. Progress. Yep, internal phone. That's fine, Sissel. I just wanted to grab it. So we're good. And I can also set an alarm down here. But finally, you can see if this is D99. Yeah, it is, probably. Hmm. What a strange cell. And the prisoner inside it, he seems to be enjoying himself. This is the last cell in the area. That means that this man humming to himself must be prisoner D99. According to what the guard said. Uh-huh. Yep. He shot his wife right in front of a family member. Stone Cold Killer. What in the world really happened? And why is Lynn so concerned about this prisoner? I don't know the answers, and I guess there's no need for me to know. I have only one objective, and that's to find out what this painter's work schedule is for tomorrow. Hmm. Open the picture frame. Oh. Photos, eh? I wonder if these are of his family. This one looks like a young woman holding a baby. Their faces have been blotted out with black paint. Did he do it out of hatred or some other emotion? Thankfully, that's not something I need to know right now. Hmm. And up. Newspaper. A newspaper article has been cut out and framed. Unfortunately, I can't read it. It's probably about D99's case, man murders wife, something like that. There's a picture of the alleged culprit in the article. It's this prisoner, all right. Why would you frame that? Hmm. The work schedule for tomorrow for prisoner D99. The information Lynn's looking for should be written on this blackboard. Unfortunately, I've lost the ability to read. But here I am anyway. What if he couldn't read even in life? And so he can't remember something he never knew. Anyway, the least I can do is take a look. What could this mean? There's nothing written on the board at all. I think something was written on the blackboards of the other prisoners. This board's as clean and blank as the day it was hung here. Get this man hooked on phonics. I have the answer Lynn was looking for. Tomorrow's work schedule for D99 is nothing. Would this information be anything to her? It's not up to me to know or care. That's how I feel at the moment anyway. Then let's go. Not being able to read, I was wondering how this was gonna turn out. Some things in this world can be read, even if one can't read. Prisoner D99's work schedule for tomorrow is blank. Better get this information to Lynn as fast as I can. Eh. Mm -hmm. That means we gotta go back to chicken time. The chicken kitchen. D99 dinner! He got a chicken. Quite a feast tonight, I see. It's very stoic. Ah, oh, and I'm absolutely crazy about this chicken. It's too bad it's all cold and hard, though. I'd say it's been about two hours since it was cooked, judging from the way it feels. D99? I know it's kind of pointless to ask now, but just the same, I still want to know. Why did you do it? This game makes me crazy. <laughs> I know. I'm already hungry, and I'm like... 
Might have to get some chicken for dinner. I agree. It's pointless tasks now. My case is colder than this chicken. <laughs> Sorry, let me, let me, let me, let me take another stab at that read. My case is colder than this chicken and has been forgotten by everybody. Myself included. I forgore. Detective Chowd. Now then, let me eat in peace before it gets too cold to cut. He was a detective. What was he painting? Oh, I wonder. There's one more thing I've been wondering for a long time. What's that? Who is the man in that painting? Oh, this? Being in prison like this, you start to forget faces, you know? I paint the faces that I don't want to forget. And this is the last of those faces. It's gonna be Sissel, isn't it? Yep! That's excellent. Now, could you leave me alone for a bit? Let a man eat in peace. Okay, sure, sorry to bother you. What in the world? What in the world could this mean? I... I have a twin? Why is there a painting of me in this man's cell? Who exactly is this prisoner? The man whose case Lynn is investigating is painting a picture of me in his cell? I have to go see Lynn, fast. And not for her sake, for mine, to solve this mystery of me. It's all connected. Can I hop into that chicken? Nope. I can't hop into his napkin, though. What you got in here? Whoop. Yeah, nothing. All right. See you later. This is just like Whoopin' the Third. Mm-hmm. It's got that good fashion sense. This telephone doesn't connect to the outside, and I got questions I want to ask Lynn. Gotta get to a place that has an external line and fast. Zoom. To the guard room. This is headquarters. What's the status over there? Oh, Chief, it's you. They're making preparations now. No problem, sir. How much longer then? One more hour, sir. I see. Carry on, then. Oh, one more thing. Inspector Cabanella wishes to speak to you. Evening, Cabanella here. How you boys doing? Inspector Cabanella, fine, sir. You got another little call tonight, didn't you, from my baby? From Lynn? Well, well yes. Did my girl have anything interesting to say? Not especially. She hung up almost immediately. I see. Next time she gives you a buzz, be sure to let me know right away. That's a good fellow. Yes, sir. You try to cover it up, and I'm sure you'll regret it very much. Very much. Yes, sir. I'll call you right away, sir, immediately. Don't forget, she's a fugitive after all. Yes, sir. Carry on, then. I might pop in a little later. I also might pop up. Yes, sir. Looking forward to seeing you, sir. Hmm. You might pop up in. Oh, God. Um. A new phone number. Oh. Um. Lynn should be heading for the chicken kitchen now. But the call from police headquarters intrigues me, too. It's looking pretty obvious right now. That white suited inspector suspects Lynn. And she's been considered a fugitive. That's not good. Wonder if I should go check in on the chief and the inspector in white, too. Inspector Cabanella seems to be looking for her, too. You're Lynn, I mean. Inspector Cabanella, what would the special investigation you know want with Lynn? I don't know. Guess something happened we don't know about. Tonight of all nights. Inspector Cabanella must be upset tonight, too. Weren't he in prisoner D99? Detective Jowd, good friends? You sure about that? If they were such good friends, how come Inspector Cabanella never came to visit him? He's the head of the special investigation. He's a very busy man. Oh, Quincy Morrow. Yeah, where do I have to go? What's wrong? 
Jout was my hero, you know. I wanted to be a detective because of him. But look at me! Rotting away in a place like this, and I can't even do anything to help Lin. What am I doing with my life? This new side of you is kind of endearing. Seth, let me come back to this office. Got it. Anyway, the thing to do is work at fixing what you can, little by little. Like, for example, your house of cards. It collapsed, you know? Ugh. They're very good. <laughs> um, let's go back to the internal line. And the upper row. Do, 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 do. Even time is like a caged animal here. Nothing appears changed since the last time I visited. Spike, you still making that horrible noise? The bearded painter is still attacking his meal with gusto. The curry lover is still dreaming dreams of curry. My time will soon be locked away from me as well. I can't waste what I have left. I better get going. But first... Let me, uh... I better not set off the emergency alarm right now. No, we missed it! The inside of my head is already in a state of emergency as it is. Ah, crap. You let me know a little too late. That's all right. Don't describe what happens. Ah. A character with no canon name. <laughs> what do you think of my quirky behavior? Surprised? Oh, you got the video there. One sec. I thought I'd wake you up. Ah, uh, this is the same as we saw before. You can see it later. Um. Well, even if we see it later, we can still enjoy it now real quick. You can see it later? You'll see it later too. Oh, okay. In that case, then, I will not share the video. Closing that tab. Didn't even look at it. We'll see it later. Okay. If we come back here and we're able to set off the alarm, then we'll, we'll do it. Wait a minute. Are you... dead? Dead? Of course not. Oh, thank goodness. I thought I'd surprise you, but you surprised me! In a different context? Gotcha. You're good. Oh, you're good. Don't click it. Same animation. Gotcha. Thanks. <laughs> He's dead. Alright, time to undo his death. Uh... Do, 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 do. You're good. Uh, external line. Let's go see what the inspector at the old office is doing. Zoom. Oh my god, he's got his shoes off. Did you just see his bare feet wiggling under his desk? Preparations seem to be going smoothly over at the prison. Hey, Inspector Cabanella. We were just a little too late. So close, eh, Inspector? We still have a little time left, Chief. Not much, but some. TOS, definitely. We've had Point X surrounded all night. If he shows up, we nab him. We can still make it. By the way, what's going on with that other case? The junkyard murder. She did it, eh? No question about it. She's a bad little baby. Disappearing from the scene like that? Wonder where she ran off to play. What'd she just say? What did he just say? She did it. Did I hear that right? I think they were talking about the culprit who killed me. No way. No way. Look at his feet. Oh god, the animation is so good. But also, ugh. Look at him do. Wiggling them feet. Boy, they went all out with that. I just don't believe it. Why would she do a thing like that? Afraid I don't have the answers for you, Chief? I don't want to believe it any more than you do. And yet... After seeing this, maybe we don't have any other choice but to believe, baby. Is that the security camera tape the investigation unit just delivered? I can't deny. It's some pretty solid evidence against her. Evidence. Nothing like it, baby. Why a murder case now on such an important night? 
I think you have that wrong, chief. It's not Valentos anymore. A murder case now for the very reason that it is such an important night. Uh huh. Before I go find Lynn at the chicken kitchen, sounds like there's an important piece of info here I shouldn't miss. Pretty solid evidence, he says. This I have to see. But it's funny. Why do I have this bad feeling about what's on this tape? Hmm. You want to see the feet in better detail? Let me turn off the filter. So that's slightly more pixelated. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Just look at that. No, I'm gone. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Just turn the filter back on. Just smooths out the image a little bit more. Anyway, uh, what's happening? Raise the antenna. Boop. It's good that everyone's so oblivious in this world. Uh, lower the screen. They won't notice this for sure if I do it slow. Do you think I worked about this before times? Yeah, sometimes it's nice to take off your shoes at work in a way that's not weird. Remote control, go! The junkyard where I died had a security camera and it captured the moment of my death perfectly. And what the tape showed me was the cruelest truth imaginable. He had a briefcase. I don't remember seeing a briefcase anywhere. Wait, no, he picked it up at the beginning. The assassin guy, right? I don't remember now. Oh, oh okay. Chatting. She took out her gun. What? No. No! I saw myself shot right before my own eyes by Lynn. There goes my only lead. I feel like I've died all over again. That's the beginning of the game. One thing sticks with me though. Lynn looks so surprised on that tape. What in the world did I tell her? The truth is the truth, no matter how many times you watch it, Inspector Cabanella. Wasn't me who played that tape just now, baby. By the way, Inspector Cabanella, there's something on that tape that troubles me. And what's that, Chief? I'm all ears. I had a look at all the photos of the crime scene as well, but... The place where the victim was shot and where the body was found is clearly different. He's right, that is strange. The hitman in black is the one who kicked me downstairs. But I changed his fate, so he should have been out of the picture. But there I am, down on the lower level. That is weird. I have the answer to your mystery right here, a few minutes after the murder took place. That's a black cat? You got it, baby. A furry feline messed up our crime scene. And then the little cat culprit vanished into the night. Hmm. Looks like my destiny of being knocked downstairs is very hard to alter. This is Point X. Come in, Chief. Chief here, did he show up? No, sir, not yet, but... I told you to stay off the radio unless it was important. But this is important, sir. Somebody else showed up. Our rookie detective, Lynn. What? You see my baby over there, do you? I heard she was on the lamb. What do you want me to do, chief? What do you say, inspector? Detective. Get my baby away from point X. 
Do it now, man. And then hold on to her. Yes, sir. I'll go get her right now, sir. What's the meaning of this? Why would Lin show up at that point X? It took the special investigation unit six months to pinpoint that location. Don't know, Chief, but I'd say it wasn't a coincidence. Perhaps. What happened? Detective, come in. Now what? What happened this time? Damn it. This calls for a telephone call to Point X. Allow me. Oh my god. I better go see what's going on at Point X. Lynn is showing up at some Point X? Don't tell me Point X is the chicken restaurant. I thought she was on her way to the chicken kitchen. What's going on? One thing is clear, something big just happened. Lower it down and hop on the phone. What are you doing? Get your buns over here. What did you say? Point X is the chicken restaurant. Now I finally understand. I finally know what it's like. For our poor hungry customers who have their food deliveries delayed. Excuse me? But this is the chicken kitchen, is it not? What? Aren't I talking to the police? The police? Did something happen there you need assistance with? Something happened here, you ask? More like, there's nothing left here. I gotta go. Wait, wait! What? What's going on? I wish I knew myself. Something, that's what. Something is definitely going on. And that something is far from nothing, that's for certain. Thanks for the tea, Chief. I'll be on my way. You going to Point X? Point X, eh? I'll leave that to the boys. There's someplace else I gotta be. Inspector, your being there isn't gonna change anything. Why put yourself through it? I have a responsibility. I'm gonna see it through to the end. Besides, it's not quite over yet. Right, that's true. Do what you must, then. That wasn't Lynn on the ground. That was one of the people who were upstairs in the chicken kitchen. She might also be dead. Prisoner D99 schedule for tomorrow was blank. It seems like forever ago I found that out. And now my mind is even blanker than that blackboard was. Lynn, my only lead and my partner, shot me. What does it all mean? I knew where I had to go to get my answers. The chicken kitchen. The point X the police have surrounded. The place where something big just happened. What will Lynn be involved in this time when I find her there? I'm just... I'm just... Save complete. And that's where we're gonna leave it for tonight. Oh my god. What the hell is this video game? Uh, we'll continue this on stream next time. Or the time after. Probably next time, though. Uh, but the chicken! I have to stop! We'll find out about the chicken man later. Um, it, that's a hell of a cliffhanger. Digby's art, thanks for six months. I haven't rewatched the Mario Galaxy race stream. Wonder if you, Dan Arena, will do another Mario race. I think it is in the cards. Um, we were watching uh, uh, AGDQ in January last month, and there was a Mario Galaxy race, and a bunch of us were just looking at each other like, um, um. And also, I've been talking to Tom, Mac Analyst Tom, who also ran the game, so we may do it at some point. I think we would want to do a Luigi race, though, and I haven't, A, tried the Mario strats in, like, over a year, and also, B, I would want to learn all the Luigi strats, which are mostly the same, but Luigi's movement is different, so I, I, add it to the list of everything that I say that's like, it'll happen eventually. Maybe someday. Uh, but anyway, thank you, everyone, who tuned in. Thank you, everyone, who said, hey, play Ghost Trick, because you were right. Um, this is a very cool game, and I'm very excited to keep checking it out. Um, let us go do a raid and say hi to someone just because it's my birthday. Happy birthday, Omar. Told you. You were right.
This game is excellent. Uh, let's say I had a deer who's playing a cat game. We'll go from dogs to cats. Uh, this is a cat cafe simulator game called Calico. Maybe you've heard of it. Uh, don't bork. I mean, you can bork. Maybe, maybe we can bork. Uh, but deer is currently... It appears to be nart running around the outside of a cat cafe. So, and ran straight on top of a koi pond. I don't know what's happening. Go say hi to deer. Uh, 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 we'll, we'll do more ghost trick in the future. Uh, yeah, go ahead and have a bork. Bork and mia. There you go. It's good. Say hi to deer. I'm gonna send off the raid and stop talking because, oh my god, I gotta rest up before the next stream of this. <laughs> Take care, everyone. See you in the next time. Appreciate it. And, uh, goodbye. And goodbye. And see you there. Okay, I'm gonna send it out. Goodbye. Have fun. Goodbye. Say hi to deer. Bye. Raid. Go. Bod watchers. God, it's ominous when there's no music on the tile screen. Uh, thank you, VOD Watchers. I hope you enjoyed. I'm definitely going to get back to this at some point. So I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for part two. Maybe it's already out by the time you're watching this VOD. And thank you for being VOD Watchers. I appreciate you. Take care. Have a good one. And uh, shouts to Missile, the best pup. <laughs> okay. Bye. Uh, bye.